Wow, that poll was really well timed. Good job, Aria. Hey, everybody, how is it going? It is time for a stream. Normally, this would be Fortune Cookie, but we're starting with a sponsored segment at the beginning. I'm really fucking excited because this is one of those I always wanted to be sponsored by this game series kind of situations, so I'm pumped. Time for some Earth Defense Force! World Brothers. Brand new release that came out on. Shoot, was it Thursday or was it Tuesday in this case? It was this week, either way. Uh, and it is a little bit of a departure for the series. Hang on, I have to... <laughs> I have to look at everything I've unlocked. Hang on. Hang on, we'll get there eventually. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Well, friend, Almost there. I look forward to We're there! Hey! Now I can actually see you guys. There we go, perfect. Hell yeah, I'm excited for this. Here, how's volume? How's volume for the game for you guys? A little out of my ears, I wanna make sure it's not too bad for you guys. Sounds fine, sounds fine, it's okay, good. All right, sweet. Earth Defense Force, if you're not aware, is a series basically about blowing up bugs. Lots of giant bugs and uh, basically making everything explode around you. It is stupid fun. It's like a B-movie in a video game series, but not THE B-movie. Although you are killing bugs, so maybe it is actually THE B-movie. But it's super fun, and this is a weird uh, voxel-style Earth Defense Force game. Uh, apparently this is a pretty user, new player friendly game for the series in general, so I'm excited to check this out. I do have to give you a couple notes, if you don't mind first. So here are the notes I was given to kind of get you guys into what we're going to be doing in the game. 
Defend our square Mother Earth from any alien attack. In a parallel universe where everything is in 3D voxel art, a new battlefield is taking the stage in the EDF series. Voxel Earth is falling apart into square pieces, breaking its blocky piece as alien invaders and large motherships have caused a catastrophic rift in their massive attack. With the world in turmoil from an alien attack by enemies from the EDF series, the player and the Earth Defense Force must rise to the occasion and save the day to restore a shattered voxel Earth to one piece. Battle at iconic voxel landmarks. Within this new universe of EDF, where everything is displayed in voxel art, an art form with 3D models constructed together from 3D cubes, players will be taking the fight to various voxel-formed landmarks, uh, landmark battlefields with inspirations from America, the United Kingdom, Japan, Egypt, and more in the span of the War for Survival. I'm excited for this. Hell yeah. Uh, play solo or squat up with friends. Though players can save the world in the campaign solo with AI teammates, they can also enlist with friends in four-player online co-op play on each platform. However, the game, this is a bummer. The game doesn't support cross-play. I get it. There's still, that's still like one of those things that's still being worked on for common acceptance, which is a bummer. But we do have at least this. Players can also look forward to playing offline with two-player split-screen on the PS4 and four-player LAN co-op exclusively on the Switch. And that's a raid. It's a raid from G. Hang on, G. Hang on, G. I'll get to you in a minute. Uh, Switch has land modes for four-player support. And obviously, they all have... Like, they have online. We're going to be playing the Steam version today. I'm going to be playing solo for a little bit, and then I'm going to get some co-op on the go with at least ten more, if not some others. This is another interesting thing about the game, too. Uh, you build squads in this game instead of, like, just having... AI partners around you. Create your very own Earth Defense Force. Each mission is tackled by a four-member team that players can mix and match between EDF members to maximize each of their abilities to lay waste on the enemies. With over a hundred different playable characters, you can create your own dream Earth Defense Force team. If you saw all the unlocks we got earlier, that was all stuff from other D3 series and other EDF games. So there's a bunch of references to older games and other series, like Oni Chambara's in there which means we'll be adding the Oni Chambara characters to our team. Historic EDF members and weapons return. From the very first EDF release in the numbered series, from Simple 2000, all the way up to the most recent EDF 5 launch on top of the spin... What? Launch... Oh, on top of the spin-off titles, including Earth Defense Force, Insect Armageddon, and Iron Rain, players can recruit legendary EDF members and access the wide variety of weaponry from a massive selection of the previous games to their teams in the new voxel form. I'm excited for the giant robots, because apparently the giant robots are in this one. Nice. And, of course, legendary enemies of the EDF series make a comeback as well. Familiar giant land and air creatures alongside alien war machines that have invaded Earth and caused mass destruction countless times in the past. And all the past EDF series games are returning to invade in full voxel form and force. So basically, if you have any familiarity with the Earth Defense Force series, this is going to be one of those, like fan service heavy games, which I'm excited for. I'm so pumped for this. I'm not going to get all the references, but I'm excited for it. This is out on Steam, Switch, and PS4. And now, before we get to shooting some bugs, I have to go shoot a friend of mine. I'll be right back. Oops, I didn't mute us. Hey, G. Hey, G. Mm hmm. Thanks for the raid. Hey, hey, it's all good. Love you, <laughs> I'm gonna go get some food now. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Thanks, bud. 
Oh, I'm gonna keep watching you. I just I just need to eat, so I'm gonna I'm gonna watch you and eat. <laughs> All right, sweet. All right, take care. Thanks, bud. All right, like I said, sponsored stream for Earth Defense Force. We're fucking pump. Let's go. Let's get to it. We're gonna play a little bit of single player, then we'll hop into multiplayer after that. Let's start a new game. Enter name of save data. John on stream to Oh, that's it. That's all I can fit in there. Okay. Do you know the EDF? The brave warriors who defend this blue earth against hostile forces from space. The Earth Defense Force, or EDF for short. to defeat the aggressors, ravagers, and invaders that have threatened our very existence time and time again. And now, once again, a new evil has emerged. It has been named Dark Tyrant. Dark Tyrant descended upon the Earth and brought with it six motherships. Initiating a terrible assault on our planet, we did what we could to defend the Earth. But it was too late. But their coordinated attacks tore our planet to pieces. Unable to deliver aid or reach one another, Nations, governments, and the EDF were obliterated. Mankind is standing at the edge of despair. And yet, a glimmer of hope still remains. That hope is you. Which one of these is me? Of All of them! EDF. Oh, thank you, we just met. Sisters who refuse to give in. Find them. And we got so two maids, a ninja, a cowboy, soldier, Anubis. All right, we can do it. Oh, we got. Oh no, we got to name our team. What's our? How much characters? Do we have? How many characters do we have to work with here? Wow, 14 characters, huh? All right. Uh, let's see what we got. Chat, what do you got for me? The square eggs. The square egg. Square egg squad. Square egg squad. No, it won't fit. If we do, if we do SQD, it'll fit. Square eggs. Ooh. Squag squad. That just sounds really weird. Oh yeah, I guess if we take out the spaces, it'll work. Hang on. There we go. That'll work. All right. Let's see what we can have for our emblem. Well, Canada's already there. Ooh, pixelated Canada. Dude, I got a fist bump. I wish I could combine the two. I wish I could combine some of these, because I want, I want the fist bump with the Canadian flag. All right, it's, it's the fist bump. Let's make it the fist bump. Alright, let's fix the Earth. This is the current state of the Earth. This is what we're supposed to be defending. Oh, it might be easy to defend like this, at least. I'm the General of the EDF. I'm putting you directly under my command. 
That's me. I'll let your tactical officer provide you with the rest of the details. Our Earth is in pieces. The mysterious Dark Tyrant suddenly appeared along with all those who previously attacked our planet. Their combined attack shattered our Earth into pieces, but they'll never shatter our resolve! The EDF will always continue defending the Earth. Watch your crosshair. Your crosshair will change colors when an enemy is in attack range. So keep in mind that for weapons like grenade launchers, shots are affected by gravity, so they need to aim slightly upward hit. Yeah, okay, so that's pretty much what I expected. Increasing armor. Teammates will gain more armor when completing a mission. Different teammates will earn different amounts, but the higher the difficulty, the greater the boost. Okay, so it's not pickups this time around. Interesting. Armor is your health meter, essentially, in the series. Enemies drop items. White items recover the armor of the teammate that picks them up. Yellow charge your, S your SP gauge? Red items recover the armor of everyone on your team. Oh, this is, this is actually pretty different, too. Roll and dodge abilities are great for evading enemy attacks or avoiding getting surrounded. Just keep in mind that some teammates can only roll in certain directions. All right. That's a me. Nice to meet you, Commander. Allow me to brief you on your mission. Giant creature signals. Now of all times. Let's shoot some bugs. How to fight. Press right trigger attack, stick moves the camera and aims, attack deal different amounts of damage depending on where you hit. When you're low on ammo, press X to reload, you also reload automatically if you use up all your ammo. Press left trigger to use your ability. Each teammate has an ability. Your current teammate has roll, which can evade enemy attacks. Yeah, because I'm a ranger, it makes sense. Commander, the brother with you now is a ranger, trained for special operations. He is a highly experienced weapons expert. Hey, my name's Earth Defender. I'm a ranger in the EDF. Leave anything on the ground to me. Take command and exterminate all giant creatures. I'm actually surprised how well this voxel style fits EDF. It's actually a pretty good fit. Excellent. Great work, Commander. Looks like you've got what it takes to lead the team to victory. Well, a single ranger isn't really a team. Go, go! Boss, I'm getting a signal from a friendly. Looks like someone's there up ahead. Let's have them join the team. Locate Let's the go signal make a friend. Friend time! Rescue new teammate. Oh, please tell me it's a wing diver. If you find if you find a teammate and you need to help press B to rescue them, they'll join you after the mission or immediately if you have any open slots on your team. Okay. Wing diver, wing diver, wing diver, wing diver! Let me join. Hell yes! Let's go! If you have an open spot, any newly found friends will immediately join your team. You now have two members on your team. Try switching between your teammates. Already done. Way ahead of you, game. She's <laughs> a wing diver, trained in diving down from the sky. She has lower defense than the ranger, but has the ability to fly. Next! It'd be great if she could fly from one land to another now that the Earth is in pieces. If only she were capable of long-range flight. Okay! Okay! Ah. Oh no, more enemies! Let's mess up some bugs. That's a lot of bugs. Looks like your SP gauge has finished charging. By the way, each teammate has their own unique special move. Holy shit! I knocked myself down in the process of that. Oops. Ranger! are powerful, but can only be used when your SP gauge is full. Wait for the perfect time to use them. Watch this. Well, we took out this part of the building at least. 
Hope no one was really attached to it. No more enemy signals. I knew you could do it, Commander. Well done, Commander. I knew we could count on you for this. Locate oh, we still got a lot of buildings, actually. The earth ...and fight back against Dark Tyrant. All EDF units, move out! Defend our Earth. Okay! <laughs> no problem. High five! Oh, my turn? Take that, trees! Now that's the confidence I expect from an air raider. <laughs> what is this pop soundtrack? This rules. Hell yes. I'm gonna just tell you right now, this this is not the tone of a normal EDF game, but this rules. Something I'm good at. Hi, I'm a wing diver. I like yams and hot cocoa. Something I'm good at? Hmm. Ooh, did I get a new weapon? Or is that just... Oh, that's a new teammate. Never mind. Alright. So, let's put a team together. Because I have the season pass, and they added a lot of characters in the season pass. Need a hand? I'll join the team. Namely, characters from other games. There we go, an EDF wing diver from five. Ooh, big boy. Ah, oh, the frogs! Ah, oh, the frogs can join our team! Ah, oh, that's tempting. Oh, all the aliens can join our team. Fuck yeah. I kind of want Aya on our team, though, because only Chumbara. I assume it's using her katanas. I have to do it. She's joining the team. Who else do we have here? Saki's also here. Ria Furtaba from Dream Club. Swip. Bikini version. Summer version. Santa version. I'm Setsu. Thanks for picking me. Fine. I guess I'll help out this time. I'm Rosa Type Zero Automated Android, Eileen. I'm not familiar with Dream Club. <laughs> Mecha Yuki. Uh, let's get Santa Claus in in here. She's a melee unit. D Hang on. Ability. Uppercut? <laughs> she uses a Santa hammer? Oh. Oh, she's definitely in the team. She's definitely in the team. Alright, what do we got for weapons? Oh, too far. Weapons. All right, good. We still get the ridiculous amount of weapons. I'm good, happy about that. Let's see. I have one shotgun right now. Laser lance, sniper rifles, rocket launchers. But I can't use this yet. What level do I need to be for this? It looks like I actually am just stuck with my default gun right now, huh? I can try the mag blaster. Let's see, damage and one shot for clip. No damage from friendly fire. Hmm. Well, let's stick with default for now, and then we'll we'll start playing around when we unlock some stuff here. We have new. We already have the emblems. We already have. Okay. Well, let's 
Oh, I can make, also, I can just have multiple groups of teams I can roll out whenever I want. Ooh, nice. All right, let's see how this goes. Find more brothers and sisters. During a mission, you may encounter brothers and sisters who have fallen in battle. Build a rescue by locating the exclamation on the radar. They'll join your group and you also gain their weapon. In some cases, they may even have an accessory equipped. Different teammates jump at different heights, with some even able to leap over trees. Gravity also affects some teammates differently, making them land at different speeds. Use your SP moves strategically. Offensive SP moves, there's a wide range. Some are focused attack on a single enemy, while others have a wide attack range. Some pierce through enemies, and others deal an exceptional amount of damage to a specific location. No one to use which SP move is key. And flying. To defend our mother planet Earth, we are all ready to devote our lives. Oh Let's go, Santa Claus! Thanks, Commander, our ultimate goal is to defeat Dark Tyrant. Leader of the oh my god! <laughs> 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 we won't stand a chance. But there are EDF soldiers. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, everyone! If you encounter any, be sure to recruit them to join our cause. In other words, the more teammates we find, the better chance we can win. Right, boss? <laughs> oh, hang on. Let's get you in the party. Get away! I'm rescuing someone. Wait, was that a royal guard? Oh my god, yeah, we're in the UK. Okay, where's that other one? You know what, Wing Diver, you're faster. That? Oh my god! Amigo, brother! Mucho gusto, amigo! Alright, Aya, let's go. Oh wow, you even wash off the blood on her and get your attack up. That's amazing. Hell yeah. Can't believe they actually worked the Onichambara gameplay into this. If you keep attacking, you can stop them in their tracks. This is actually really well put together. Uh, as much as I love the EDF games, there's usually a little jank and cheese in them, but like... Uh, I actually really like what they've done with this. Legitimately. No building's gonna get in my way. Where'd that bug go? Uh, I actually may need Wing Diver for this one. Oh no, right there, okay. Is that a maid? Tulip sister! Oh no. It's a clog dancer. Now let's check and see what else is around here. Let's make sure we've gotten all the possible characters we can save before we uh, start moving on here. There's no full map view. Oh no, we got all teammates. Okay, it tells you straight up. Sweet. Species Alpha? Santa time! Let's go team! The power of Christmas compels you! Alright, what is her what is Santa Claus a special here? I'm actually curious. We're close to it. Uh, 
All right, let's find out. Merry Christmas. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm down. I'm down with it. I'm gonna guess that's a reference from the game she's from. That's adorable the way she says EDF. That rules. Dude, I, I'm fucking digging this. Hell yeah. See if we can get your special too, because I'm curious to see what yours is. I assume it's gonna be blood bloodless mode. Try to keep your distance. You won't stand a chance at close range combat. Yeah, about that. Think I think I got that one covered actually. Alright, Aya, what do you got? Let's see. Let's get here. Here goes. Let's slice things up. Ecstasy combo, of course. So just a really strong, like, localized combo. Did we ever Did we ever figure out what our main dude's special was? I think that was the only one we didn't do. I think they said it was healing. Team heal, let's see it. Where's Aya? Aya, you're, you need some healing. Which is why you disappeared. There we go. Got it. I left a lot of collectibles here, but I guess I don't need most of them. I've also realized I've mostly made a melee team. Like, half melee, half... half gun. Here we go. What are these guys? So I'm actually afraid of heights. Enemies have been alerted. Oh, it's the big boys! They're called Sidros. One of the aggressor's giant creatures. They shoot heat beams from their arms. Try not to stand directly in front of them. Well, I'm not standing if that makes you feel better. All right, it's time for the power of Christmas. Ho, ho, ho! Damn, moved. Sidoros creatures are one of the aggressor's bioweapons. They wreaked havoc in the U.S. Stay on your toes. Heads up! Oh, we got another There's one. More of these. No, I like that building! Ooh, there's a lot of them! Ooh, let's go! Alright, what we got? We, let's play some tennis. All right, that won't work good. Get back. Aelita, hang on! I'm saving the Earth! Oops. 
Ooh, this guy's running. He's afraid. You're scared. Come on. Hope they had it this range. More, please. Come on. Oh, bad time to run out of ammo. Alright, let's try not to kill ourselves with it this time. Let's go. Here we go. Sorry if this hits you. Well, I guess I shouldn't feel sorry. Still, I'm mean, gonna feel bad. Like I mean, we did destroy most Mission of this building. Complete. Hopefully they don't mind. Watch this. <laughs> so I'm actually afraid of heights. All right, everyone's health went up. New teammate! Oh my god! Now for Her Majesty the Queen, and now for the team. All right, all right, I'm down. His weapon is a dunkel. Introduce myself. <laughs> Not with this headache. Just wake me when the mission starts. I really hope he uses that guitar. He better use that guitar. Introduce myself? Who am I? Uh, well, let me think of something to say. Hmm. All right, there's our te new teammates. All right, I'll switch up a little bit for the next mission, but let's run countermeasures first before I lead his raid. Lita, thank you so much for the raid. Hopefully your stream was good. We're doing a sponsored stream right now for Earth Defense Force World Brothers. So this is the brand new EDF game that came out this week. You can grab it on Steam, Switch, and the play- Oops, as I dropped my controller, the PlayStation 4. Uh, ow. You can also check out info for it on their Twitter, on their YouTube, and on their Instagram, which I believe are all variants of EDF. Let me get you the actual info for that. Uh, yeah, Twitter is twitter.com slash edf underscore official underscore en for English. Uh, same thing for Instagram. And they don't seem to have a shorthand for their uh, YouTube channel right now. So check the links below the stream as well if you want to check out where to pick up the game and all that fun stuff there. Which version am I playing? Currently, this is the Steam version. This was supplied to me by the, uh, by the team. Uh, I'm gonna try out all the characters we just unlocked. 
and then maybe we'll jump over to some online co-op after that. So, uh, I also noticed this. Uh, we apparently unlocked a bunch of emblems. I don't know if these are unlocked. Oh, no, hang on. They're not unlocked. It's just we can, we can get them eventually. So these are all the ones we can eventually get. But apparently we have this one, and I really like this one. That one's also good. So I'm switching our logo to that. What else do we have here, though? A lot of good ones here. And at least they all say how to unlock them, too. I also especially love EDF, EDF, EDF. It's a new Pon Pon outfit, got it? Ah, uh, yes, famous angel, Pon Pon. All right. So here's what our team has, too. So Amigo Brother has a Raven, which is an assault rifle. Precision E+, plus, but it penetrates through enemies. The Royal Brother has a Dunkel, which is a sniper rifle. And the Tulip Sister has a rocket launcher called the Plasma Launcher. So uh, she's going to wreck some house in a little bit here. We got our team. Let's go. It's a team effort, so don't forget to switch teammates. Here are some guidelines. Out of ammo, switch. Need a new weapon, switch. When in doubt, switch. Rescue the fallen. Defend defeated teammates can be rescued, assuming the teammate doing the rescuing has some armor to spare. You won't lose a mission until all of your teammates are defeated, so if a teammate falls in battle, head to the rescue as soon as you can. Defeated, enemy defeated enemies earn SP points. Each teammate requires a different amount of points to fill their gauge. For this reason, some teammates' gauges may fill quicker than others. Uh, and after using ability, teammates require a moment to cool down. Cooldown time will only begin when on the ground, but after that, it's fine to jump back in the air. Everybody shot at the top of your lungs. Be calm, be bold, and raise high your guns. Ah, there is a run, too. There we go. This mission is to exterminate all enemies. All right, leave this to me. ETF! How's this? ETF! Ooh, yeah, that's very inaccurate, but it does go through, which is great. All right, there's three teammates to rescue in this one. Look, a giant creature nest. There's a whole bunch of them. Destroy. I got him. I got him. Enemies will just keep coming. Hey there. Happy to join. Ah, from Insect Armageddon. Okay. I gotta know how how good's the plasma launcher. Okay, yeah, you know what? I'm down. This is all right. Fuck that building. That building was in the way. This is much faster. What do we got here? Ooh, I like the hat. Let me help. I like the outfit. Nice. Oh. More, please. What is my other ability? It looks like a grenade. Let's drop this here. <laughs> Would you like some tulip grenades? I do wish I kept my wing diver though. Wing diver is definitely a way to get around fast. What do we have here? Jumbo. Safari sister. Let's just go through this building. Oh, 
I'll take care of this. Take that! The royal god says halt! Oh my god, I can... <laughs> I can summon my own barriers. I can summon my own walls. That's fucking great. I will not let you through. Reloading. I want to know what your SP move is. I am legit curious now. Oh shit, tequila! He's ready with a super. Oh, my turn. Let's get everyone else's ready here. Because you know what? I'm gonna save it for the next wave. There's no way it's just this one wave. Yeah. Next. They've seen you. Yeah. Let's drop this here. There we go. My turn, amigo. The nests will keep releasing enemies. Destroy them ASAP. Do I have a run ability as you? No, I don't. That looks to be only my Trust ranger dude. More. All right, let's get here. Regroup. And let's use our special. Oh my god! <laughs> AoE damage increase. Great. This is so ridiculous. I fucking love this. I'm so glad he actually uses the guitar. Well, sort of. He's just dancing. Their eyes just changed colors. There's still more enemies for you to hear. This is so fucking silly. I love this. Hell yeah. If you've if you've never street seen a stream EDF before, like it's fun as hell. I really love the Earth Defense Source series in general. All right, let's see what this one does. Oh yeah! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking turret. As I said, our goal is to defeat Dark Tyrant and the Dark Legion attacking the Earth. More, please. Thing is, we have no idea where Dark Tyrant is. It left six motherships around the planet and then just disappeared. Since then, those motherships have continued to release enemies. First, we've got to fight off those motherships to prevent further damage to the planet. Next! Windrows do not work that way, good night. But what if they did? Who's special have we not seen so far? We haven't seen yours. The royal god says halt! I mean the sniper rifle's gonna do some good damage to these basic bugs. Problem is, if I want to snipe, I have to hold R1 and then R2 to fire. No problem. Fair. Right now, that's actually pretty helpful. Arms up. Next round, please. Oops. Missed the easy shot while I'm at it. All right, we've got our special. Let's see what he's got. Let's get to this next one. 
This is gonna be a giant wall. For her majesty! You, sir, are in the way. Oh my god! Yeah! Go, my tiny royal guard! Fuck him up! Yeah! It's also basically a turret. There go the watermelons. Did we miss one guy back there? Yeah. Nice. No more giant creature signals. I will not let you Great. Through. Looks like we did it. Now, let's locate your next teammate. Excellent. No problem. This is the general. I have an urgent order for you. A mothership has been detected in this area. Ooh. It's an aggressor mothership, a hive craft. I want your team to take it down. I will I've asked the unit through. to lead you to the location. They're heading to your position oh, now. God Join them out. and complete this mission. <laughs> no problem. I'm surprised a mothership fight this early too. This is only stage three. <laughs> I'll take on anything in the skies. <laughs> Why does he sound drunk? I'll take on anything in the skies. The aliens have abducted hundreds of my cattle. I won't stop till I get them back. I actually low key dig this outfit. She's got a lion glove and a tri Hercules. Safari means journey. Let's journey into the unknown together. What does the accessory even do? Lion Glove. Weapon damage, 1.04 times damage. SP damage, same thing. Inactive reload time, reduced 0.97. Oh. Neat. It's the only thing we have. Can I give it to everyone? Yeah. Sick. All right, I did say I was going to play online, but now I also want to know what the Mothership battle's like. So I'm actually going to... Let's put our team back to uh, what we had. Let's uh, let's change some people here. Aya, I love you, but Hunting you're no Come in. you're no oh, tulip you sister. Nice? So I'm gonna put in the tulip sister. Oh my! Is it my turn? Santa Claus, you're doing fine. Actually, I kind of like this team set up, honestly. I'm going to stick with this team. Because we got a wing diver, we got a ranger, we got a rocket launcher, and we have Santa Claus. Do I have a requirement to play multiplayer? I don't think I was specifically requested to save to play multiplayer, but EDF has fun multiplayer, so I'm down to do multiplayer. Plus, I know for sure Tenmar has it, and it would be down to play. Oh, ooh, ooh, oops. Hang on. I knew I forgot something. Not everyone's wearing lion gloves. Ranger's the harem protagonist? I mean, I guess. In this case, that kind of works. Yeah, EDF is a hell of a lot of fun, but it is 10 times that much fun with friends. Yeah, no, it's it's really good. I think, was it Iron Rain had six player multiplayer co-op? That was just chaos. If you rescue a teammate you already have, that teammate's skill will increase. Oh. 
Higher skill allow the team to equip a wider range of weapons, giving you greater freedom to customize your team. Well, shit. So replay stages in that case? That sounds like that. This should be the spot. <gasps> There's a cowboy. I love him. You're the one leading us to the mothership, Mr. Howdy, partners. I'm Cowboy Brother, but y'all can call me Joe. Cowboy I'm Brother? He has a revolver! Oh, I love him. Oh, but it's spider time. A whole bunch of giant creatures are heading this way. Me? Tulip, time to rock. What if they still capture you in this one? Let's drop this here. More t oh, they do. They do. More How's this? Different spiders you're thinking about? Oh, right, these are just the jumpers, the default ones. All right, well, you know what? You know what it's time for? Oh, first off, we should save our friends. Here we got number one. Aerator. Looks like you need a strategy. Uh, where are you? There you are. What? No, oh, Iron Range Trooper. Oh, there so you are. I'm actually afraid of heights. Thanks. All Watch Iron Rain this. characters. Quit it. All right, where are they? Mission. No problem. Oh, thank you, game. I appreciate it. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Just pay no attention to the fact I'm blowing up this building. Just don't think about it. I need to reload. Okay. My turn? There's more. Me? They got more. Yeah, yeah. Keep the hoe down going. Me? It's time to summon the windmill. Oh yeah. Ultra windmill. Come on, Santa Claus, let's go. I'm 
doing a lot of damage here. I'm getting a little too greedy. Tennis time! Uh-oh. Got a little too greedy there. Save her in a minute. They're all coming now. Hey, buddy. We're an EDF. So why are you helping us? Buddy, now that we're acquainted, call me Joe. Cowboy oh, brother of oh, Oh, and to answer your question, that there a guy served other ship? It showed up right over my ranch. Then they stole my cows. I raised them cows like they were my own. Where's my team? I need to be healed. That's all right. I ain't giving up yet. Now I was fixing to ask for y'all's EDFs, helping get my cows back. Me? But I was just following you. All right, that windmill helped a lot. Gotta know you can still get swarmed and like get messed up in this one. Come on, what do we got? Next. Yeah. Ah. Only like five left, looks like. Yeah. More windmills! Oh, yeah. Uh, nice, we got it. Oh, we won. Great work, Commander. Let's drop this here. Let's go, Parker. Hell yeah! Please tell me Joe joins our team. Come on, join the team. Let's go, Joe. More, please. Come on, cowboy brother. Hell yeah. Go ahead and hate me. Like Genghis Khan, Hannibal, Napoleon. What? All great leaders should be feared. What? <laughs> what? I'm Trooper, sent from what you guys call Iron Rain. I'm Trooper, sent from what you guys call Iron Rain. Uh-huh, tell me more. Yes! Howdy, partner. Glad to make your acquaintance. I'm the fastest gun in the West. Hell yeah, you are! Hell yeah! His weapon is the spirit of Texas! This fucking rules. Okay, we gotta work him into the squad. Actually, no, I said we're gonna do online. All right, all right, I gotta stop myself. I'm gonna keep playing if I don't. Temar, are you ready for some co-op? Also, apparently I got a new accessory, so let's look at the new accessory too while I'm distracted. Green Dolphin Tiara, speed up by 0.8 times. 0 0.08, rather. Ability cooldown time reduced by 0 0.01. Recovery item effect team D rank. When at full armor, recovery items effect team B. Interesting. Can I see this on my character? No, I can't see the beautiful tiara.
Let's check something here. Ah, damn it. I have to go to, I assume, new game or load game? No, well, should just be online play. No, I wanted to check our progress. Yeah, so we only, we've only done 1% of the game. So I assume it's going to take just as long as a normal EDF game, too. Because if you want a game that lasts forever, try to complete an Earth Defense Force game. You'll usually get about 100 missions. And then they add DLC, usually, as well. All right, am I creating or... That's yeah, create. Uh, you should be creating. Just to let you know, uh, it's numbers only. Detailed settings. Chat allow. Descriptor one. That should be fine. I can't set a passcode for a public game. I guess that makes sense. Now I'll set it private then. So, I assume by setting it private and then just setting a passcode, you can just enter it that way? Uh, so you have to actually search conditions and then, like you have to find a room and then under that you can do search conditions and then it'll ask, hey, do you want to search, you know, filter it by uh, name or by a certain condition? Usually by room name is what you're going to be searching by. So you said you haven't created the room, though, so... No. Not going to be searchable yet. All right. Uh, we're going to have a private room. The password is eggs with a capital E. Uh, descriptor 1, if you need to search it, is we crazy. And the room name is stream time. Wait, I, I already did. I did. Yeah, it's, that's our passcode. <laughs> no, I, numbers only, John. Oh, for the passcode. No. Yeah. And... Wait, so hang on. What if I want to use my controller to do this? I can't. No. It should have swap to keyboard. No, well, I can't. I'm just saying I can't use. Nothing will type in if I unless I do that. Uh, yeah, three six six five for eggs. That makes sense. Hang on. I actually screwed myself up here. Three six six five. Oh yeah, there we go. that one actually stuck. Perfect. All right, let me customize my I team. Actually, <laughs> hopefully, I can get in. I'm taking off my oh, EDF no, Ranger because I want I want Joe. I want my Let's cowboy. Need a hand? Oh, I heard him. Where'd he go? Yes, sir. You win? I still got. No, I'm not. Have you found the room yet? No, I haven't been able to find the room yet. Search conditions, stream time. Uh, descriptor one is we crazy if you need that. No, it just says no rooms can be found. Weird. Well, let me switch to a public game then. Or I can send you. An, I know I can send you an invite, but I want to have some people from the stream join too if they have. Yeah, a game. no. It, yeah, I, I did lose plenty of time last night. Created a private game, and he was able to find it. I was the room creator, though. All right. Uh, well, let's make a public one then. All I think right. somebody is still uses the same thing. Yeah, everything else is the same. I'm gonna. Back out All right, it's on public now. The room. The room name. My team. Let's change my team emblem back to uh, the Valkyrie or the Angel look, rather. I wonder, because this always seems to come up when I'm the one on Steam. That's setting it up. What is my online status right now in... Yeah, it's because I'm invisible. I bet you it is. Hang on. Let me reboot the game. <laughs> this, is, this isn't an EDF issue. This is a Steam issue. This happens every time with every game I do this with. And every time I keep forgetting to do it.
Well, you gotta respect a person's privacy. It's important. I can join games fine, but when I host games, it all goes tits up. And not in a good way. Oh, you'll actually appreciate this. So you know how they usually separate, segregate the online and offline play? Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't exist anymore. Oh? Yep. So now you're able to just, now your progress will stay consistent. Excellent. So would you recommend no, this? this might be a game Gerard could actually complete. Oh, I still don't want to put it, I don't want to put him through an EDF. That's just not nice. That's not nice. Uh, so would you recommend this game to someone who's new to the EDF series? Yeah, exactly. This is probably the most approachable EDF's been in for a while. Although they're not, none of them are really hard to start games. They're hard to finish games. They're that kind of game. They're, they were literally known as the Simple Series. They were part of the Simple Series. Also, is the, the game on the Switch's SNES catalog part of the series? No, it is not. A coincidental name. Uh, Alright. Public room's up. This time it should list me. Still stream time? Yep. Uh, with the thing we're crazy. Alright. Could have done private this time? I know, I just want to make sure it works publicly first before I worry about private. Well, since we're going to be waiting for a little bit, how about we do something? I'm actually going to restart my game. Here's, Here's a copy the of the game. Issue. They gave me a couple copies of the game to give away, too, so enjoy. Well, I've got EDF in here, which I'm going to assume... Mitch, is that you? You here? Black Cat Squad. All the codes I I'm have are you. for Steam, just a heads up. Looks like it's already gone. Yeah, I'm not even able to find a room at all. I've got two people in here. Think you can throw me an invite? See if that works. Cause... I'll give it a shot. Hang on. Is there a space in stream time, John? Yes. Oh, for God's sakes. I didn't even see that. <laughs> didn't even see it. Tim, are, do I, I? There you are. Never mind. Uh oh, uh oh. Hmm? All right, myself, EDF, Black Cat Squad, and Tenmar. We got a full party. Oh, EDF is FOE. Okay, so we got FOE, Black Cat, and Tenmar, and myself. All right. Get your teams ready. Oh, yeah, you're not wearing a line glove. Let's fix that. You know what? Let's start with Yoda Lake Kaboom. Yeah! <laughs> Okay, that team looks amazing already. How much of this have you played? Because you get you were playing it on launch. Uh, three? Uh, no, I uh, actually, I guess technically I did play on launch. So this was gifted to me by Prenny of Time. Uh, we only played for three hours. That was it. So not that far, not that long at all. I'm so glad they chant EDF when they're ready. It's perfect. And it's by per character, too. So if you have a group of all guys, it'll just be the guys saying it. If you have a group of all women, they'll be say it, saying it. Nice. All these adorable brothers and sisters. So now here's the question I have. It, are we going to have each have four characters on the field, or are we just going to have one from our party at a time? Four characters on the field. So there's 16 characters in our party right now, basically, is what you're saying. That is correct. There Neat. are no NPCs. There's It's just us. Let's do it. Oh, this rules. This fucking rules. Hell yeah. Also, just to get, let you know, there is friendly fire. And one nice little thing. 
Like I said, always, like, because this is a collect -em all Like, you want to just save all your brothers and sisters. Now, if someone in our party saves them, do I get them as well? You, you get them as well. Nice. Everyone gets to share everything. You know, because sharing is caring, John. Uh, did I find a JRPG protagonist? I found a pirate! Oh shit, what's... I... <laughs> Alright, that's an important Someone's... question. Where is it? Where is it? What button brings that up? The singing? Yeah, what's well, the top button? you just want to bring up every single, every single one. Uh, it would be left, but I'm using keyboard. That's all. Oh, it's it's select. Alpine. I don't know who's singing that, but God bless him for the EDF four. I see here actually. Where do I need to go now? It's Black Cat the singing it. This is hectic. I love it. Is that? No way! Who's got Son Goku? Hmm? That's you! Yeah. Amazing. You'll love this character, actually, John. You get a somersault kick and a flurry of punches. Nice. I can hear it flying around. <laughs> Something's approaching. It's huge. Let me at him. Ooh. The Godzilla knockoffs already. From Edia Five. This mega giant aggressor generates its own electrical energy. Watch out for its EMP. I don't know who did that, but my goodness. That was good. Oh, that's gonna be a big laser in a minute. Oh no! <laughs> we did too much damage. Did we get it? Nope, it's leaving. Bezos on the run! It's a nice little music box. It's heading towards that mothership! I actually don't remember what button it is for the key uh, keyboard and mouse for the um for the hey, quick access to songs. This is what I call a hoedown. Are the game codes for the deluxe version of the game or the base game? Base game. I do have some codes for the season pass as well, though. Boy, happy to join ya. Long as you share the alien loot with me. <laughs> I'm your new leader. What? You won't let a civilian lead? Just who do you think you're talking to? Flame revolver. Oh my god. Happy 
to join it's what you think it is. After all, preserving peace is what a Swiss do best. And the trusty fork. Oh, the fork! That's tempting. I think he's on one of my squads. Hang on, I need to... And someone's getting the fork. Who's getting the fork? I think only out of my party, only the Tulip Sister can probably use that right now. Oh, it might, maybe not, because it's a missile launcher. Shit. Yep. Yeah. Fuck. Nope. Oh, someone Ooh. has collected a few brothers and sisters. <laughs> oh my god. FOE's ready. Holy shit. Do all the EDF games have this blocky art style? No, this is the only one that has done this so far. All the other ones are uh, standard 3D models. Oh. Oh yeah, I guess we can change the difficulty since we've got uh, multiple people here. Oh, you're playing this on easy? I don't. I didn't change it to easy. I did all the other ones on normal. Why did it switch oh. to easy? No idea. Oh, probably because it defaults uh, the friendly fire damage. So let's redo that last you know, one cause... hard. We'll just blow each other up. It's no problem. I guess we can just move to the Clash with the Mothership on hard, actually. Second, let me get another let me get another EDF key for you guys. This is for a Steam version of the game again. The mothership. Oh, right. Save people first. What am I doing? That's the aggressor mothership. It's humongous. It does not seem to be moving. This area is surrounded by enemies. All units, initiate attack. Commander, show us what your team's got. Is it spaceman? Did I save spaceman? Oh, Alpine brother. There, there is a spaceman. I, we all split up and actually went to different targets. Amazing. So the cowboy, the closer you are to your target, the more damage you'll actually do. Yeah, I noticed that. Oh, you got so... These guys got so much more health now. They sure do! Remember, we're playing on hard now. Now we're getting the EDF experience. Oh, you're almost knocked out already. I uh, only one of my characters, but yeah. Oh, it's my turn. There you go. Look that for you. You are dominating the Also, one other nice thing: this game actually also gives auto aim. I noticed that. It's surprisingly generous in that aspect. This is the EDF experience. Fuck yeah. Yes, yes it is. The mothership is too far. 
I love Cowboy Brothers' mobility move. He just fires a shotgun and launches itself backwards. I mean, it works! Can't complain with results! Alright, time for the Spirit of Texas. Let me get close to this guy, because I'm sure this is going to matter. Mach 6 bullets! Holy shit! Uh, how much damage did you do? 12,600 per bullet. That sounds about right. <laughs> So one other thing about this game, each character actually has like different speed, jump ability, like the spaceman here, he basically is on low gravity all the time. Makes sense. <laughs> Someone has the fork. Yeah, based on the explosions, I'm gonna say that's a yes. Ooh, someone's got the wires, too. Oh, here we go. It's that basil. Ooh, he looks different, though. Something seems off. Ooh. I tried clicking out of the game, but I couldn't. Uh -oh. Oh. Anyone got a super? <laughs> we could use it. I cannot allow that. Finish this battle. Does not look like it. I was close to getting the windmill, but I don't have anything else to get damage off of right now. Spirit of Texas it is. I mean, if it works, it works! Uh -oh. I'm coming, EDF, or that one foe. Oh, you might want to get out of there, Tenmar. It's fine, it's fine, He's it's Vunder. Oh, did we get him? Nope, still going. We must save the spaceman. Someone went flying! <laughs> well, at least there's plenty of health blocks. <laughs> He's got so much health! <laughs> Oh boy! Oh yeah! Nice shot! There's the supers we needed. Oh boy! Yeah, girl. This game is very meta. Damn, they're all health. Oh, I see those yellow boxes. I want those yellow boxes. I could actually land. I got too much gravity. But not enough gravity. Oh, did you miss? No, I hit it. 48,000. It's a piercing attack. 
It's time to summon. Oh, is he down? Damn it! I just got the windmill too. <laughs> My Bayfaroos! Poor Joe. Hey, we've healed part of the planet. Report from the scout team. This area is reassembling itself. The land is reattaching to the rest of the Earth. Huh? Is that even possible? Let me at him. Oh. Now we know what we have to do. Commander, I'm ordering you to attack the motherships in each region of the planet. We fight off the motherships. The planet should be restored to its original form. There are five more motherships. I'm counting on you, Commander. Stronger together, achievement unlocked. This game has so much personality. Yeah, now this is what I call a hoedown. It's so fun. Hey, I nice fucking job. love this. Oh, that is so much more armor. Y yep, sure is. Holy shit. Happy to join the EDF. After all, preserving peace is what a Swiss do best. All right, another fork with a crocodile robe as well. What? You know me as Tappy. I'm the world's first fighting pop star. Age oh God. 17. With the Penetrator 13. Now I just, I just know she has a boba tea. What? <laughs> you won't let a civilian lead? Just who do you think you're talking to? Tapioca boba tea. That doesn't sound delicious at all. All right, what do we got? What's our new one? Defense. Armor. Extra 0 .06. Weapon damage up a little bit. Defeating enemies with SP moves earns SP point C. This may let you do your SP move multiple times. Ooh. Also, every item has a special description, even the characters. There's a lot of flavor text in this game. What are you gonna tell me, Blue Lagoon? Uh, let's put in. You can put your trust in me. Need a hand? You've got so many characters from that season pass. I wasn't expecting like Sarge or all the other. Literally media four of bosses. literally four of them are the same character. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck is her bikini outfit? In integral ray? It's a yeah, missile launcher. So, yeah, so each character will have right. a special weapon. Are you gonna go team J-pop, John? No. Or team anime? I'm not. Oh. Oh yeah, can other people still join with the other two having left? Hmm? If, if they left, they should be. You left it as a public room. Yeah. I didn't even know they left. I thought they were just waiting on joining back. No, nah, uh, FOE even said in the, in the chat, thanks for the games. Oh. <laughs> Rio Futaba back, is though. a VTuber. Is she? In your opinion, out of all the EDF games, which is the worst one? Because I might try some of the other EDF games if I like this one. Uh, probably the first one. Because it's just, it was limited, you could only be a ranger. Uh, if we're talking about ones that we got here in North America, I hate to say it, probably 27 or 2015. Although I really love that one. Oh, sorry, 2017. Is version? Yeah, that's 2017, right? 
It's all, I'm assuming you mean Insect Armageddon. So. No, no, the one before that. The first one we got over here. That oh, so, yeah, a lot of people also don't like Insect Armageddon, but it's also that's because it's a very serious game versus how goofy all the other ones are. Yeah, 2017 is great. Like, they're all good in their own way. Insect Armageddon's very self-serious, while the other ones are very goofy, but also, like, B-movies, so... Really, I think they're all pretty good. I think, if anything, if you're really interested in playing, like, the more modern ones, then... EDF4 has that special kind of B-movie. But if you're looking for more of a modern, like, a li little bit more uh, life improvements, EDF5 by Sa and this, so there's two different studios, there's Sandlot and there's Ukes. Um, so for Sandlot, they made EDF4, EDF5, Ukes made, um, Iron Rain, and now they've made World Brothers here. So you basically have a brother and sister studio here, making different Iron Rain, uh, EDF games. But this is the first one that's literally so colorful, lighthearted, and enjoyable. I would probably, I personally like the Sandlot ones a little bit more, despite little... Well, Sandlot was the first team to do them, right? Yeah, Sandlot was the first. Yukes is the one that made the change with um, letting you basically play in Iron Rain every single class at once. Uh, yeah, the Tom, though, Tom, the first weapon. game is a simple series one, yeah. Japan only PS2. Oh, sorry, my bad. Swing on you, Timmer. Go Team Melee. E-D-F! Oh man, are you going all melee? It is all melee. That is you're, an all melee you're squad. A brave man. Look, I have a Spartan, John. Mm. He's got the trusty sword and shield. The best weapon to use in Monster Hunter. All right, let's, let's do it. Ourselves a hoedown. Let's see how the fork so is. This is Japan, eh? Well, nice town they got here. <sighs> Wish I could have seen it before they tore the planet apart. This area has been taken over by the Ravagers. Stay alert and be ready for anything. I'll join the team. Look out for enemies. <laughs> the welcome wagon's here! Until we locate Dark Tyrant, our only option is to fight back in the areas occupied by enemies. I thought we'd only have him for that last mission, so I'm glad you're still with us, Joe. Oh, there's a tank on this stage. Is there? Yeah, so the big white square is the tank. Also, just to let you know, uh, yes, friendly fire does apply to the tanks. I almost killed Prinny of Time, actually, last, uh... When I did this, yes, on Thursday. All right, so uh, Bikini Girl here has the fo as a uh, missile launcher, which is a lock-on, as you can see. Unfortunately, it's not that powerful right now because it's like a level one model, but it works pretty good otherwise. God, this one reloads really fast, actually. Keep this up. That is a very slow flying missile. Thank God for no fall damage. I like how on my team oh. I basically have like a German Hellgast, a Dragon Warrior, a Spartan, I, and a I ninja. I literally just picked up a full heal. Thanks for the heal. Oh, 
Oh my god, who keeps doing that? Is that an air tortoise that someone's doing? <laughs> someone... <laughs> someone just destroyed us all. I think someone grabbed the tank. Oh, thank you. So whoever rev revived my German soldier. My German brother. I appreciate it. He is hungry, just like me. I relate to him. Give me some miso, John. Is he done for? So hungry, but I cannot go as far. Well, that is the broken cell up an appetite. Uh-oh. What was all this? Ain't no more ninjas talk. I do not recall making such a statement. <laughs> Please admit to it, boss. I mean, plausible deniability. We can't have that. Also, the music is all over the place in this game in such a weird, good way. It. Oh fucking hell! Who keeps firing those rockets? You can't Every blame me this time. time. I'm all melee. Every time. <laughs> you can't actually. I'm awake. I'm awake. Up I go. Eat this. Reload. No one has the tank, so we're not being hit blasted by the tank. All right, I got my my SP gauge at max. I'm getting right. that spider. Tennis time. Well, at least it's the, at least it's the right season to be wearing a swimsuit. True. It's the summer of explosions. Summer of love to a whole Just new like that, that explosion right there. For once, I wasn't hit by it. Was that a fencer? I haven't gotten a fencer brother yet. Hard to tell. I think it was. Might be an insect Armageddon one, actually. You know what? I'm gonna go get the tank. Fuck it. I think there's only one enemy left. Yeah, I'm gonna drive towards it in the tank. Custom made. Oh, my girls are riding on my tank! Fuck yeah! My whole party's riding the tank! Look. We did it. Girls dig tanks, John. The tank jumps! This rules! I am in your debt. Yes, you're hungry. Let's get you someplace safe, and then get you a belly full of fiddles. Eh, we didn't need this part of the earth anyway. Say your prayers. So long, partner. Who was that? Did I look good? No one's as pure as me. Awesome. New teammates. I'm armed with a genie and a magic carpet. Hey, hands off. What? Quick stag beetle. The fork too. Ooh, a level two. So they do level up. Red rhinoceros coat. The aliens have abducted hundreds of my cattle. I won't stop till I get them back. 
And of course, the ninja. Ninja. I'm glad he just says ninja. Well, ninjas gotta repay their debts. It's true. Just got here, what do you think of the game so far? I actually really like this, this is super fun. This has been great. We're Right now we're playing through on hard with uh, on online multiplayer. Sorry, my son's getting mad at me. Uh, if you are just showing up here now, uh, this is Earth Defense Force World Brothers. This is uh, the newest Earth Defense Force game. It came out this week. If you want to check out more info for it, either check the, the uh, command that's been going on on a timer in the chat, which is exclamation EDF, or check under the stream for links to the Steam page, the PS4 page, and the Switch page for it. You can also check out EDF's uh, socials as well. Their Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube page shall be linked under the stream as well. Why am, I see, why am I seeing bagels? What's going on here? Why do I see bagels? You said about you talked about your son. You said your son was angry at you. I said my stomach is angry oh. at me. I was like, why is everyone saying bagel? <laughs> Bagel's definitely not here. He's I heard I heard son. No, most of chat heard son as well, apparently. Oh, we don't. Is there a way to unready? I guess there is. Can I just click on that? Nope. Let's see. Okay. Let's, let's <laughs> One change. and done. Who have I not put in here so far? There's a lot of brothers and sisters you can put in there. I want to know what this quick stag beetle SP move. Genie tornado and ability is magic carpet. Alright, fine. Ah, uh, the good fire and forget weapon. Hola. Can I give you a hand? You can Need a hand? I, I'm putting the pirate in too, I gotta know. E -E 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 it's time for the mission miso soup, John. Hand in hand, we save the earth. What is that weapon? The, the stag beetle? Yeah. It is a fire and forget weapon. It will search out an enemy, latch on to them, and then after a few seconds will explode. Zero reload time. You literally can just hold it down and fire it as much as you want. Yodel sister? Oh my god. Used to yeah, Yodel's sister's actually really ago. powerful. She can actually, um, she, her, her actual ability is uh, Music Box. Oh no, they're right underneath. Really travel through time? Look out for enemies! Huh. It is the enemy! Looks like you need a strategy. Yeah, I love I love the Yodel sister. She actually synergizes super well with the air raider. She can throw down a music box, make the aliens dance, and then the air raider can just summon down an airstrike. Amazing. Like, there's so many weird combinations together. Night Ooh, a night brother. Never seen that one before. Air Raiders requested air support. I was being chased. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm riding my magic carpet out of here. Oh no, I can't! The bug tried to get on. I'm gonna ride to a freeloader. Well, it wasn't on purpose, I swear. Still, I'm great. I need to be so 
I guess our ninja partner here didn't take kindly to them EDF rations. Oh, it is me. And what's that luck. miso soup you're talking about? You are from afar. In this case, there is no dishonor in ignorance. It is a traditional food of Japan which bestows strength. It is also no stranger to proverbs. Well now, that sounds like some good old home cooking if I ever heard of it. All right, I'll take care of the rest. A piece of cake for you. What we got? Here it goes. Oh, genie the genie tornado. Here we go. Ooh. A literal tornado just hunting down the monsters. I mean, it's doing a good job. I'm surprised they're throwing off such of these massive monsters already. And why not? You're right, there's so many monsters. Remember, they're pulling from like, what, seven games worth of history right now at least? Let's see here. Insect Armageddon, Iron Rain, three and four and five. Yeah, they're, 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 they're pulling, pulling from... Yeah, all, all five and then the uh, two spinoffs. This is this is the third spell. So this is the eighth EDF game. Mission complete. Great job. Shucks. Ooh, that sure was a doozy of a mission. I could use me some miso soup. Then we shall search for the three main ingredients: miso, wakame, and tofu. Our next couple missions just looking for soup. Yes. Yes, it is. Of course it is. So they even have their own theme song in this game, too. And they let you sing EDF 4s, EDF 5s, uh, as well as uh, their own. Hey, nice job, Kigri. I am not surprised based on the explosions from earlier. Oh shit! The effort or complaints? No bullets? Let them use lasers. <laughs> Meanwhile, she has a rocket launcher. Go ahead and hate me, like Genghis Khan. No, I've already heard that line. Oh shit! And let us fight together. Legends of our alien crusade. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that, honestly. Nope. Eagle Muffs I was wondering as well. what the French. I was wondering what the French representation would be. In. Apparently, it's King Arthur. Yes, because we all know that King Arthur was French. Yeah, famous Frenchman, King Arthur. Also saying Alon Z. It's like really Doctor Who. No, it's just it's just like let's go, like charge essentially. Uh, what was the thing we just got? Eagle Muffs, weapon damage 1.02, SP points from defeating enemies 1.03, auto aim lock on boost C. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, did I already have those? No, I didn't. I don't know, keep him, keep him cowboy. Uh, you just Yodel really want that cowboy, don't you? Let's go, Oh, Need a hand? How is this sorting? Happy to go along with hunting No, fuck it. Let's put the let's let's put the there there is a sort button, so you can actually sort depending on how you if you need something very specific. You can put your trust in me, matey. I will I'll take. Let me join. I'll help you. May I? Get in. Mix that uh, air raider. Looks 
like works for you. Let me just cut my class. Yes, sir. A three good moment? What's a three good moment? I'm your new leader. What? Yeah, only Chanvara's sisters were in this game because they were published by D3. Yep. Alright, I need to step away for a minute. I'll be right back. I need to grab an almond bar quickly. My stomach's starting to get mad. Alright. So, I also found out why I kept going past the Odler. I was looking for her rocket launcher, which she did not have out in her actual pose. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, I have yet to find an actual bad character in this game. You have no idea what this series is. This is Earth Defense Force World Brothers. This is the most interesting version of the EDF games, because usually they're super serious, a B-movie, alien invasion. This... No, we're getting, like, J-pop songs in the background. Yes, my team name is Yodale Kaboom. I got myself a Yodel sister. I got myself a, uh, a Claude, uh, Claude dancer. Got myself a dragon lady and a narrator. Would you recommend Iron Rain for the starting game if you like character creation? Honestly, you don't play EDF for character creation. There, There is a character, like, creation in EDF Iron Rain, but you just kind of get covered in armor or clothing of your choice. And a lot of people didn't exactly gel well with Iron Rain. And I think that's simply because, despite letting you play as every single class, I feel like the weapons... I didn't live up to the ridiculous experience that you get from the Sandlot EDF game, so EDF 4 and 5. But you're pretty much playing EDF to literally point your mouse over the aliens you want to blow up. And also in the, in the process, you're just blowing up every single building in the process. World Brothers have a genocide gun. I We don't know. We have not gotten that far. This game literally just came out two days ago. So this is a super unique art style. If you... Like, I actually love the art style of this, because this kind of reminds me of 3D Dot Game Heroes. It has this... It has that amount of love and attention to this... Uh, to that level. You don't usually see voxel style being done this well. Like, even if you look at the picture in the background, you literally see... Mount Fuji in the background and cherry blossom trees in a voxel form. So this is the first time. Usually it's like a super simple yet realistic art style. So that's what you're normally getting with the EDF games. And I'm glad, like, that's the one thing that easily makes this franchise stands out. You normally don't get games that create such gigantic maps, and at the same time let you just absolutely raise everything in front of you. But, like, you could use the buildings as cover, but at the same time you could just blow it up and make it create a shorter distance between two points. Also, just to let you know, this is a public library, uh, li uh, lobby, blah, lobby, and if you have, uh, you can search the name Stream Space Time, and hey, there's one spot open. Feel free to join us. This is on the Steam version of the game. Are there any EDF games uh, good for single player? They're honestly, they're all actually decent for single player because EDF Four and Five and Iron Rain all have an offline mode, and the offline mode is a lot easier than the online mode. This is probably easily the easiest of the online mode of the EDF games, because when you play an EDF game mode online, those aliens will destroy you. You need yep. a team of four just to actually survive on normal. The fact we're actually able to go through this on hard is honestly kind of a miracle right now. Uh, and that's right. not even mentioning the that's not even mentioning the higher difficulties of Infardist and Inferno. 
All right, the code I'm putting on screen right now is actually the season pass for the game. So it'll get you access to all the characters that I've had access to so far. So this is for the season pass. So this is only useful if you have the game already. And again, this is the Steam version. Oh, it's Maya's birthday, dude. Yep, happy birthday, buddy. Let me get some happy birthday. Some Mio hello, hello. Mio hello. I can Mio never Mio. say your name. Mio, 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 Mio. So I was out of almond bars, so I have uh, baby carrots. I wonder what the Canadian brother or sister is. I haven't come across that. I also see you're using the Cosmonaut from EDF5. I might as well give him a try. Alright. In search of ingredients? Don't you love Mount Fuji in the background? It's very beautiful. Let's blow it up. Also, I just realized I chose the worst team for this. <laughs> Do I have any console codes? No, I was only given Steam codes. Sorry. Does the game support crossplay? Sadly, it does not. Yeehaw! It's party time! Oh, this is also, some happy I love music. the 20 voice action. Oh, the volcano! Oh no, not the not the airships. Yep, the Ravagers. Uh, and I wish I brought the panda. One time I wish I brought the fork. That would also work. I wonder if I can make these guys dance. Oh, that's the music box. Yeah, so music box, any aliens buy that, they'll become paralyzed and start dancing. Is one of the carriages an alien? Those are the Ravagers flying drones, also known as gunships. Aim steady and take them down. Oh, I haven't even been rescuing anything. I just spaced out on that. Oops. Don't worry, <laughs> you got a good squad with you. Kurgi and I got your back. Uh oh, they're spawning in. We found the Wakame! I'm in your debt. Oh, what is that walk on me? It is a nutrient rich seaweed. Oh god. Maybe not the best idea that was. The fishing industries of the US and Europe consider it a nuisance. As it's known to jam fishing equipment and interfere with sea What a shot! I guess we'll have our hands full even after getting rid of them giant creatures. Also love the Yodel, uh, the Yodel Sister special. You ready? I'm trying to unlock it, but I only got 30% so far. <laughs> Message from the food search unit. Miso has been located. Leave this to me. Ah, miso. The most crucial ingredient of miso soup. What kind of miso is it? Can we get blue miso, John? We'll be on the lookout for blue miso. Is that even a thing? I don't actually know. I can't tell if Joe's just fucking around or not. Look, we have a ninja from the past here and a cowboy that's only used to American culture. 
Do you think you think Joe or Cowboy Brother would be aware of Miso? I can't tell. He seems pretty gung ho for it now, so who knows? Oh, wouldn't you be gung ho for any food? I mean, I'm hungry right now, so yes, you are correct. I'm actually also glad we don't have to worry about collecting armor anymore. We did. Yeah, that's kind of nice too. From the food and no, just finding the weapons on the they map either. To locate any tofu. That is regrettable, as tofu is my favorite part of the soup. How I long for fermented beans. <laughs> fermented beans? In that case, no, thank you. What is this conversation the AI, the, the characters are having now? This is a super lighthearted meta a weird game. Ergie has two fencers on his team. <laughs> I am greatly appreciative. Hmm? Hmm. I'm Trooper, sent from what you guys call Iron Rain. The Cyrus too, hell yeah. Fences are not option. <laughs> the whale crown! And the volcan volcano Iger. Ooh, new, new weapon. Oh, that has so much more damage. Oh, I'm so glad there actually are levels to weapons. I thought there was. Oh wow! Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's pretty big. That has double the damage and a nice increase in range too. Hell yeah! Uh, let's change you. This is Trooper. Yeah, so the nice thing about this, the way this game actually works is you're pretty much collecting every single character, every single brother and sister over and over again. But by leveling them up, they can equip different weapons. So you can take, like, choose what their favorite, what your favorite ability and special move is and equip them with the weapon that you actually prefer to use. This is the uh, dumbest EDF game I've ever seen, but a completely different than the way EDF is usually dumb. I want to play it. Well, it's on sale right now. It's 20% off. And it's available on the Nintendo Switch, uh, PC, and PS4. I love how I can give my aerator the Spirit of Texas. Oh, she can equip the close range weapons? Yeah. yeah. So. Well, because the Laser Lance <laughs> is close range, so. Yeah, 4,360 uh, 4, damage. Kind of nice, honestly. If you can get point blank range. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. I just realized we're not singing the songs, and I'm so I really, I always forget. I always forget to sing the songs. Hang on, I gotta I change my taunts so I can put them on there. My chat shortcuts. It'll be under shout and things. I already got it. I already got it. Yeah, so this that was that was the first thing I looked for. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so what this EDF four, EDF five, and then World Brothers has their own. And it theirs is the longest one. I mean I'm not surprised. 
How many more codes am I giving out? Uh, I have one more game code, but I'm gonna do a raffle for that. And, uh... I'm gonna... I've got a couple more... Season passes. I'll give away another season pass now. Uh, technically I am at time now. But let's do at least one more stage. And then after that, we'll go to Cookie. Alright, so imagine this, oh, no tofu. this is another season pass for the Steam version of the game, so unlock all the extra characters. So here you go, if you have that. Good luck. Go. Imagine a world without tofu. Level nine. Yeah, remember, this is only if you have the game. It doesn't give you... It's not the game. That's just the DLC, essentially. the only area we'd be able to find it. We're supposed to be looking for tofu, but all they got here is uh, money. Uh, uh, what's wrong? Oh, no. It's a I'm, I'm stuck. Meant to lure there you go, okay. Giant creatures. <laughs> Fine. Pretty sure it's just regular hunting. No, it's an extremely sophisticated luring dance. Oh, is that Well, can we just focus on finding tofu? I gotta find a way up to get the brothers and sisters. I already got one. Have they found tofu? No, not yet. Oh, there is. Just checking in. So, if tofu cannot be found, come on. I will accept. Tofurky. Oh my god, really? It's a tofurky joke? They got turkeys made of tofu back in Japan. Ow! How is that even possible? Stop! All right, we got our rescue teammates. But I have had rumors that it is an honorable present. I gotta say, Kotaro, you got me curious about trying your Japanese food. Oh, I'm gonna be in trouble. Where you at? You need help? I'm alive for now. I'll get back to you guys in a second. <laughs> you are dominating the enemies. I've got I've got tulips to protect me. If you keep attacking, you can stop them in their tracks. As well as music boxes. Yep. I'm on it. And your strikes. It's still my favorite, though. Yours is still the favorite. What's with the rainbow bridge here? Oh yeah, you saw the rainbow bridge? I'm on it. Oh. How they finally found Tofu? More please. Unfortunately, the target still has not been located. Oh shucks. Just what is this elusive tofu anyway? Uh oh. 
According to the search unit, it's made by coagulating soy milk extracted from soybeans. Can I destroy the bridge? Please don't. I'm on the bridge. I'm destroying the bridge, John. Oh, God. No, I can't destroy the bridge, John. The rainbow was too powerful. No one can defeat it. Happy Pride Month, everybody. <laughs> Might be a little early, but you know what I mean. Oh, shoot. Sorry, Commander. We are not having any luck locating Tofu. Allowing my selfishness to engage on a team any farther than this would be dishonorable. I will do without Tofu, We also look for soybeans to make Tofu ourselves, but... Attempts were unsuccessful. If only I could share the beach from my country. Before the planet was split up, the U.S. was already exporting loads of soybeans to Japan. What is this fucking dialogue right now? Sorry for listening in, but I have some important news. Regarding... <laughs> Actually, yes. Japan is only capable of producing a quarter of the soybeans it needs. It relies on countries like the U.S. and Brazil for the rest. So most of the soybeans eaten in Japan are sent from other countries? That is correct. Particularly the soybeans used to make tofu. High five! So, unless the world is put back together, Japan will lose most of its soybean supply. Namely, tofu. That fills me with sadness. This fucking dialogue is ridiculous. <laughs> I, like I said, this is the most light-hearted EDF I've ever heard in my life. And yet, honestly, for the year, it works. We, we kind of needed a game like this. Yeah. I mean, here I am playing a character that puts freaking this the North Star to shame. What the heck? What? Self regeneration? Is I that what that said? It, yeah, it was, but it was written backwards. <laughs> oh god, are the frog? Do the frogs in EDF five speak backwards? I guess. Oh, I've, oh, I've got to check that out now. Intermission. We won. The aid of other lands. Japan will only produce one fourth of its soybeans. So, in a group of four, three would have to go without tofu. If that person refuses to share, then yes. My stomach remains empty, but my will wavers not. Commander, I, Ninja Brother Kotaro, pledge loyalty to the EDF. I will risk my honor to restore the planet. I will not relent until miso soup can be had by all. More, please. Ninja. <laughs> I'm glad he just says ninja. The man was really prideful of his occupation in the past. Uh, no, there are plenty of vampires there. Maybe not. But that just means something else we need to defend. I guess. Alright, here we get. What is that gun? Weapons, but I seek revenge on the aliens. Let us fight as one. The grudge. I'm assuming that's a grenade launcher based on the way it looks. Initiating counteroffensive. I call this mission Project A. Leon. Oh, you got the Dragon Sister. Nice. The Dragon Sister Beta. Black Tortoise Hand. And another knight. Who can now use machine guns. Knights used guns in the past. I mean, yeah, it's just funny that we went from, like, melee weapon to machine gun.
All right. This has been hella fun. Holy shit. First off, like I said, I'm really excited to do anything sponsored for, for Earth Defense Force because I love this series. But this game was actually super goofy and really fun. Holy shit. There's uh, so many other brothers and sisters we haven't found yet. Yep. Let me give away one more code for the season pass. And then I'll run a raffle and I'll give away a copy of the Steam game and the remaining season pass I have. So this is another one on screen. This is another season pass for the Steam version of the game. Please only get it if you have or are planning to get the Steam version of the game. Otherwise, it ain't doing shit all. How do you even get these sponsorships anyways? They contact me. It helps that I know the, the community manager for EDF because we've worked on a bunch of other stuff in the past before. But like... I love EDF. So this has worked. Taken, I am seeing. Alright, there we go. Well, hopefully you guys all enjoyed it. If you want to pick up the game for yourself, it is available on Steam, PlayStation 4, and on the Switch. There's no crossplay, unfortunately, but as far as I'm aware, they can all be played online, and I know that apparently the Steam ver sorry. The Switch version has a uh, four-player LAN mode, so if you all have a copy of the game in a Switch, you can all like hook up together locally to play, and two-player split screen on the PS4 version. Check under the stream or in the command if you want to see the actual uh, links to those. There's also the Earth Defense Force Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube pages listed underneath the stream as well. Again, Earth Defense Force, thank you guys so much for sponsoring the stream tonight. Really appreciate it. So happy to do a sponsored for segment for a game like series I actually really like. It means a lot. Let's do a raffle and then let's go to the cookie. Is this game in the cookie? Not yet. I can add it. Let's see. We have beaten 3% of the game. I wonder if that's actually counting all of the difficulties. Uh, it, no, it counts your clears. So I'm pretty sure that does count the difficulties, yeah. Oh, sorry, Switch Mode brings up a point I forgot about. Quick note on the Switch and PS4 versions of EDF World Brothers. They are digital only. There's no physical version. All right. Let's run a raffle. Uh, I honestly hope they release the soundtrack for World Brothers. That admission pop music in the background. I don't know why. It just is in my head. Ooh, 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 baby. Oh, shoot. I was going to use exclamation EDF for the giveaway code, but then I realized that's totally oh. command in chat. <laughs> yeah, I could change it, John. I could change it. You want me to change it? Uh, No, we'll keep it. We'll keep it on. Uh, okay. it'll, it'll just be a lot of more spam chat than usual. All right. <laughs> Here's how this is going to work. Type exclamation EDF if you want a copy of the Steam version of the game. I'm just going to temporarily Steam disable the Streamlabs version. EDF. Yeah, fair enough. Remember, only enter if you want the Steam version of the game, because that's all I have to give away. I will let this run for, let's say, 90 seconds, and then I'll roll it. Whoever wins, um, tell me if you want it for sure, and then I will make sure it's get whispered to you, along with the, the code for the DLC. Look at all these brothers and sisters. One minute before I roll it. Oh. Can you play the jazz version of EDF? What? Don't the, the jazz version of EDF. 
I have never no heard idea. of that? I don't think I know what you're talking about. I honestly don't like it in the mod room at this moment. Twenty seconds. What is this? The EDF Jazz Singers? Is this stream safe? Um, it's uh created by Michael Hillard. He's just using the lyrics. He did the vocals and the trumpets. Seven years ago, when the bugs first attacked, if only of jazz. Insects who have once again come back We'll unleash all our forces We won't cut them any slack The EDFD boys Our soldiers are prepared It's not bad, it's not bad Uh, put that out in chat Here, let me I'll okay. do that Give me, Yeah, just put that in chat for people to check out, actually And let's roll it The winner of a copy of Earth Defense Force World Brothers is Max A Few Trades Max, do you want it? Yes, I do. Hell yeah, Max. I'll uh, I'll whisper you the code on Twitch. Sweet. I'll send that your way right now. Let's do that right now before I forget. You've been enlisted in part of the Earth Defense Force. I hope you're ready for this responsibility. You'll have to save cows and find tofu. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, no. Yeah, tofu. You're after tofu. There. There we go. Oh, oh. Boom. Just whispered it to you, Max. You may have to refresh your page to see it, but you should have both codes. Enjoy. All right, and with that, let's go to the cookie. Oh, hang on, let me, I forgot to put, before I do this, let me put Earth Defense Force World Brothers into the backloggery. I'd laugh at that, it gets rolled. It's happened before, I feel. Bum, 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 for Steam. Oh, I've definitely played it, so I guess I can mark that as played. There we go. It's in the back loggery. Give the cookie a quick update. All right, we're good. Let's do it. All right, if you guys are new to the fortune cookie streams, here's how this works. Brand. We pick five random games from my game collection, and you guys vote on a straw poll link dropped by one of the mods to see what game we play next. Normally, we play that game for about a half hour or so, so we've been a bit off schedule because of Earth Defense Force, but that was fucking fun. Uh, do we have any carryovers from last week? I don't believe we do. Ooh, last power I don't trip. remember. Nope, looks like we're good. All right, so five random games. Game, well, ten more. Actually, since you're here, too, do you want to throw one in? Yeah, sure. Uh, come, you, you know, okay, let me ask this question. Yeah. Uh, do you want Iron Rain, uh -huh. EDF 4, or EDF 5? Which one do you want? <laughs> Dude, I should wish EDF game? Yes. Uh, uh, Wh which one are you feeling right now? 5, I would have continue? to start from scratch. 5, I would have to start from scratch. 4, I'm a ways in. Iron Rain, I'm a ways in, but I like the customization I... of Iron Rain, so. You want to do Iron Rain, then? Uh, give me five. Give me yeah. Give me five since that's a yeah, fresh file. Five, five. You'll, you'll actually love the intro. You'll love the start. <laughs> okay. Earth Defense Force five. We're not done defending the Earth, chat. Uh, I mean, I hope we're not. PS four. I think I have that for PS four. Oh no! Actually, that file has. Yeah, we'll start a fresh one. Whatever. Fuck. You have Whatever. It for Steam. You, I saw you buy that. I also have it for Steam because I buy all the EDF games because I'm a fan. Uh, and our five random games. Game number one. Not that. Not the middle of the Battle Network series. Goat Simulator for Xbox One. I'm 
gonna be beaten by goats. Game number two. Wacky World's Creativity Studio for the Genesis. The art app for the G Sega Genesis with the mouse. That was a Genesis mouse? Sure was. Oh my god, I didn't know that. Game number three. Super Mario Maker 2 for the Switch! <laughs> We've never played that one before. Game number four. Akiba's Trip, Undead and Undressed for the PlayStation 4. <laughs> Boobs! What is this fucking cookie, dude? This is a loaded cookie. There's even an anime right now that's being released this season, too. And last but not least for this weird-ass round of cookie. Polka Park 2, Wonders Beyond for the Wii! What a what weird is this cookie? list. What a weird list. This is as weird as EDF. <laughs> All right. Poll's been made. I am not voting on this one because I don't think I could pick. Let's see what chat wants, though. Currently in the lead. Oh, There's one the vote for her defense force. Thank oh. you. Thank you. My vote Damn. counted. I voted, and that's the wrong screen. I know. I'm trying to fix it. Can that fix it? That fixed it. Sweet. I hate when it does that. All right. Currently in the lead. Poke wow, really? Poke Park what 2, Wonders Beyond for the oh. Wii. 105 votes. 25% of the vote. Uh, it's a battle for every other placement right now. Mario Maker 2, currently in second, 118 votes, 22% of the vote. Earth Defense Force 5, 120 votes, 21% of the vote. Akiba's Trip, Undead and Undressed, 91 votes, 15% of the vote. Wacky World's Creativity Studio, 50 votes, 8%. And Goat Simulator, 39 votes, 6%. 630 votes clock so far. Polka Park 2, Wonders Beyond, leads 170 to 155. Thank goodness, I thought I was going to lose to Goats. <laughs> nope, Goats has got last. Uh, one minute on the clock starting now. Whatever game is in the lead at the end of that minute, that's the game we play next. If for any reason the the game in second place is 1% away or less from the leader, it will get added to the next poll as an extra option. So that means we'll have some extra choices next time. I don't blame anyone. This is a very interesting cookie. <laughs> this is a weird, a weird list of games. Uh, have the votes stopped? Nope, they're, they're just weren't getting linked again in chat. Okay. So yeah, they're trickling back in again. Poke Park 2, 192 to 174, 3% lead roughly right now. Mario Maker is catching up. It's 20 votes away now. But I don't think it's going to be fast enough. Oh, it's... Nope, Poke Park 2. Wow, out of this list, huh? Poke Park 2, Wonders Beyond for the Wii is the winner, with 200 votes exactly. That's what's up next. I guess we're done defending Brands. the Earth. Have you played Bomberman I mean, R it... online yet? No, I have not. I put my spare time into finishing up Resident Evil 7. Did you get Max Spooky? God, no, that game's not scary. Oh. The coolest, the coolest part about the game was the segment right before the final boss. Because they do, they do what I fucking wish they had done in the rest of the game. <laughs> that, at that part, I, this is going to sound really stupid, but I feel like this is the best description for it. That part of Resident Evil 7 was Silent Hill. <laughs> Which made me realize, oh. I just want Silent Hill. <laughs> it made me feel uncomfortable and actually like, so like spooky scary doesn't scare me. Psychological scary and uncomfortable scary, those actually kind of work. 
So that was why I love Silent Hill 2, because by the end of that game, you're very uncomfortable with yourself. And that's like the best kind of horror, I feel. Stuff that makes you like linger on your thoughts. And there's a segment in Resident Evil 7 where they start doing that, and it's really good. <laughs> and then it fucking throws it away. And I'm so mad. <laughs> there's like, Five real good minutes right in there. That five minutes is fucking gold. And then it, it just, it turns back into Resident Evil. Well, at least you'll have Ethan Winters. Oh, people are saying, you wanted, John, you wanted Silent Hills? You're correct. I wanted Silent Hills. I would really love to have Silent Hills. PT was fun, except for the stupid way you had to solve how to beat the game. You had to talk in your fucking microphone. You had to plug a microphone Press in your forward. controller to actually get to the ending. It was stupid. So hopes for eight are low. Uh, seven made me not want to play eight right away, basically. Even though most people said eight is more my speed. We'll see, because 8 doesn't take itself seriously from what I've heard, and so a lot of people say there's one moment in 8 that is legitimately scary, and I'm curious about that. But I'm gonna do the, uh, I'm gonna do the DLC for 7 first, because I beat the main game last night. And then I'm gonna do the, uh, I'll do the DLC after that. Because the DLC is on sale because of Village, so I picked it all up. Because everyone was like, you need to play Zoe, you'll love Zoe, the end of, uh, end of Zoe mission. And uh, people are saying, I like Not a Hero, which was free. And there's an Escape Room videotape, which apparently is also pretty good, because that was one of my favorite parts of the game. So we shall see. Well, that's, that's where my Resident Evil enjoyment is at right now for 7. You said it was the worst mainline game you've played. So I said it might be. It might be my least favorite Resident, uh, mainline Resident Evil game. Uh, and yeah, I probably, I, I, I hesitate on that because I really dislike six. Six is not good, uh, for a myriad of reasons, but six at least has characters I fucking care about, unlike everyone <laughs> in seven. I care, I didn't care for like almost a single character in seven. Most of the characters suck ass. <laughs> just all the characters on stage and John's just behind a jury panel saying, I'm sorry, I just hate every single one of you. <laughs> I like one of the one of the main villains, Jack, he's a real fun character. He's pretty good. Uh I like Ethan though. Forty percent of Ethan's dialogue is the word fuck. <laughs> Which, you know me, I swear a lot, I'm cool with that, but it, it, he has like no character. And then like the one part where he has to make a decision which affects the ending, he just comes off as an asshole in that part. That, the problem is I can't, I can't go into details about specific things without just being like, here's spoilers. That's the problem. Yeah, you gotta leave them. You gotta leave the mystery for people. You gotta leave yeah. the mystery. Cause here's the thing. I'm in the minority for people who didn't like Seven. I would like to state that now. I recognize that it is a good game and it has good elements to it, but they're not elements I care about or work for me. Most people say like Seven does like the atmosphere extremely well. I found the atmosphere boring. Seven says some people say that Seven does horror pretty well. I found it like not scary at all. Like but I'm also dead inside, so that also helps. You'd think, if anything, that would really help my enjoyment of it, but, you know. No, you're just too used to horror. Pretty much. Anyways, how about we actually get to the stream? Let's, uh, let's drop some eggs. Village is a lot more relevant to your interest in that case. I Most people have told me try the DLC, because they liked it better than the main game. Most people that agreed with me they didn't like the game said, try the DLC, you'll like it way more. And most people have said, you will probably also like Village more. So, 
I'll give it a shot. It's just village is lower on the priority list now, basically. You only have 10,000 games, John. And, you know, when you save low priority, it's still up there pretty high. <laughs> so what you're saying is Resident Evil Setup should have had more Windows pop-ups? Exactly, Link. That's exactly what I'm saying. All right, uh, let's drop some eggs. Bramnet, Princess Amelia, still, Captain Joe, and Anonymous. Thank you all for the gift subs and sub bombs. Everyone else, wow, okay. Right, that was a two-hour segment. Uh, everyone else, thank you for the subs. The list is too long to read, but thank you all. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. What have we got in the carton today? You will probably love the end of Zoe DLC and not for why you think. I'm curious about it. Everyone keeps saying, I've had a lot of people say specifically, I will enjoy end of Zoe. Hopefully they're not selling, selling this too high for me here. We'll find out. From Nerd, Eggman is hungry, but not for eggs. You will give me an egg. No, I want you to get me a cheeseburger and a shake. Okay. End of Zoe is your brand of stupid. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, people keep saying that. I'm curious. Totoro, with an idea I had from one of I'm Not Batman's uh, drawings last cookie. Super Fighting Dairy. Mega Milk. Oh, God. Oh god. Ikabu with TRG Quartet. T T T T T R G T R G The Runaway Guys. T T T T R G T R G The Runaway Guys. Very nice, Ikabu. Very nice. Green Day Rock with Just Play Your EDF. Shit. Just play your fucking music. To save our mothers from any alien attack. Good. Giant insects will have once again come back. We'll unleash all our forces. We won't cut them any slack. B E D F T boys. The fuck? I was listening to that. Stop that depressing crap. <laughs> Wait, what's that part from? Uh, still with I refuse. You will give me an egg. I refuse! You can kiss my ass! <laughs> fuck you, Baltimore. Game fan with Chad didn't like that thick joke. What the fuck? Friends. Jiggy stick. The frick is wrong with you. Wow. Jiggy stick. The frick is wrong with you. Jiggy, congratulations. You're thick, apparently. PSB, what Jiggy thinks about the best attack in Sonic Chronicles. What's Jiggy thinking about? <laughs> wow. Stop that other pressing crap is from one of the EDF chants. Are you serious? That's amazing. I didn't recognize that one. Uh, Private Butter says, just play Christmas Came Early. Fine, just play your stupid music. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, everyone! The power of Christmas compels you! I was listening to that. Compels you! Compels you. Uh, Cool Al, John wonders why he's in the bathroom. All right, you're the professional. Hi, why am I here? Didn't you already submit this one? I've seen this one before. Uh, and we've looped. All right, we're gonna go to break. When we come back, Polka Park Friends. 2 for the Wii. See you guys in a bit. Now I'm gonna eat some carrots. Depressing crap. Then how about this song? 
A legendary hero soon will lead us to glory. Okay, yeah, I recognize that now. So many good EDF songs. A weird way to pronounce uh, and spell Lance. Well, at least we know a Lance is a gentleman's weapon. So, you're not wrong in that, but I'm sorry, I am still very much a sword and shield user. Look, it's the weapon I know. <laughs> it's the weapon I know. Besides, if you're gonna hunt monsters, you gotta you, you gotta capture them all. See, TSG, he likes his gun blade, sword and shield like Pokemon. Sure. See, Bla Blazona loves the charge sword or the charge blade. I could never get into the charge blade because every time I try to use it, I literally do think, oh, press the trigger, you'll block. No, I turn my sword into an axe. And apparently now I've started a Monster Hunter discussion here. The important thing is you're using the weapon you like. That's the important thing. What controls do you use? Uh, just standard controls for the Xbox 360. It just happens when you have the weapon sheathed. I... Keep pressing R2 and boom, it becomes an axe. I would love it if the charge blade was default, like if you had a cheat, you could just hold R and R2 and then instantly guard. That would work for me, but since it doesn't, every time I just keep making the same mistake over and over again. I must become a master of weapons. Oh, that's that's gonna take time. That's going to take so much time. And time is one thing I don't have. I've been trying to actually make a, a better routine for myself. Look, the point is you give me gigantic monsters to fight, like an EDF or a Monster Hunter, and I'm a happy guy. It could be a rocket launcher, it could be a missile launcher, it could be a good old-fashioned shotgun. That penguin is ready to defend the Earth there. Oh man, they should make a penguin brother or sister. That'd be great. What is happening in the bottom center gift there? That is from the Naked Gun movies. Uh, basically, he grabs uh, what I think actually at the time is his uh, his lover. She grab he grabs both of his hands and then the third hand slaps him. Nobody knows how, well, how he actually got slapped. How about a teddy bear shaped hammer? You know, honestly, Monster Hunter does need to bring back the silly weapons. Jack, uh, you could thank all of the creative artists who've been, who've been putting in art on the Boru 
for me to ask for their permission. They're the they're the people who actually make all those parody covers possible. I think it's just a fun way to kind of take what's happened during the month of these streams and say like, hey, here's a nice little way to kind of remind yourself of the month. It's always important to give credit where credit is due. Yeah, I did hear. I, I don't have Monster Hunter Rise. I still only have Monster Hunter uh, World, so... I'm kind of waiting. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of just waiting. But I heard a lot of really interesting things about Rise. And I'm glad they're actually finally getting an ending, because they weren't able to fully develop the game because of the pandemic. I don't need to rise up. I, 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 I'm I comfortable where I am. I need to lay low. I need to lay low and focus on what I need to do. We're just currently learning how to code. What language are you teaching yourself? Hmm? Uh, I'm starting literally from the bottom here. I'm starting HTML. Thanks to Mariah Hurricane, he, uh, he let me know that GitHub uh, allows you to create your own website and such with GitHub pages. And so, like, that is a perfect platform. He also showed me Visual, uh, bleh, Visual Studio Code as to be able to just actually write code. Nice. Alright, I'm back. There we go. Welcome back, and apparently did you hear Bloodstained Ritual of the Night is getting a sequel? I did. I did hear about that, actually, recently. I... Lore-wise, I don't... It doesn't make sense, but you know what? If it lets them actually create a new game good for them they have a new story to tell all the better i'm not surprised um iga iga's pretty good at that at that craft in general even though it was a little there's a lot of weird decisions in bloodstained i don't be shocked if the next game irons out most of them oh yeah no you will always get something better in a sequel no doubt and as for programming the real, the real core of it is just I need to make a portfolio, and which means I need to actually have a skill set that's not related to sales or administration or management, where I can actually say, "Hey, here's actually the things I have created." That sort of deal. The main thing that Bloodstained proved was that people still wanted Metroidvanias in that Castlevania classic style, and I would say by that argument, it succeeded. So I'm not surprised it's getting a sequel. Especially considering the two spin-off Bloodstained games done by Integrates were pretty popular from what I've heard. Those definitely were popular. Alright. Yeah, my main goal, honestly, is to actually learn JavaScript, because I want to actually try my hand at creating what I... So, there's actually some people, like uh, Trigger Fire or Firewire. He makes some really interesting um, chat user interfaces and such for, like, streams and such. Like, if you link a clip, it'll actually play the clip on stream, which is actually pretty amazing. I want to make some stuff like that. Alright, Ryu Serpentine says, Yesterday was my birthday, so have some late bits. Happy birthday, Ryu. Uh, Iguzki says... Oh. Keep it private? Yeah, not out loud. Ooh. Thank you for being there. I'll, I'm sorry. Yo, that's rough as fuck, dude. Here's hoping for the best for all that. I'm so sorry. Hugs for you, dude. We hope you're doing okay. Uh, Amy Lou says, No crossplay sucks, but hey, if they're working on it, can't ask for more than that. Let's save the earth. I don't think they're working on crossplay for the game, but like I said, it was fun. There's a lot of EDFs in here, EDF chanting. Sater Program says they're watching past VODs. Hopefully you're enjoying those, even if it is because you're bored. <laughs> Broke Flat Earth. Woke Cube Earth. That's from Trolling Shuckle. And Toronto Maple Leafs say, Are we seriously blowing a 3-1 to one series lead against those darn abs? Tune in Memorial Day to find out. Oh, God, Toronto, please. Just win for once. 
for the love of God, so Leaves fans can just shut up. <laughs> Please. What, at, this point, at this and... point, Toronto needs it. Fucking let Toronto have a cup. It, it's been a while. They can ha let them have it as a treat. Now you're just making it sound like you need a pity win. They kind of do. <laughs> yeah, Etria, Etria says, as a Toronto fan, I agree. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think they'll ever shut up. Yeah, but at least a cup, one cup might make them shut up. I'm from Toronto. No, I'm from Newfoundland. I'm from Newfoundland. So the back there, you only rooted for Toronto or Montreal. Sometimes you just need a day. You just need a day of silence. More often than not, Tor or, or Montreal was the better team, but Toronto fans are stubborn. There's no other way to put it, especially considering a bunch of them were in my family. You get used to hearing about Toronto. Sometimes you just want them to win a cup so they'll shut up. <laughs> I see a couple of people have definitely lived the same life. Uh, if, if you're a fan of any, if you're a fan of any sport, there's always going to be that dynamic. Yep. Whether it's baseball, basketball, actually, you know what? You may only have golf as your saving grace, but even then, because now the the reign of Tiger Woods is over, and now it's just the age of Phil Mickelson. I love, I love this comment I just saw here. I'm a Bruins fan. I feed off of Toronto's pain. Most of the country does, to be perfectly honest. Uh, if the TRG had a team each, who would Chugga and Tim have on their teams? Uh, hmm. Well, what sport? Uh, no, this is EDF. This is Earth Defense Force. Uh, Emil oh. would have all the explosions, and Tim would have a. Tim would have a long range team, I feel like. He would probably have a couple, like, rocket launchers and a couple snipers. Bleach Bummer says, So while I have only four days left of work since school is out next week, I've been assured I can return to work in the fall. In addition, out of writer's block from my RPG, and so far I haven't heard any issues, or haven't, yeah, heard any issues from my RPG's demo. Though testing is done. Well, that's good at least. Also, since you finished Resident Evil 7, curious about your thoughts on the bosses as far as the main game is concerned. Uh, the Jack fights are are funny as fuck, the first two. It's, hard, it's, it's so hard to do this without spoiling things. Uh... Yeah, actually, I think the, the two jack fights, the first two jack fights are my favorite. I think I hate every other boss fight after that. I think I hate literally every boss fight after those two jack fights. I, am I forgetting a boss fight? Resident Evil 7. We're back on 7. If you are, then it didn't matter. Touche. Yeah, no. I'm gonna be honest, yeah. No, Jack's first two boss fights are super memorable for various reasons. They're really, they're kind of funny, actually, what happens in both of them. Uh, but Marguerite sucks. Uh, legitimately, what what even was? Oh yeah, the stupid barn bit. I guess that counts as a boss fight. No, that sucked. Uh, the final boss sucked. I cannot remember. There's a boss in between there, which means it probably also sucks if it exists. Yeah, I really, I really only like the first two boss fights. And it's both because they're just stupid, they're stupid funny. And memorable because of it. Isn't there a third jack fight? Yeah, that one sucks. <laughs> that one really sucks. I had to redo that one three times because I couldn't find the target I was missing. Oof. Turns out, uh, he was so covered in blood, I, it... It masked the target I was supposed to shoot both times. So, that sucked. I don't like blood. I don't like seven, man. It did its it did its best to make sure I did not like it by the end. We're talking it, about it, a, a Resident Evil Seven Village. That's yeah. why we're talking about blood. Yep. All right. Uh, back on track. 
Meganerd says, I got my first, or I get my first vaccine on Monday, so here's a donation. They're not casually linked, just two things in my brain side by side. Okay. Thanks, Meganerd. And congrats on getting the first shot. Remember to get your lottery tickets from your state. <laughs> There's no actual lottery tickets, just to let you know. <laughs> I mean, you are adverse to scares, right? Yeah, no, I didn't find the game scary. It, it's it's so jump scary. It's so full of jump scares, it just gets annoying after a while. When you do so many jump scares, it stops being scary and just gets annoying. Megan says, time to donate five. Also, that uh, Machio egg gif is god tier. Hopefully I can edit and send you more gifts for the wall. Might have to get my boyfriend to use his editing powers too. Oh, I'm excited. Thank you, thank you, Megan. Uh, Flowery Dingus says, What's up, funny man? This has been a hell of a week for me. I graduated from high school. Yay, congrats! Passed three exams at four in the goddamn morning. Attended my friend's graduation. Went to a party to celebrate graduating. And next week is a beach trip. Thanks for the consistency. Yo. Congrats, dude. Congratulations. You're free now. Enjoy your vacation. Yeah. Craig Toxin says, My grandfather actually coached our university hockey team with Mike Babcock, former coach of the Maple Leafs, and won an award that's displayed in the rink in the township he's part of. That's cool. Hell yeah. And Shade uh, Durgan197 says, Hey, John, guess who got his second shot? Nice. Guess who's also got his ass kicked by it? Mm, yeah, that was expected. Feeling better now, but man, did last night suck. Regardless, hope you have fun with the stream. Also, EDF, EDF, EDF. Well, enjoy recovery, Shade. Congrats on getting the second shot. And uh, with that, we're caught up. Let's go to Art Block. What is a horror game you find truly horrifying? I... Hmm. I don't find I'm any... I'm a coward. I, I, if I play any horror game, I literally will get nightmares. I don't find a hor like horror games horrifying because you're technically in control of a lot of it, which negates the spooky aspect of it. Uh, but I guess I would have to say Silent Hill 2, because it's the only game I can think of where I felt uncomfortable by the end, and that was more effective than any, any fucking attempt at scaring me. If that makes sense. Dead Space, I barely count Dead, Dead Space 1 is the most horror game the 3, and I barely count that as a horror game. It was a very atmospheric game, though. it was very though. compelling to actually kind of... And the move... Honestly, like, those those for anything were more about all the gore and stuff, especially if you watch the movies. Ooh. <clears throat> Clock Tower. Yeah, and there's, there's another good one that kind of made me feel uncomfortable. Clock Tower's a good choice, too. All right. For real, though. Art Block. Uh, Art Block starts... No, we already did that one. Our plug starts here with a common Rider edit. Common, common Rider sprite. Here is Sega de Sanchiro. Wait a minute. This isn't Sega de Sanchiro, but jokes aside, how could I not take this opportunity to make a joke like this? I mean, where else can I get a prompt like this where it gives me a chance to art for something I love, like common Rider? Here's a bit of fun trivia to do with Ichigo and Sega de Sanchiro. This all came from the common Rider fan wiki page. Uh, during the 49th NHK Kohaku uh, Uta Gasen with Sega de Sanchiro, Ika Devil appeared and attacked with a platoon of Shocker combatants. Sega Tai revealed that he was actually Takashi Hongo and transformed into Kamen Rider Ichigo. Oh, to fight Ika Devil's force as long as like Kamen Rider Nigo beats. Oh, that's cool. That's cool as hell. Hell yeah. That rules. Good on him, man. That kicks ass. Thank you, Storm. I sent this to you on Twitter. Yeah, I saw. I I guess that I should have known it was you, Goku. Okay? I knew someone had sent it to me on Twitter, but I just never got a chance to watch it. Next up from Paint Pen, part two of their Friday Night Funkin' art. In part two, we have Jonte Hunter uh, in his dance outfit. I had a lot of fun with this design. As for who his opponent is, you'll just have to wait and see. Ooh, nice nice take on the the Dante suit with that one, Paint Pen. Nicely done. Next up, from Storm, this is a lot of text for for this. Seeing as LEGO City Undercover The Chase Begins came up on Power Trip, I thought I would mention one of the characters I feel you would really like in the first game. Albert Spindle Router is a construction worker who is very clearly Arnold Schwarzenegger. Half his lines are, half the things he says are Arnie quotes. 
Also, never play the original on stream because the opening cutscene is unskippable and plays a very not safe for work stream song. I mean, that's what the mute button exists for, but good to know about that. Cool. Thank you, Storm. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, from Bee Master. Uh, Mecha Onion suggested I make a lazy river, and I thought, who, what's fitting more? A lazy river or a calm floating ride? What's more fitting in a lazy river? Babies! So I drew Winter's Baby and Rhyme's Baby. Uh, minor note, I themed Egg's inner tube around Winter's design. For Beefru, his swim trunks are based on Rhyme, but the inner tube is themed around Camille. Cute. Thank you, Bee Master. Appreciate it. Adorable. Very adorable. Good old lazy rivers. Meanwhile, at the beach. What? We locked eyes. Couldn't you just say no? I tried. It didn't work. Seriously? Ugh. Can we just get ice cream without violence? I'm down for it, as long as people don't challenge me. Lady, come on. Meanwhile, in the background. Hungy for ice cream. From Luna. Ah, yes. The rules of Pokemon universe suck. Hopefully, ice cream helps. That and her demon lady shark vibing in sand. I like how only one of the three heads craves ice cream. Also, I don't know if the, if the beach has ice cream for the Hydra. They're going to have to find out, though. Thank Please you, Luna. submit your vibe report. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Luna. I appreciate seeing Hydra, and of course, it's always nice to see Cynthia John and your character as well. Next up. God, I want ice cream. I already had ice cream today. Oh my god, I forgot this was animated! <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> from Red Reaper. <laughs> Higgins, you gotta save me so I can watch my soaps. And where the hell are my scratches? Uh, miss, I'm not sure you've noticed, but I'm wearing fire armor on my bare skin. I think I have a more pressing issue at the moment. I couldn't get this image out of my head after hearing about Tina's soaps. Also, fire armor sounds painful. For those who are wondering, uh, we're playing through Super Adventure Island 2 on YouTube right now on Thursdays. And uh, that... That last episode talked about how she was kidnapped and missing her soaps and I completely forgot about that so people drew the comparison between Chainsmoker Zelda and uh, and Tina <laughs> that game was super That's fun good so, sprite art yeah that game was super fun so enjoy enjoy watching that playthrough uh, I'm also doing a Vice Project Doom playthrough on Sundays however tomorrow is a Twitch highlight reel it's gonna take another week before the rest of Vice goes up primarily because I haven't had a chance to record it yet <laughs> so that will hopefully be fixed for next week thank you Red Reaper for the amazing edit next up from Junko oh no it's the casino we let Ryan back into the casino I would like to gamble for money please uh sir this is the Buru Vacation Island Casino we don't accept Zenny here I think the casino you're supposed to go to is at Lowe's Casino. <laughs> Oops, my mistake. I think I may have taken a wrong turn trying to get to the casino that I'm supposed to go to. No wonder why it looks so vastly different than the one I go to make money for Miss John. I do appreciate the, uh, the Captain Falcon slot machine in the background, though. Very nice touch. Thank you, Junko, for the lovely art. I would like one monies, please. Uh-oh. What do you mean my monies? No, it's not good around here. Is that a bagel? Not a big one. Never mind. It is boobs, though. Ugh, oh, wrong flavor again. What the fuck is this? Ew. Do not like. I'm trying to see what the message is on the side. Oh, if. Do not like. Ick. Or if. Ick. I think it's supposed to be ick. Yeah. From Princess Skylar. Uh, this is the wrong flavor again. Rosa seems to not only have gotten the wrong flavor of boba that she ordered, but apparently it was really gross, too. Oh, it's JFC for Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, okay. That actually makes way more sense. Yeah, that's exactly what that is, too. I did this picture mostly to try to take, make myself laugh a bit, since I'm having a rough time with anxiety and paranoia once again, and trying not to have another meltdown from it. Oh, no. Hopefully you're okay, Skylar. But that's not really super important. My wrist is doing a bit better, but I'm still refraining from doing super huge pieces and taking Advil so I don't completely kill it. I'm taking breaks every hour while drawing. Good, as long as you're taking, as long as you're taking breaks. This piece didn't hurt my wrist at all, which I'm happy for, so yeah. Proton John's also not sponsored by Advil. Please do not sue. Yeah, no, I'm not sponsored by Advil, but I was sponsored by Earth Defense Force today. Bye, Earth Defense Force! We're up, brothers! 
Look under the stream for the info. I don't actually have to say that legally anymore, but still, you should buy the game. It was fun. Then the earth, find that miso. Also, That's a nice not job with the star, the star pupil. Yeah, I'm also not sponsored by Bubble Tea, but I kind of wish I was. I would put them in my boobs and drink them. The lack of boobs I have right now, but I would drink them. God, I just really want bubble tea right now. Thank you, Skylar. Next up, from Arsene. Uh, so a new hero has appeared in the Minecraft Jonaverse. Say hello to the Common Rider S Proton Grand Star. Ooh. He was given his powers by Rosa herself and will use them to protect the M Minecraft Jonaverse from evil. Happy stream, and I will show you his full body picture next art block. Sweet. Thank you, Arsene. Wow. Also, this reminds me, uh, tomorrow, Normal Boots is doing a stream. We're playing Minecraft. So, uh, we'll be hanging out playing some Minecraft tomorrow over at twitch.tv slash Normal Boots. That is starting 3 p.m. my time. So, enjoy, like, a, a couple hour stream then. I gotta start getting a bubble tea before streams. I, I usually do when I remember to and I'm in the mood for it, but I, I forgot to today and by the time I realized I wanted one it was too late bubble tea is delicious but it's also probably why I'm fat I've never had it actually yeah in California wow yeah you should have it it's good TRGC carding I'll hail the biblically accurate angel in a cart Hi, John. I finally got around to finishing the final game of day one. It just took getting the cart sprite from the WiiWare game. But here you go. All you gotta do is defend yourself from a blue shell. But that's not all. Ooh, is there another one, too? What's my preferred bubble tea flavor? Uh, I like the smoothie style more, so the, the fruit slushes. So, uh, strawberry banana with some green apple jelly mixed in is my favorite. It's delicious. Got my second shot Thursday, but I have yet to feel any side effects. I feel completely fine. At most, I had stomach ache yesterday. Yeah, I've had a lot of people say, like, sometimes... Well, I say a lot of people. Some people have said uh, they didn't feel any side effects from their second shot, and some people got absolutely destroyed. So when I get my second shot, I'm probably not streaming for the next couple of days, because I know my luck, and I know my body, so... Be careful of bubble tea. People have gotten intestinal blockages from bubble tea. What? From what part of the bubble tea? Allergic reaction, maybe? I don't know. It's a smoothie. It's basically a liquid. Look, we're not doctors here. Any we anyways, are not uh, doctors. from VCAT, let chaos reign! For some reason, for oh, sorry, for the second game of tonight, we have Chaos Cookie, where either Shadow or Rosa. Uh, your call is using a magic nerf blaster to collect money. The only ex explanation I have for shooting money... Oh, the only explanation I have for shooting money. Until next time. P.S. The cards use it border are blue eyes and red eyes as cats, and yes, these are official cards. R uh, rush duel cards are weird. Interesting. Collect that money. Cool. I love seeing all these. Vcat, thank you so much. The bubbles have gotten stuck around the entrance of the intestines from the stomach. Oh, I don't get bubbles. I get, like, basically... They're basically jello. They're like little jello rectangles. No, I've never heard of Quickly, Colin. Oh, here, I'll show this one. This one got sent to me on Twitter, too. This was basically a uh, character from Xenoblade 2 doing uh, the hiker dance. It's pretty flawless. Hey, if you were asked, would you do a voiceover for a Did You Know video? And if so, what uh, would the game such be bad? Oh, I've done a Did You Know gaming commentary already. It was for Resident Evil. <laughs> we can't escape Resident Evil, apparently, today. Also, I'm I not driving 75 miles for it quickly, for just to drink boba. <laughs> no, <laughs> absolutely not. All right, and the last picture I'm going to do here before we go to gaming is from Wolfboy. As John ventures into a mystical forest, he stumbles upon beautiful centaur with a bow and arrow in hand. Will she attack John? Here's a centaur slash Sagittarius Luca. I'm surprised I don't see the concept more often, though she is a Scorpio, but a centaur is too fitting. Although a Scorpio Luca and a Libra John sounds like cool alts as well. Cool. Thank you, Wolfboy. Wait, you're a Libra? No, I'm also a Scorpio. Yeah, I was about to say, wait a minute, that didn't sound right. What? <laughs> I think I know why. I want to make sure I'm not confusing that with something else. 
Actually, no, I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why they picked Libra then in that case, because I was confusing with a different one. I think I was confusing it with Gemini. John is a god of balance. But also be that too. Thank you for the art, everybody. We got plenty more to go, but we'll grab it next time, because now it's time. For Poke Park 2. I've never even heard of this game. That was adorable. I'm playing it again. Oh, yeah. Do you want CoCom feed? I should probably turn that on for you. Yeah, sure. Oh, Pikachu! Pikachu's way. coming towards us. Look out for Pikachu! We gotta dodge him. Oh, he's dancing, too. Look at him dance. They're all dancing. CoCom feed is up. All right. So I have not played either of the of these games, so I have no idea what to expect. I uh, don't know I, what to expect either. I've seen a bit of the first one, and it's it basically seemed like you know your your standard like kitty adventure game. Let's even dig up some info on this. I am intrigued. Meanwhile, I'm gonna eat a carrot. Nice. Very loudly, apparently. Oh, thank God! It's a horizontal re uh, Wiimote game. It's an adventure game and, of course, a minigame collection. This sounds very, very epic. I mean, it definitely does sound like I'm going to go on an adventure. Yeah. The Wonders Beyond. Ooh, this is, this is catchy. Like, I'm just gonna put this out here. The only Pokemon I know are the Gen 1. That's it. <laughs> That's as far as I got in the entire Pokemon. And I played Pokemon Blue, and that was it. Ooh. This is not where I thought this was starting. Oh, great, we're playing Dark Souls. The Sun. Deadly and murderous to all beings. Except we depend on it. And its healing powers. Here's a pissed off Pokemon. It's sick of your shit. Is that God? No, that's a different Pokemon. There's a Although, God it, Pokemon? It might be a, there's a lot of God Pokemon. <laughs> that was Reshiram I'm seeing from chat. And that's Zekrom, I believe. Yep. Are you not uh -oh. aware? A supreme disaster is about to swallow the two worlds. I'm glad it ding-dongs whenever it switches to them. The very thing we feared is about to come true. We may yet be able to use our powers to restore order. We may yet be able to avoid disaster. Ding-dong. If everything is just destined to perish, we cannot change that destiny. <laughs> Have you noticed? Do you see a light approaching? Not from disaster, but over there, it's someone's car. I see it, but it's such a small light. Do you think he has the power to defeat the darkness? Ding dong, I cannot answer that. We can just open the door, stop closing the door so we can ring the doorbell. But I see countless lights gathering, shining, ever brighter, blinding brightness. I feel such a sense of fate in this. Man, imagine if telepathy worked like this. Just get a ding dong. Sends a message. Ding dong, brain doorbell. Family Jewels would like to know your location. It's 
See, we got Penguin Mon. It's Piplup. I've been waiting, Pikachu. Go up to Piplup and press 2 to talk to him. Hold the Wii Remote sideways and move with the D-pad. This is a 3D adventure game with the sure. with sure just is. a D-pad? It sure is. I went to Seasong Beach the other day. Poke Park is so big and there's lots of Pokemon. I want to make friends with all sorts of Pokemon. Come on, let's have go let's go have fun with everyone at the beach right now. Oh my god, that jump! What's with this box? Looks like there's something in it. Tap one to dash. If you're running to the box while dashing, you can break it open. Pikachu, use dash attack. Yay, a berry! Finders keepers, it's all yours. They're very useful. Oh, shut up, game. Wasn't there a dash attack in the original Pokemon games? Yeah, quick attack. Oh, right, it was called quick attack, not dash attack. In chase, you try to tag the other Pokemon within the time limit. If you dash into your opponent, you win! Quickly, run over that penguin. Let's murder a penguin! You wow, you suck! Nice job! Look, penguins were not known for running. That's true, penguins waddle. Whew, I rolled so much I got dizzy. Chase sure was fun. Here, have some berries. <laughs> If you win a contest with a Pokemon, it'll become your friend. You'll also get berries. Oh, we're friends now because I beat you up. I'm amazed you didn't make this Piplup barf. Alright, time to save. Pals! One. He's your only friend, John. Yeah, and all it took was beating him up. I have no important items, but I do have one friend. My only pals is me! Well, you, you gotta start with yourself. You, you gotta be your friend to yourself. And there's a pad icon next to the name of the Pokemon you are looking at. That Pokemon is your friend. Also, you can find hints about where to go next in the pad. Now run him over again. Ooh, is that Builder? Timber. Oh, it's Timber. Never mind. Hey, nice timing. I was thinking Conkeldur at first. I think I was getting them confused. As part of my training, I'll have... <laughs> if you couldn't tell, I never played Gen 5. As part of my training, I'm having lots of folks use moves on me. Hit me with your best move. Use a Thunderbolt. Hold one to build up electricity and then unleash it to unleash a thunderbolt. When using a move, be sure to aim at your opponent. Use B to switch the view the view to the direction Pikachu's facing. How many Pokemon games or generations have you played? A fair amount of them, honestly. But I never touch black or white. Didn't hurt at all, no big deal. Oh, what a shock. Think I'm kidding? I'll prove your thunderbolt doesn't bother me in a battle! Ooh. You and your opponent use moves to compete. Win the game by using moves like Tackle and Thunderbolt to lower your foe's HP to nothing. Run out of time or HP, you lose. Ooh! That's some kick ass music. This Hell yeah. Oh, I'm on the sucker for guitar. This is a 3D brawler? Hit him while he's down! Now he's our friend! You know what? I'll say it. That was actually fun. I did not expect it to be that detailed for the combat. You're pretty good. I'll tell you the truth, 
Your Thunderbolt packed a punch right from the start. You're tough. I like you. Now we're friends. I'm always around the beach. See ya. Does that Pokemon normally carry a log with them? Yeah. Um, I Basically, it's a construction Pokemon. Like, the whole series, the whole evolution line is that. Oh. I didn't even know there was going to be another Pokemon like Farfetch'd. Yeah, there's Timber... Oh, I can never remember. Is it Tim Timber, Builder, and Conkelder, or am I getting those confused? I think I might be getting those confused. Timber, Girder, and Conkelder. That's what I'm confusing. Okay. Thanks, chat. I even opened up Bubblepedia to double check. <laughs> oh, yeah, what did this say? Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. Uh, That's why. You, you kept bashing Welcome your to Pokemon Park. It. Please follow the beach to the Seasong, the path to Seasong Beach. I'm on my way, Piplup. Don't worry. Oh, see, this looks pretty good so far. What's my favorite Pokemon? Jolt! Jolteon, and I also like Halucha. Sandshrew, Sandslash. That's always been, like, my favorite Pokemon. That slash attack every time was a critical hit. That carried me through Gen 1. Or Pokemon Blue. To be fair, John, your chat is a good Bulbapedia. Alright, you know what? That's fair, too. Alright, there's Girder there. First form carries lumber, second carries a steel bar, the third carries two columns of concrete. Yep, that's them. Wow. I'm surprised you didn't go with a Digimon to troll the chat. Eh, I already this did that for Colosseum. Honestly, this kind of reminded me of those uh, Pokemon... Um, oh god, what's that? The Mystery Dungeon games, that's it. Yeah, they've got similar energy. Except for, you know, the actual core gameplay is not dungeon crawling. Like, it just looks like it's literally just an island of for Pokemon. Yay, we're here! I love the ocean. Come on, come on, let's go have fun with everybody. I wonder why everyone's gathered over there. Let's go have a look. I'm not in a rush. No, I'm just gonna... <laughs> okay! Alright, you're lingering on this a little too much, game. Jesus Christ! <laughs> they really, we just really wanted away. me to see Piplup doing that. I'm surprised they didn't just have Pikachu walk with them. It's like, alright, we're friends, let's just walk together. No, Piplup just says, no, I'm, I'm going off. I'm gonna leave you behind. Pokemon Democracy by Pokemon for Pokemon. Look, what, the Poke Bill of Rights. Fun fact in Poke Park 1, you had to complete a Pokemon's minigame twice for 100%, one for friend, twice for best friend. It was tedious. That sounds awful. Ooh. And kind of unnecessary. Rock a rock. Rock a rock. Come on. Come on. Step right up. The Wild Wondrous Wish Park is waiting. Only 10 berries to get in. Come along, gather around. Wish Park is wonderful. Wish Park, you say? What kind of place is it? rock. I guarantee it's so much fun that you'll lose track of time. And not only are the attractions free, there's all-you-can-eat cake. Cake is the greatest! I want to go to Wish Cake right now. Let's go, let's go. I want cake. Now, now, Munchlax, calm down. It's Wish Park, not Wish Cake. No, let the boy have cake. And it does sound very exciting. Could you please take us there? Count me in. If there's a new spot to visit, I should be the first to check it out. Okay, everyone, right this way. We're off for Wish Park. 
John, you want cake? Hell yeah, I do. Give me that cake. Did you hear that? Wish Park, it sounds great. We should go too. I mean, we haven't paid yet. Hey, you're Pip Up's friend. Welcome to Seasong Beach. What? What? I can't tell if those were monkeys or hamsters. Hamsters, I'm pretty sure. It's a long tail for hamsters. Hamster. Oops. I should meant to grab that. Prairie dogs. Okay, that would make more sense. Sorry, right, Piplup. I'm exploring. Apparently, there's absolutely no reason to explore in this game, so maybe I should actually go linear for once. I mean, it's a Wii game. Either, like, you know that they put it in a ton of effort, or they didn't do any effort, or put any effort at all. And right now, it's kind of looking like they actually put in effort. Ashawasa. Asha. Dun dun dun. A suspicious Pokemon has been spotted. Now, just who are you supposed to be, Mr. Lightning Tail? I'm the mascot for this damn franchise. No, no, he's not suspicious. This is my friend Pikachu. Came to see Song Beach with me so we can play together. Oh, so you're Piplup's friend. Sorry about that. I'm Oshawa. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, I know we just met, but how about giving me 10 fairies? Just give him, just let him go to Wish Park. What? He's got to be joking. Don't give him any berries. Really? You won't give me any? Okay, I'll just get them myself. That's right. I can gather that many berries in no time at all. Farewell, citizens. Asha! Asha! Ashwa seemed busy. I wonder what he's up to. Oh, that's right. We were going to Wish Park. Let's go, Pikachu. I think, if anything, I love the fucking sounds all the Pokemon are making when they're just saying their names. Honestly, the voice actors have sounded like they're had a lot of fun just being the Pokemon. Asha! Asha! First the Krokorok, and now the Ashwa. They're great! They're fucking... They're top tier, man. I think they're actually straight... Yeah, Chad's even saying they're from the anime. Oh, they are. Oh. Alright, Krokorok. Let me in. Here we go. Looks like I paid. You're such a good friend, John, even though you took 10 of uh, Piplup's berries. Welcome to the Stargate! Or a regular ass door! Never mind. Welcome to Mario 64! That's not a painting. Da 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 da. That's a goal. Okay, well, we're dying in the void, apparently. <laughs> Figured you're having the time of his life. Apparently we warped to Mario 3D World. Why is this area starting to sound so spooky? For Wish Park? Because it's Kingdom Hearts, secretly. Oh man, we're gonna run into Cloud and, uh... Squall. <laughs> oh, there they are. <laughs> we're gonna die here. Wow! Everything is made of sweets. And the ground, it looks like it's floating. I can't believe there's a place like this on the other side of the beach. Interdimensional travel, completely normal for Pokemon, apparently. Pretty much, actually. Welcome to Wish Park. Hello! Wish Park sure is mysterious, isn't it? Hee <laughs> hee, it sure is. And it's not only mysterious, it's really, really fun! You can play here forever and ever! Come this way, please! Oh good, it's just gonna be a Dream Eater situation. 
Well, at least we have Weedgar with us, John. Weedgar's always here. So wait, what gen- Okay, so I gotta ask this question here. Since this is Poke Park 2, One Just Beyond, what actual generation is this? Like, It's a smattering of all generations Pokemon-wise, but I believe this came out around Gen 5. Yeah, okay. chat's, chat's saying Gen 5. How amazing, it might be the most loving, lovely place in Poke Park. This place isn't Poke Park. Wish Park is a very different world than Poke Park. Isn't it wonderful? Play here as long as you'd like. You can stay forever. Now, place this unique is something I have to show to, to the Pat Rat. We always welcome more guests. I heard there was cake. I want cake. Where's the cake? Give me the cake. If you'd like cake, try going to the cake building. Kofagrigus? I was like, how do you say that? Kofagrigus? Kofagrigus? It's just up the slope and across the bridge. I want Munchlax. Let's go I'm to some I'm just cake. gonna call him Gus. You know that Hoff, I think that is my question. Agrigus, Hoff Agrigus. That's a good way to answer <laughs> generation. Oh, yeah, that works too. Ooh. Come on, let's play once more. Again? You've already played like 20 times already. Oh, 20 times? No way. The next time will be number 23. I don't care about the exact number. You're really gonna play again? Of course, it's so much fun and you get delicious cake. Well, I guess. What a popular attraction. We should try it too. And please go talk to Confagrigus. Is this a cake cult? Probably. They trade in this cake is a by the Pokemon? sounds of it. This is, yeah. It definitely looks like a Digimon. Or, you know, a Persona demon, but... Ha ha ha, well met. We, if we may be so bold, are uh, Kofagrigus, the attraction boss. In our attraction, you can make cake. Of course, the cake you make is yours to eat. Now go play our cake attraction. That Munchlax is going to eat them out of cake. You think the Munchlax would even bother making a cake? Maybe just eat all the, the raw ingredients, you're right. Oh, it's all Dinos, nice. Aim and shoot at cake ingredients and make a lot of delicious cake. How to play. Point the Wii remote oh, the screen. It is. Move the cursor on the screen with the Wii remote to play. Aim the pointer at a cake ingredient and press A to shoot it. Well, I got lots of choices, so. Uh, there we go. Apparently, Pikachu has an ID card. Pika? Yeah, he has a, he has a driver's license. Oh God, Pokemon, Pokemon driving. And now we're playing Wreck-It Ralph. He got you. He's got a gun! So how does this result in making a cake? Uh, we're making the ingredients for the cake, obviously. I mean, I like shooting galleries. I love them, actually. I missed that golden one, damn it. I think that was an egg. No, you don't. Not that time. Oh my god. Well, at least we know this is better than the Wii play. Shooting Callie. That seemed okay. I feel like I could have done better. So did we just make 18,500 cakes? Is that what we just did? John, you solved world hunger. Well, someone had to do it. It might as well be Pikachu.
Well, how happy happy he is, because he just made a lot of cakes. Happy Pikachu. I'd like my buttercream frosting, please. We made, we made some cake! Let's eat. Wait. Don't eat that cake. Everyone who was eating that cake is behaving oddly. I was saving mine for later. But Panpour ate his and started acting very strange. Look. Oh man, he's got swirly eyes. All right, well I know something's up because Munchlads hasn't finished the cake already. What strawberries in my cake? That ruins a cake. Just jam it down your face hole! And then put it on your head! Okay, bye. Asha! Asha! Hi! We just defeated a drug dealer! Welcome to Poke Park 2! How are we having fun? Uh, what do you think? Who do you think you are? I'm Asha! My search for the missing Pokemon has brought me here. And who are you supposed to be? What are you bri bringing Pokemon here for? The king's duty is to wish for his subjects' happiness. Gaze upon their happy faces. They can't eat the cake. They're so full. Happy faces? They only look happy because of your suspicious snacks. I've let Samurott know about this. I'll stop, Kafagrisius. You guys, take care of the Yamask. What's the Yamask? That's the small Pokemon around him. I believe that's the pre-evolution. Go, Yamask! Asha! Pikachu, use Iron Tail to send them flying! In a battle with a different condition for winning, that condition is shown on screen. Achieve the goal! Shake the Wii Remote to use Iron Tail. Beat all the Yamask. Well, John, it's time to shake your booty. Wow, one hit KO. Ta da! Nice job! Yes. What? My poor Yamask has been defeated! You failed me, Kafagrisius. I, the giant candy cake mountain, speak to you. Not one of Poke Park's Pokemon shall escape. Wait, I thought this wasn't Poke Park. No, he wants the Pokemon that hang out inside Poke Park. It's giant hands! Bottle Chester, Piplup. Piplup, why are you so slow? Aside from the fact that you're a penguin. He can jump, though. Yeah, he's got hops. Why isn't there a Pokemon basketball game yet? It's a good question. Probably because some of them could fly and cheat. Piplup, why did you choose to trip now? Guys, just walk around. They're they're not holding you. Oh, never mind. Pip up, no! Throws us into the void. Asha! Pip up, you could have just walked around the hands. You're a tiny Pokemon. Suck up that blubber of yours. Can we beat up Crocorock? It's his fault. It definitely is. We went to find everyone, but we left Piplup behind. And this portal, how do we open it? We have to do something to save Piplup and the others. Ashwat will remember this. Asha. Actually, Area Keeper Samurott asked me to investigate. It's the case of the disappearing Pokemon. He might know what to do. I'm gonna go make my report. You kinda wanna come with me? I got here too early. Was a... Ooh, treasure. 
I was not expecting like a Walking Dead style mystery. <laughs> Surprise! Oh, well, well, that's gone. Oh no, the beef troll! Oh, okay. there goes the summer fun. Summer is over. The summer of Pikachu is over. We've lost the ball. Oh, that is... Uh, what? Not what I expected to be in there. Uh, is that a... That's a Cleffa that's like a doll, I believe. It's a, it's a Cleffa. It's the pre-evolution. Oh. Hey, have you seen our ball? It's very colorful with red, blue, and yellow stripes. We've seen no velocity. If you see it, could you bring it to us? You'll find things all over Poké Park that you can pick up and carry. Get close and press 2 to pick up an item. You know, we have some Pokemon missing, but, you know... No, you that that wasn't ball, the same ball. They that. said it was They said it was also blue. That one was only red and white. Oh, my doll. They've taken your doll. No dolls allowed. Yeah, it's not even there anymore. Fluffy blankets won! Oh, boy. So far, everything you've gotten has been taken away from you, John. How does that make you feel? Even your one friend was taken from you. Kind of sucks. <laughs> oh, no, I already read this. Come on. Can't skip this. Can't skip this. Samurai. <laughs> I don't know why they got me. Welcome back, Oshawott. Give me a report. Asha! Sir, I've learned the missing Pokemon are at a place called Wish Park. There's a portal that looks like a poster on the rocks by the beach. You can get to Wish Park by going through the portal. What is this you say? Wish Park? You have seen the Wish Park of legend with your own eyes? I trust your judgment, so I have no reason to doubt your words. Excellent work, Oshawott. Now, who is this new arrival? This is Pikachu. He came to play at Seasong Beach. Pikachu's friend Piplup helped us get away from Wish Park, but he was trapped there. We had to leave him. That's most unfortunate, but if you had no choice. Very well, Pikachu, was it? The Cove area's Pokemon are disappearing one after another, if you wish. Could you help Oshawott investigate the case? Asha! I can handle a case like this all by myself. I admire your spirit, but you're a loose cannon. And you're one week away from losing your badge. There's a limit to what one Pokemon can do alone. I say you should test your strength against Pikachu before deciding. If Pikachu is stronger, you must accept your limits and let him help. Can I ask this of you, Pikachu? Pokemon with a type advantage? Let's move to a better spot. How does it feel to be the wacky sidekick to an Oshawott? The loose cannon Oshawott and the wacky Pikachu. He's lost everything he loves. I'm gonna guess there's not actually type advantage here. Oops, missed that one. Yay! I murdered him! Listen, what he doesn't know will really come back to bite him in the ass. I like how they're both like, I've never heard of a Pikachu before. You know what? I guess this is Gen 5 technically, so I guess that does make sense, because it takes a while for Gen, Gen any other Gen to show up. I can't believe you're this strong. Hmm, just as I thought, this Pikachu has much potential. Now, Oshawa. There's a limit to what one Pokemon can do alone, but if you combine your strength, together you can accomplish things you could not have done by yourself. I understand, sir. We're friends now that I've murdered you! Hooray! Right, I'm looking forward to working with you, Pikachu. From here on out, we're a team! Until we rescue Piplup and every last Pokemon, we stick together. Looks like the matter's settled. I want you two to continue investigating this incident. Crocorock and Sandile may know something. Find them. Some of the nearby Pokemon may know where they are. Let's go, Pikachu. We should ask the... Alomomola. They know everything about the beach. When you need to swim, try switching to Oshawott. Press A to call Oshawott, then move left or right with D-pad. When Oshawott's in the middle, press 2 to switch. No, this is, like I said, Wii games are always all in or... It's half-assed. That is not what I expected the character selection screen to look like. 
I did not expect that at, at all. Look, you, you gotta get the close up. Oh god, that jingle. It's cute. It's actually really cute. Asha! Pikachu, follow me! And when you're walking in front, I'll follow you. Oshawott uses water type moves. Hold down one, then release it to use water gun. Shake the Wii remote to use razor shell. Oh, he Naruto runs! That's adorable! Oh, God. <laughs> you know, it, it's funny. Pikachu just here just to come for a little bit of a play date, and now he's solving mysteries. What kind of Scooby-Doo adventure is this? I mean, that's... What do you think about Detective Pikachu? Depends how you feel about Ryan Reynolds. Touche. Uh, this is the ball they were looking for, I'm pretty sure. Wait, who was yeah, looking, that's which, the ball. Yeah, which <laughs> which Pokemon I don't think was it? it? Matters. Oh, I, was I it don't you? Think it matters. Please tell me it was you. You were standing right next to it. You were literally standing right next to it. I saw it because you were standing next to it. We have a friend! There are many different items that can be picked up. Try giving items you find other Pokemon. If you give them something they like, they'll be happy. The location is random? Okay. This is still really funny, though. That was the funniest place it could have been, I feel. It's like when you throw your the ball to your pet, and then the pet doesn't actually want to fetch it, so you have to fetch it yourself. And then they want the ball. Wow, these Pokemon are fucking lazy. <laughs> like, when have they not been lazy? But, like... Like, every adventure game the you play, they're lazy. right here! B based on their location, they flew, like, over the water, right? Like, this Pie Dove should be able to make this last little bit. So this game is teaching us the right lessons, just have other people do the work for you. See, like, the Pie Dove just flew! That's a big help, thanks, I feel much better now. I want to get some exercise, play chase with me. Alright. Time to run over another Pokemon. Oh, Ooh, this, damn, this he's one. This is flying. cheating! This is cheating! Fuck you. Fly out of my reach. Asha! Boy, that was fun. Let's be friends. All the other Pied Up in Poke Park will be your friends, too. If you call me while I'm flying, you'll come over so we can play again. Wingle has come to play. This can't be how you make friends. If it was, I should've just beaten up everyone I've ever met. We'll play with Wingull and then we will go to the cookie. Where... Where's We've that really been spot? doing this for over 30 minutes already? We're almost at 40 minutes. Oh my goodness. Yeah, time just flies when you're playing Poke Park 2. This was way better than I expected, if I'm going to be honest with you. This has been weirdly charming. Like, it's, it's all or nothing, and they clearly... Are all in on this? Who, who actually was the? Was it really just Creatures Inc? Yeah, so Creatures Inc. Oops, they sorry. It. <laughs> My bad. You're telling me Streets of Rage has lied to me that all those people you just beat up weren't didn't become your friend? Hey, Jiggy. Good news, we found out you're dummy thick. Congratulations. I, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I heard the egg. That was the problem. No, you definitely didn't. Is Oshawott a new favorite Pokemon? I've always liked Oshawott because of the, of the revolver Oshawott uh, pictures. I always liked Oshawott just for that. 
Revolver <laughs> Oshawott. Metal Gear Pokemon. Exactly. Wait, then who, then who would be Solid Snake? Would it just be an Ekans or an Arbok? <laughs> I like that, actually. A solid Ekans, there you go. Snivy? What's a Snivy? Snivy. Snivy, mostly. It's one of the other starters from this gen. Revolver Oshawa. See, here's the thing. Everyone thinks I don't know anything about Pokemon. It's just that I don't care. <laughs> I actually do know a bunch about the series. I just usually don't care. So people take that as me not giving a shit and like don't know anything about the series. Oh man, who would be Sniper, uh, Sniper Wolf then? All right. Like I said, I'll, I'll bring the Maractuses together, and then we'll uh, we'll call it. And then I'll run countermeasures for Jiggy as well. I'll no, I, yeah, I'm Suitcase, gear. Reese's is sweet corn. Yeah. Paddle fans. But what about Tepig? Um, That's I was the... going to say the, the the enemy that drives the tank. That doesn't feel like that would fit for Tepig. Vulcan Raven? No, definitely not. Maybe like the, maybe like Embor, at least in size. Now yeah, we can dance the day away. Thank you very much. They're friends now. Ooh, they give us a lot of candy too. Hang on, where was, I thought I saw, I did. Oh, sorry. Trying to run. Oh, he swims on his back. That's Aww. adorable. He is like an otter. Hey, boss, don't mind me. Just getting my laps in. Yeah, pig boss, solid snivy. <laughs> pig boss. Oh, hello. Hello, Babola. Why does an Oshawa? What are you investigating today? What? Crocorock and Sanda? Well, now, if you can catch me. Oh, come on. Look, you, you gotta play tag with everyone. Who doesn't love playing a good game of tag? Well, I mean, it helps that they let us catch up. <laughs> Yay! Hello, Babola. You caught me. Goodness, you're quick. Well, then I'll tell you what I know. I overheard Crocker Rock and Sandal talking about Cove Town's Pokemon, about taking them to Wish Park. Oh no, that means Cove Town Pokemon are in danger. Thank you, Miss Al uh, Amol <laughs> Alamomola. Oh my, sounds like trouble. Don't do be careful, dear. You know how to get to Cove Town, right? I say that three times fast. Yeah, it's at the end of the tunnel that leads through the hill. Asha! If you rush, you might fall and get hurt, so please take care. Yay! Friends! Frillish has come to play. All right, well, let's save. We're gonna go. Oh, to thank goodness! We'll save any time. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna save here. We're gonna call it for this game. We're gonna go to the cookie after we run countermeasures for Jiggy. We need to beat up Jiggy. Yeah, of course. Jiggy, thanks for the raid, buddy. Hopefully your stream was good. Before I go to Cookie, I want to show I want to show Jiggy that uh, that other egg that we we were talking about. 
But I need to sneeze, so I apologize for volume in advance. Or I don't. Okay, cool. Thanks, body. I'm glad we've decided on this. Jiggy, this was this was the uh, egg. This is why we responded the way we did. Jiggy, what the frick is wrong with you? You're thick, apparently. Congratulations, Jiggy. Jiggy, what the frick is wrong with you? It also does kind of sound like sneezing as well. Jiggy, what the frick is wrong with you? And then Chad just yells at you. All right, let's go to the cookie for real. Uh, John, Jiggy's trying to sneak around. <laughs> just tell me thick. All right, this is the old poll. Let's rewind a bit. All right. Tenmar, what are you picking for your game choice? You know what? You, 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 you've been having fun, John. You defend the Earth. You played with Pokemon by running them over. I think it's time for you to blow things up. Super Bomberman are online. All right. The brand new Bomberman game. I'll say the Steam version since, you know, that's the one everyone can play probably. And it's crossplay. Every yeah, it's, console. Oh, right. I keep forgetting. It's fucking crossplay. All right. And five random games to go alongside that. Game number one Gauntlet for the NES, the Tengen version. It's free to download. Just to let you know for Barman. Game number two Psycho Pass, mandatory happiness for the PlayStation 4. What the fuck? <laughs> I think I know what this is. I think I can imagine I... the box art. No idea. Visual novel, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, chat's Ooh, confirming. Game novel. number three. Deadfall Adventures for the Xbox Live Arcade. Game number four. Mortal Kombat 9 for the Xbox 360. That's a good Mortal Kombat. And last but not least for this round of cookie. Power Rangers Super Samurai for the Xbox 360. Was that good? Mm -hmm. I mean, let's be real. You knew what I was voting for. <laughs> <laughs> Pulls up. Currently in the lead. Only my vote. <laughs> oh no, there's someone else's vote was there. All right, there's a bunch of votes in there. I now. did my part. I voted. I believe in democracy. <laughs> Super Bomberman are online with a commanding lead right now. 138 votes. 59% of the votes. Jesus. Mortal. Oh, and everything else is fighting. Mortal Kombat. 46 votes. 30%. Power Ranger Super Samurai. 48 votes. 13%. Psycho Pass Mandatory Happiness, 28 votes, 7%. Gauntlet for the NES, 27 votes, 7%. Deadfall Adventures, 1 vote, 0.25%. 400 votes clock so far. Super Bomberman R Online leads 237 to 58. That is very much a mercy kill. All right. Well, we're going to be playing some Bomberman R Online, which is great because A, I wanted to play it, and B, uh, it's free to download. So if anyone else wants to play, we can do that. I believe to yes, set so up you lobbies, have... I need to buy the DLC, which I will do that right now. But uh, I'm going to play some public oh, can, ones first. If you want to do that, I could just set up the matches if you want. I have Tem a premium pass. Damn, it's a Bomberman game. I'm going to buy the DLC anyways. You're right. You just want to play as all the... You could be Princess Tomato. Finally, a princess. Something I've always wanted to be and have never done at any point in my life up to this point. <laughs> All right, let's drop some eggs. Seesaw24 for 48, Great Gaming Guru for 28, Dragonlord354 for 12, Ant Don for 10, Vanimal613 for 13, nice. Isaacman314 for 51, President Dog for 48, thank you for your service. Uh. Whoa, hang on. I'm going to rewind a bit. Ozzy Man says, So crazy story, I just moved into a new apartment this week, and I kid you not, the day before I moved, I got a message that a huge fire broke out on that street. Thankfully, it ended up being in the complex next to me, and more importantly, no one was hurt. Jesus, though. Holy shit. Uh, Inchone for 59. 
Ninji64 for 50, Flonberry for 13, Y2K890 for 34, uh, and Devil Kitty 1 for 49, and Big Phil 85 for 46. Thanks for seven, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. Uh, game fan with Jiggy Daydreams of Luca. Jiggy, why are, you, why are you moving in on the girl? Why are you moving on the girl? What's Jiggy thinking about? Uh, uh, little help? Why are you thinking about my wife's legs and feet? Jiggy, just because you're thick, you ain't got to move in on my girl. Uh, Private Butter with Just Play Your Mariachi. Fine, just play your stupid music. This is so ridiculous. I fucking love this. I was listening to that. If you weren't here, if you weren't here for the sponsored part of the stream, that makes no fucking sense. Cool out with ED egg. The ED egg deploys. Nice. Still with great noise. You will give me the great noise that plays when you climb any vines. Great noise. That is a great noise. I stand by that. Backy Star with You Will Give Me EDF. You will give me an EDF. 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 You screwed up. You screwed up. You screwed up. You screwed up. Start the stage. Ooh, that's an old one. Uh, is he saying EDA? Yeah, they, they started changing. I think they say PDA at some point. Damn uh, it. Gokai with Jiggy thinks of my French co-worker. What's Jiggy thinking about? <laughs> he seems very confused a little bit. Like, yeah, yep, yeah, mm-hmm, yep. Yeah, yeah, ooh, nice pose. Fancy cool. pose. Cool Al with Lord Donator's butter call. Hello, this is Lord Donator Talk Radio. Who am I speaking oh. to today? <clears throat> Finally, I've been on hold all day. All right, uh, I need the butter. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. You don't understand. This is Lord Donator. You're you're looking for Lo Lord Family Jewels. Lord, oh, dang it! Ah, Google did it wrong again. Always Google. Always Google. All right, we've looped. We're going to break when we come back. Super Bomberman R Online. Keep in mind, this is not. The game that came out a couple years ago on the Switch and other platforms. This is a brand new release that came out Wednesday. This is a 64 player online Battle Royale Bomberman game. Brand new release. It is free to download on Steam, PlayStation 4, and, and, and Switch. And probably Xbox as well. So, uh, get ready for that. See you guys in a bit. You're welcome, John. Also, it has crossplay, so if you have it on one of those platforms, which, since it's free, you technically have them on all of them, download it and we'll play. See you guys in a bit. Yeah, so PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, Nintendo Switch, Steam, and Stadia. There's no excuse. Download that free game. And have fun. It's Bomberman. John, you forgot Stadia. Royale. Shit, you're right, I did. Don't worry, Google also forgot about Stadia. <laughs> I'm gonna go, go eat some carrots. Go, go snack. Even PS4 crossplay. Yes, even PS4 crossplay. I actually streamed it last night to test it and uh, had people with Nintendo Switch, Xbox, hmm? and Steam. That also worked. Yeah, can I download on my refrigerator? No, but you can download Skyrim on your refrigerator. See, they, they cornered the right market. And you can eat all of the cheese. Yes, there's Nintendo Switch Online as well. No excuse, what if I don't like Barman? Well, then don't download it. It's perfectly fine not to like Barman. Favorite color? Red. It has always been red.
See, Alan Mooch now has his first Bomberman game, and now he can play with a bunch of people online. Bomberman R Online is the first Bomberman game you ever played. Well, there you go, Todd. It's okay to not like things. Just don't be a dick about it. Well, I should actually say no. Don't be a dick about it. It's don't be an ass about it. Yeah, you only need that. You don't need to buy the premium pass. They didn't pull a Pac-Man versus, so only John needs to actually buy the premium pass, and then he can host, and then everyone can just join on him and join in that room code. I figure why Steam isn't recognizing your controller. Uh, you might need to do an actual restart with Windows. I've had to do that myself with my controller. Game you found meh, but wanted to be better. Ooh, that's a good question, actually. Shoot, I guess one I was just playing one. You know, actually, River City Ransom Underground. There you go. There's your answer, <laughs> Lundia Deroon. There's your answer. River City Ransom Underground. I like it, but there's so... You, you know there's so much more potential with that. Are you going to have a drink on a hot summer day? That's an interesting question. Um, you know, I've been trying to actually be more healthy. But back when I was a lot younger, um, I was a sucker for Slurpees. I was a sucker for Slurpees. Here's my, here's my viewpoint, honestly, on a lot of things. In this day and age, it's perfectly fine to have opinion about things. It's as Crytoxin uh, Kry, uh, actually says here, don't... Don't, you don't need to shove it in someone's face, but don't be afraid to actually publish it. Don't be afraid to say it. Any content, any ideas you have that you think are actually worth pursuing and publishing stuff, publish it. Put it out there. You know? Too many people are, I find out, are lacking self-confidence to actually run with their ideas or just even take the moment to actually ask, like, a friend or a peer and say, Hey, you know what? Can I talk to you about this real quick? I want to throw this out here. I think this would be worth doing. Get the second opinion and then run with it. But the most important thing in this day and age is to take the time to publish things. Build your portfolio. And just make things for yourself. And show the world. Favorite retro computer? Well, my first computer was a Tandy computer. I can tell you that. That much. Unfortunately, I've forgotten how to use DOS after all these years. Even just recently, actually, I had to uh, pull out a few games, actually. All those Sierra games, like Robin Hood and King's Quest. King's Quest V, specifically. And more like Strong Bad. I don't know how to do Strong Bad's voice. I'm sorry, that was just a terrible impression. Favorite Monster Hunt and Monster Hunter? Ooh. Oh, I'm blanking, actually. I am blanking. There's so many actual good monsters. I've only played Monster Hunter World, so I'm actually, it's a very, it, I know it's a short list. I need to actually look this up. Hang on a second. Uh, I should put the monster list. You do need a, 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 you know, Mr. Silvermoon puts it right. You do, since it is an online game, you do need the online function. So, I apologize, guys. You kind of need that part. I mean, a cute monster I found was uh, Palumu. He was adorable. I mean, it's just a flying mouse, but hey, I'm, I like rodents. The pit. Oh, Devil Joe. Yeah. I still remember just getting absolutely destroyed by Rojang the first time I fought him. I was well underprepared, but I beat him. I gotta get back into that. I've been watching uh, A Tech uh, G actually stream that game, and he's just started. And I, I need to make, I need to just decide on some games to actually sit down and play them on, on off time or what little I have. But right now, studying, applying for jobs, stuff. That's that's priority number one. 
Oh, right. Barman R Online has Fall... If you have Fall Guys, you can actually play as uh, the Bean Bomber. Which is the, the beans from Fall Guys. Yeah, and the uh, there is a... Other way around, there's a Bomberman costume in Fall Guys. I don't think that's out yet, is it? I know it was announced. I thought it was out. No, I think it. I, I think it's still in development. Damn, dude, you want a game without picking up a single item panel? That can ha uh, power mode. Oh. So, so Barman R Online has standard, Grand Prix, and also 64. Do we need to buy the 64. DLC to play? No, you do not. You don't have Fall Guys, but you got the Bean Bomber. Oh, never mind then. Alright, cool. That's even better. Oh, I should probably actually start up the game myself, shouldn't I? You got a bit. I gotta do Art Block yet. Let's see, I'll just pause it. Speaking of Art Block, let me get everything shuffled into place. Yes, I did actually. I was lucky enough to get a group for the Final Fantasy Behemoth and was able to get the armor and the gay bulg. I didn't even buy Iceborne until I completed all of the vanilla content. <laughs> all right. And site the host the says, box? "Yeah, I gotta read donuts first. And site the art block says, uh, "I finally got time off work to enjoy a stream before heading in tomorrow night for another long shift. I'm still working on that Johniverse poker rap parody, so keep an eye out for that. I'm excited, End site. Can't wait." Cool Al says, "Cutscene ruiner, of course." Pikachu subs. <laughs> Hang on, sorry, I need to recover from reading the rest of that. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> yep, I'm fine. <laughs> Pikachu Sub Zero says, Pika, 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 Choo! That one got me really good, Sub Zero. Well done. Orion X2 says, Favorite Pokemon you say? Team Kingler for life. Cookie, cookie, motherfuckers. Okay, the cookie, cookie sound that they did in the anime for, for Kinglers was great. Oh, Kringler and Krabby. For that Krabby was and such a powerful Pokemon in the anime for Ash. Yeah, that was a good sound. Weedgar says, Welcome to the acid trip, I assume, for being in the Wish Park. And we've caught up. Thank you for the, the five earlier still, with no message on it. Let's go to Art Block. And Art Block starts here. <laughs> This one from Ra Ra. Here is uh, Jante that I made in Metopia. Nice. Oh. Thank you, Ra Ra. I gotta say, I watched uh, Lukajin's stream on Metopia. Wow. The, yeah. the faces. Yeah. Yeah. People making some crazy shit in this game. Uh, next up, it's from Tenmar. Chaos Theory Illustrated. Hang on, my 56k modem's loading it up. The Nut Punch! Oh, perfect. Breakdancing self-defense in River City. Interview with BVA member Ailita1234. I can't win in Othello. No roasting, only tender beef. Beefaroo's new beefy beat. The Art of Odama, roll over and press forward. And a breakdancing Rosa John to go with it. And Beefaroo hanging out underneath with his Thursday the 20th pendant. The next issue of Chaos Theory Illustrated is out and hit the streets in River City. Learn how to defend yourself on the streets through breakdancing. Listen to Beefaroo's hit single, No Roasting, Only Tender Beef. Finally, we've got an interview with a BVA member, Ailita1234, and learn why she can't win at the game Othello. Thanks to Ailita, Camille, and Rhyme for their permissions to use their artwork and ideas. Ailita created the breakdancing Rosa, Rhyme created Beefaroo, and Camille came up with the title of Beefaroo's single, which you can listen to at... Wait. It's just uh, a Twitch clip. Yeah, I don't remember the Twitch clip. It <laughs> Oh. Oh, it was just this. That's what you gave this, the name to. Okay. Oh, I asked Camille. <laughs> Fair this, enough. I'll leave this it. This went in some directions. You like commission, uh, follower commission, I lead and rhyme. There are their Twitters there. Thank you, Tenmar. And you also followed up with Play John. I like how this one loaded immediately. 
Summer break with Cynthia John. Favorite Pokemon to snap. This is louder than I thought it would be. <laughs> Shut up, me. It's adorable, John. <laughs> uh, summer break with Cynthia John. Favorite Pokemon to snap. Hot tub stream. So many things that make this a bad idea. Crossplay, cosplay. How to get a five star review for your looks. Hot summer locations. Planet Tenta calls. Really? Tina Armstrong Memorial yes. Water Slide. Summer break is Look, here. You get a good massage there. Oh my god. Summer break is here, and for this month's issue of Play John, we have the lovely Cynthia John ready to show us her favorite Pokeball so we can. I mean, that was a good timing laugh, me. Uh, uh oh, song's melting. Uh, we have the lovely Cynthia John ready to show us her favorite Pokeball so that we can snap some summer memories. This month we'll also get into hot tub streams and how many ways to make hot tubbing a bad idea. You'll also learn how to get the most compliments in your life through crossplay cosplay. Uh, I don't know what. You don't have to do both. Crossplay is. Is just a portmanteau of cosplay. It's just yeah, but it thing. sounds cooler. <laughs> I guess. Finally, learn about the the new hot summer location. It's like saying "rip in peace." Finally, learn about the hot new summer locations you should visit this year, including the exotic planet tentacles and the exciting summer ride, the Tina Armstrong Memorial Water Slide. Thanks to Luna Chief for permission for her artwork of Cynthia John. If you want to follow her commission, Luna, there's her Twitter there. I still really fucking love the whoopers on the fucking bikini top. It makes me laugh every it's time. It's great. Thank you, Tenmar, and thank you, Luna. Uh, next up. You guys are all too talented with your art. I love your artwork when I go through the burrow here. Didn't your wife do a hot tub stream? She sure did. She sure did. She did a great job. Next up on the TRG Cross Virtual Photo Collab is Josh Jepson, inspired costume for Go Hinagami. So this is going to be the last one for TRG and Virtual Fighter since Ultimate Showdown will be coming out on Tuesday. Aside from Lord Donator, Josh was another choice to use as Go. He's equipped with a crow on the side of his arm and a cute doll on his back. I do have to show off one more, which is the Normal Boots crossover with Completionist Lady Pelvic and BBG. Here's a fun fact before I go. Eric Kel uh, Kesslow, who voiced Jackie Bryant in Virtual Fighter, also voiced Captain Falcon in Blood Falcon in F-Zero GX. Holy shit, I can kind of hear it. I can kind of hear it. Wow. Thanks, Cosmo. He'll forever be my hero. From Private Butter Tim. Get well, Winter. Wanted to draw this from my buddy Winter. Hope you're doing well and on the road to recovering from COVID. Yeah, Winter, I don't know if you're here right now, but hopefully you're doing good. If you end up hearing this in some way. We wish you well. Next up. From Heroin Mari. Ooh. Just hanging out. Two mermaids hanging out. Finally got this done, just in time before Mermaid ends. I pushed myself into drawing better backgrounds since I'm not the best at them, but I'm happy with how this came out. Hope you all enjoy and have a lovely night. There you go, you got Cosmo John and uh, Oyster John just hanging out. It's two mermaids, just chilling. My boy. My boy. My mer boy. Thank you, Mari. Very lovely. Good job on the background, too. I like the palm trees and I like the star patterns. Really good. Next up. I'm not Batman. I'm gonna assume this is EDF. That's definitely. EDF. Oh no! Apparently, apparently, the heat of battle, uh, the fact that it is May, and the fact that the recipient is an alien bug, is no excuse for an undelivered Christmas present. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta catch up on your Christmas gifts. Hopefully, they enjoy it. Thanks, Batman. <laughs> That's why we delivered Christmas to the bugs. You Next blow up, up our planet, but it's Christmas. Next up from Mika, another lovely Rosa John. I drew my most recent Rosetown outfit design to end my outfit drawings. It was a lot of fun working on them all, and it was good practice. You did a really good job on all these, Mika. You should be proud. Hell yeah. These are all super cute. Thank you so much. Although, I feel bad for poor Rosa. I'm pretty sure the star is definitely jabbing her in the shoulder right now. She's regretting her giant, sharp-pointed earrings. Next up. <laughs> You're an excellent artist. What? Oh god, it's animated too. Should we oh. be worried about the infinitely deep trench off the coast of the island? This joke brought to you by the concept of Gabriel's Horn, a theoretical object with infinite surface area but finite volume. You put Meanwhile. more into this than I thought, Waluigi. God damn. I'm sorry. It just keeps going. It fucking keeps going. Way to commit to the bit, dude. Holy shit. Oh, please. Okay, jump scuts. Yeah, and now and now it'll play at proper speed. 
I don't know why. Gifts lately have been playing slow uh, off the brewer. I don't know why. From Esper Magic. So that is why milk is so important for your muscles. <laughs> oh, sorry. So that is why milk is so important for your muscles. Mr. Buffton, I'm allergic to milk. Buffton John is trying to be a kindergarten teacher, <laughs> of course. Gotta take after <laughs> his favorite kindergarten cop, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Why am I drawing this? Did I watch Kindergarten Cop again? No, I actually watched some of a new cartoon where Arnold voices a former superhero turned kindergarten teacher named Mr. Arnold, of course. The show is actually called Stan Lee's Superhero Kindergarten? And what? it's a thing for kids. This sounds incredible. I assume it's actually aimed at young kids, so it's not for adults, but this sounds like but stupidly incredible. Putting Stan Lee's name on it? He might have had the idea at some point, we... you never know. Thank you, Esper. True, there's a, oh God. That guy had a lot of ideas that, that didn't didn't come around. Oh, is it the three girls? It is the three girls. For Soccer Cat, hello, after the last Sonic 5 drawing I did, I actually got excited to try and revive that series of drawing, now in HD. But I also wanted to try something and make teams of three out of some of the alts of characters. Something like Sonic Heroes and Team Sonic Racing, where there's three types, speed, flight, technique, and power. So for this drawing, we have Team Triple Timelines, with Rosa John being speed, Pon Pon being flight, and Electron Gen being power. This will be pretty fun to do, but not gonna lie, I, I think I might have hurt my wrist during Electron and Pon Pon. No, stop, artists, stop hurting yourselves, please. Take care of yourselves, for goodness sakes. I'll be fine though, anyways, hope your stream is fun and EDF looks crazy. How else are we gonna have more issues of play, John? If this happens, you people need to take care of yourselves. Thank you, Sakura. These are very lovely. I already said I like the Rosa one, but uh, Jen and Pon Pon both came out really good. I like I like Pon Pon's smugness. is very apparent there. It's very nice. Hell yeah. Next up, the normal boots characters from Virtual Cosma. Uh, the completionist is Jeffrey McWild. Yep, that's super fitting. That that seemed obvious for me. Uh. Lay Fay for for PBG, huh? Okay. And Lady Pelvic is Vanessa. Yeah, uh, I can also see yeah, Vanessa's a good pick too. I could kind of see all these. Uh, Gerard is Jeffrey McWall. Lady Pelvic is Vanessa, and PBG is Lay Fay. The completionist was a suitable choice since Jeffrey had the suit and beard to match, along with the hair. I gave him a shield for his arm and a Sega Dream cast on his back. Uh, Lady Pelvic was also perfect as Vanessa for her costume. I gave her a Sega Genesis, aka Sega Mega Drive, on her back. Lastly, for PBG, if you look closely in the back of his costume, he has a burb flying behind him. I also gave him some bamboo stilts. I was originally going to do Digital Gaming and Chatronic, but I'll have to do it on Ultimate Showdown instead. Yeah, enjoy. Sweet. Thank you, Cosma. Enjoy Final Showdown when it comes out next week. Technically, again, but you know what I mean. Lady Pelvic was on Good Vibes Gaming where she claimed that you betrayed her in hardcore. Are you? What? Amber! What? The drama has begun. Why? Why are you like this? Today, I'm gonna yell at, I'm, remind me to yell at her tomorrow. Interest. Remind me to yell at her tomorrow. Okay. Pretty sure she's on tomorrow's stream when we do nor normal boost Minecraft. So remind me to yell at her. Be like, the footage does not lie. <laughs> that door was open. Wait, th this seriously is all just about a door? It's a long story. Watch Minecraft Hardcore to understand it. All right, I got to catch up on that then. <laughs> but where can we go and oh, watch the Minecraft? Technically, Hardcore. Derek said it, but she didn't argue. Because <laughs> she probably laughed it off knowing her. She's like, <laughs> yeah. She probably said it exactly like that. Door God's drama. All right, and we will end on this one here. Oh, this is cute. Mama Aww. from Princess Skylar. Regarding how I felt earlier, I did end up having um, uh -oh, a meltdown today, uh, but I'm doing better now. I'm still really feeling a bit down to the aftermath, but I decided to draw a cute little piece of Rosa John and Luma to try and cope a bit and cheer up. It did help a little bit. This is super cute, Skylar. Recall someone in the stream uh, saying there needs to be more wholesome Rosa John art, so leave that to me to make that happen. I like making cute, making cute things. Maybe I'll make more things like this in the future. I will take suggestions for pictures idea regarding cute designs for or drawings of Rosa John. And my wrist is doing a lot better now, so I'll be mindful because I don't want to overwork it, but, uh... That's good. Thank you, Skylar, for the lovely art. Yeah, it's it's a cute picture. Nothing wrong with balancing out out the big with the cute. If that means we have more wholesome to balance out, does it mean we can have more risque stuff? Tamar, stop! <laughs> stop! 
<laughs> you can blow me up on the there, battlefield. There's, there's still rules on the Buru. Off stream, I don't give a shit. Again, I've stated, I don't care how far you go off stream. On stream, you gotta follow the rules. Look. It, it just gives options for the parody cover of Play John Magazine. Bonk. All right. Uh, let us load up Bomberman R online. Look, this is fine. This is Look, volume warning, because I have not done any setting changes yet, so volume warning here. Here's what I need to do for all you people who've been busting your butts. It's tomorrow's Sunday. Go out. Treat yourself. Get yourself some ice cream. Get yourself a cake. Smoothie, Slurpee, whatever is your go-to food. And just take a moment. Take like 30 minutes to just sit back and relax. And take care of yourself. Let me get this on screen. Region settings. Canada. Yep. This is... It's in windowed mode, but it's... Nope, and now it's full screen. That was weird. I'm, I'm sorry you work tomorrow, Prime Explorer. <laughs> New season begins! Old Snake. Premium unlocked! Premium only features have been unlocked. You got 14 items. Simon Belmont Bomber. Pyramid Head Bomber. Alucard Bomber. I didn't expect it to be an umbrella. Vic Viper, Vic Viper Bomber. Bubble Head Bomber. Bill Bomber. Lance Bomber. Naked Snake Bomber. Princess Tomato Bomber. Mimi Bomber. Niami Bomber. Riding Bomber. Richter Bomber. And Robbie the Rabbit Bomber. I can't believe they gave him a chainsaw. Unbelievable. I want the tutorial, but I also want to change my window settings. So hang on a second here. Let me move the chat. Yeah, so you, can, can, you can access the uh, tutorial in the training mode. It's the only thing in the training menu. Okay, cool. Yeah, well, let just me, go let me to no, the then go to other. I run my games at lower resolutions just because it's easier for screen management. You can grab the Fall Guys Bomber for free over in the shop. Okay. Yep. Oh, I guess it's not going to click yeah, out. Pretty anyways. much the way this game actually works, it follows the Fortnite formula. So if you want to buy the Battle Pass, you got to actually buy Bomber Coins. Which is a hundred coins to every dollar, United States dollar. All right, shop. I got Bean Bomber. He's cute. But Old Snake is five hundred yeah. coins. Yeah, he's five dollars. Ooh, there's a bunch of other yeah, stuff like, you can get as well. Yeah, so there's microtransactions, but also if you just level up by playing quick match, uh, you can also get other costumes and such. Wow, you weren't kidding. It is the only thing in the menu. <laughs> Battle 64 is a fight to see who can survive the longest, move through the various areas, and aim to be the last player standing. Oops. Some characters have special abilities. Oh. Hi, Twilight King. How's it going? Welcome to the Battle 64 of Super Bomberman R Online. We'll learn it. <laughs> Bobby Monahan! <laughs> Apparently, I also missed, I missed Allison hosting earlier, too. Bobby Monahan! Countermeasures! Where's the mute button?
Oh, you want to hide the sorry. Uh, number so code room? I'm sorry, I chose to I chose to eat uh, a carrot. My bad. Thank you for the raid, Twilight King. Hopefully your stream was good. We're about to play some Super Bomberman R online. My first time playing it, so I'm doing a tutorial first. Because you know, John's got to learn how to play a battle royale. No, I got to learn how to actually play. played a battle royale. Yeah. Worms Rumble. Which one? Worms Rumble. Oh yeah, I guess that was a battle royale. Tetris 99, Mario 35, oh, yeah. okay. Pac-Man 99. Welcome to Battle 64 of Super Bomberman R Online. Battle 64 is a mode in which 64 players duke it out until the last one is standing. This tutorial will go through the basic rules and controls. First, move your Bomberman and place a bomb. Looks like you got the basic controls on lock. Next, try destroying a block with a bomb. Sometimes you'll find items inside destroyed blocks. Note that your own bomb blast will hurt if you get too close. Look, if you're not blowing yourself up in a Bomberman game, you're not playing Bomberman correctly. And the various effects so I recommend that you actively seek them. Now it's practice for a battle. Players have each have two lives in Battle 64. You'll lose a life when you are hit by a bomb blast and you respawn on the field. Get hit again and you'll be knocked out, leaving behind a heart that can heal a life lost. Danger! You successfully knocked out your opponent! When a warning appears, make sure to escape to a safe area. In Battle 64, after a certain amount of time passes, the movement phase will begin. Watch out because you will be knocked out when the countdown reaches zero. Is the tutorial skippable? Yes, yes it is. It is completely optional. So, just to let you know, those stars... Oh, never mind. You've escaped to a safe area. Now the blocks will start falling once the movement phase comes to an end. You'll lose a life if a block lands on you. So keep an eye on the floor and wait for a safe place. Yeah, so those star rooms there will usually yield better items. Like, those star blocks there will actually drop an item instead of being a random chance. Interesting, okay. Now this works of repeating the battle phase and movement phase until the very last player. Great work. That's all for the tutorial. Blast your way to become Bomber 1. I like how red is just running in the top right there. All right, cool. Let's uh, let's give this a shot. I'm gonna do a, pro a public one, then we'll do a private one later. You might want to do customization first, then, or actually, you could do it right now. Actually, while it's waiting. Do I have to pick a character there? Or? Uh, you can. So you can pick your default character here, and it'll just make like a quick selection. But you can also now see like all the special abilities. So bomber types will have different stats. But they can also not be allowed to use certain items, like pink can Ooh, use gloves or throw Ooh. bombs or punch bombs. And it also shows, so the gr so yellow, that's what they actually start out with. The gray shows the max potential. Oh, Aqua can't use kick? That sucks. Aqua's my favorite. Fuck. Oh my god, then green. Green. Yep. <laughs> wow. I've lost to green Bomberman before. It's very interesting. You got 30 seconds to pick your character. Let's play vanilla. He is easily better end game. He's default Bomberman. Default isn't necessarily bad. Well, no, he just has the most potential. Ooh, there's a lot of good ones here. There's a lot. Uh, personal tip, uh, I believe it was L1. And uh, we'll actually, in just spamming, not L1, maybe R1. It's probably R1. And uh, activating one of the chat emotes kind of helps you find out where the heck you are. I mean, you also glow from what I've seen. You do glow, but I'm talking about like in the bigger scheme of things, because there's 16 zones. Hmm. Oh, I get what you mean. Which bomber had Reiko in it? Uh, that was R. A bunch of characters didn't make it from R to online, so. 
they'll let's probably be get, honest. They'll probably get added later. It looks like that's their yeah, plan. If this, yeah, if this game becomes successful, we'll probably see the Zone of the Enders. We'll probably see Jahuti and Anubis. And we'll probably see Dracula and other villains as well. We might even see that uh, former wrestler. I completely forgot his name. Because, you know, I know wrestling. What former wrestler? You mean Xavier? Yeah, it's in Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods is still a wrestler. Okay. Isn't he currently tag he... team champion? <laughs> or is that Kofi and... Uh, you expect me to know wrestling. <laughs> He still wrestles. Really? I thought he would quit because G4 hired him. He, he's he got a lot on his plate right now from what I've been hearing. Alright, let's do it. It's Bomberman time. Can I just say, I just love the UI. I wish they had the UI in the other modes, in Standard and Grand Prix. It kind of sucks they don't have this UI there, showing like how much bomb power you have, how many bombs you have, how fast you are, and what abilities you have. G4 is still a thing. Yes, they're making a comeback. G4 is coming back, yep. We don't know who actually is putting the money forward, but it's enough. Oh, and there goes one person. Shit, Snake's way faster than me. Fuck. Yeah, he does start out faster by default. Remember, it's just the first phase. There's a lot more phases to go. I know, but that's still very noticeable of a speed difference. I guess the problem is I gotta learn everyone's, like, ranges right now, because I have no fucking clue otherwise. There you go. So, probably should actually just let you know, like, the areas will always end at Area 7. It's honestly not that big of a deal, because they give you more than enough time to move around. Fuck! I right, still got a second life. Yeah, but I mean, I'm not in the best. Sp okay, never mind. Now I am. And that's why I actually like the 64 mode. Uh oh. Ooh. Uh, whoever that is, they're. They know they're bomber, man. I can't believe you're already oh, at seven flame. My own fucking bomb did that too. That sucks. See? Everyone just blows themselves up in bomber, man. It's completely normal. Damn it. This is a. They're all kind of packed right now. Ugh. Yeah, Dill Fortune. Uh, there's actually a Fall Guys Barman crossover. Oh! Oh! What? They have special abilities? Yeah. I thought you said they weren't in this mode. No, I said they were in this mode. You could just in private, you could turn it off. Oh. I misunderstood you then. I was working under the assumption guess. that was not anything I had to worry about. No, in but in quick match, abilities are on. That's the See, only reason that's the only reason I did that, is because I thought, okay, standard bomb man rules, I'm safe. <laughs> Pyramid has his Pyramid has his killing move? Jesus Christ. Alright. Well, T T T T. He basically goes from zero speed to negative one. If you're literally a touch by Pyramid Head, your positioning was just poor. It's very hard to actually die to Pyramid Head's active. Bum, try one bum. more time? Yeah, I'll try one more time. And then we'll do, we'll do some private matches. Alright, what abilities does everyone have? Is it all their R abilities? Because some of those were really fucking broke. Use a whip to pull uh, in bombs and characters. Defeat a character you've come into contact with. Ugh. 
He has zero speed. Allows you to perform consecutive dash strikes that can send characters flying. Turns into mist to pass so he... through bombs and blasts. Moves straight forward at high speed, stopping when hitting a block or wall. Shoots four squares ahead, erasing bombs and knocking out characters. That's what got me, was Bill stunned me. Yeah. And Lance can shoot eight squares, but it'll actually blow up bombs. Oh. Nega Snake sneaking allows you to move around without being seen by enemies. Uh, swing a whip to grab onto bombs. The characters move around its axis. Sneaking sounds and mark makes you invisible to enemies for a long time. And I'll check the unique types later. I'll do my best. Want me to tell you what Princess Tomato Heads is? Sure, I used to remember, but not anymore. If you're in this, if you're in the range of one square and you activate her special ability by pressing uh, A or B if you're using the Nintendo Switch or Cross if you're using the PlayStation controller, uh, you just follow them. You lose control of all your character, and that character gets powered up. What? The downside Jesus. is. The downside is, uh, if that character blows up. Chances are you're gonna blow up too. <laughs> our so bomberman, you know, you see our bomberman use... coins payment only. I thought you could earn them in game. Can you not? Uh, so no, you cannot. Uh, I checked oh. the entire start pass. Uh, it yeah. This like I said, this is a pure Fortnite business model here. So I, I guess it makes sense. Are... The game is free, but that still sucks. Yeah, it's it's basically a V buck system. You can buy, you know, it's basically what was it to buy the battle pass level. It's eight dollars, so eight hundred coins. But you can earn coins from the battle pass. How much? I actually haven't calculated, but honestly, given that it's a game of microtransactions, it'll probably just be enough for like the next season, and that's it. Well, remember, this is Konami. This isn't. Epic. Epic literally owns maybe like half of the video game industry now. <laughs> As one of the biggest financial backers in the world. So, different scale. The money doesn't matter to Epic. All right, well, now I know. Now you know to worry about abilities from others. I'll try to be a bit more careful, but I don't know everyone's abilities just yet. Oh, uh, just to let Fuck. you know, uh, you use an Xbox controller, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, Y is to stop the, uh, a bomb if you kicked it. Thank you. Yeah, so Xbox controls, B is to drop a bomb and pick up a bomb with your glove. Uh, X is to punch, Y is to stop a bomb if you kicked it. How many times can you die? Uh, normally two, but if you beat another opponent, you can pick up their heart and restore yourself back up to two lives. So, you got two lives, but you can recover that second life by beating other opponents. So, like, I usually go through a match and literally die, like, three or four times, but... I just end up picking another opponent's heart, and I just keep on living. Oh, what the? Ooh. Wait, why did the the power ups don't stop? Fireballs? No, you there pick, are bombs in this you, one. You, you grabbed the what you did. You grabbed the heart. I, that I was thought I left one the there. No nope. shit. Well, you, you have one. You left the one on the left, not the one that was by you. Damn it! All right. I mean, at the very least, you beat everyone, so items drop from the floor here, and you still can just farm everything. Because if you do knock out everyone, item bonus items will drop from the sky. Hey, wait, how the fuck did you get over here? Uh, what? I'm... Area dominated! There we go. Where the heck did you come from? Alright, well, you're already at... Oh, no, you're not at max, actually. Now you're at max. Shit, where am I right now? There we go. Uh, you need to move. <laughs> yeah, no, I just was confused for a second there.
And you're already being rude. Well, I have to now. It's a fucking battle royale. Lucky. Yeah, I know. I'm aware. Fuck! I got greedy on that one, though. Yes, Codane, there are Louis in the battle in the 64. The downside of picking up a Louis, though, you lose your punch and pick. No! Up I got greedy! Fuck! Well, at least you got best of 16. Area Hog achievement unlocked. I was going for the heart. Imagine being polite and barman of all games. Look, we're, we're, we can be ladies and gentlemen here. Oh, I got stars. Hooray. Oh, the ch oh, you actually got a challenge. Congratulations. Destroy 60 blocks. How many people are left here? Seven. I don't think I've had a challenge yet. Oh, you're welcome, Becky Star. I think honestly, like Battle Royale is pretty much filled in the gap for games. I'm get you know this is gonna sound terrible if you don't have usually have people to play games with, like a core group of people to play games with. I know that sounds bad, but it honestly helps, and I'm glad that it exists. What are these two doing? Oh, they're just they're just throwing bombs around. Oh yeah, you can press start to actually see players' names too. Oh, that start, I thought that was select. Oh, Lundia's there. Why is Fall Guy there? Because crossovers. You know, Fall Guys has honestly done a good job getting, like, kind of getting every franchise. I mean, now that they're owned by Epic Games, it makes it uh, that much easier. Like Fall Guys again. It's been a while since I played that. Final phase. Oh, three minutes on this one, too. Yep. So that was just a standard Bomberman game. Pretty much. Oof. Final four. That, you know, honestly, that's a very smart move what people do nowadays is, uh, like, oh, there's a person who's red, I'll just kill myself. Wow, that was a bloody... Oh, red means they're on their last heart. Oh, I was wondering what that meant. Yeah, yeah. if you're flashing red, you got on your last heart. What some people will do, they'll literally just, okay, I'm just going to suicide bomb and take you, and then I'll just grab your heart when I respawn. It makes sense. Assuming if the, the other players don't grab it. It's one way to dominate an area. That makes sense. Man, Lundia did really well, actually. She lasted. Yeah, Lundia, you did pretty good. That's damn good, honestly. <laughs> Hurry up! Keep my mistake. Sorry, Lundia. All right, two oh, players left. The damn. bricks are starting to shrink. Oh no, he had a life. He had a life. Oh, never mind. But now everyone's flashing red, so now it's an actual Bomberman game. Oh, oh, this is gonna be rough. Oh, this is getting. This is gonna be a tight one. Can there be draws? Uh, not in. To my knowledge, I've yet to see a draw in this mode. But in every other mode, including the private matches, it can. But that's, you know, a little bit different. Top two. It will usually, it should close right around here. Yeah. Ooh! Yeah, oof. You can draw in Battle 64. Interesting. Speaking of. Oh. Draw. Wow. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. Let's do a private match. All right. You got a reward. You, you, your start pass rank is increased to two. You got one item. I got a picnic. Got a backpack, John. Let's create a room. Numbers only, just to let you know. Okay. So, also, I should let you know. Uh, if you're doing standard, you probably want to open the player account to 16. 
That's the maximum grand please. I want to do, do 64. I like I like the 64. 64? All right. You better open up all the spots then. And if you don't want to, if you want character abilities on or off, now how, would be the time to choose. How do I open the spots? Go to the plus sign. Just go to the plus sign. Oh, wow. Oh, people already. Oh, okay. The code's on screen. I do not. Room number 224384. Oops, too far. Probably should be smart about this. Oh, thank goodness I made it. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people just joined at once. There's still some room. 35 out of 64. Plenty of room. <laughs> oh, that's a list. Yeah, that's look at him move. Look at him move, baby. All right, three spots left. Who's taking it? Yeah, they are. I see. Congratulations. The last one in. I see a lot of names I recognize here. This is this is a roster here, Falcon. Shout out to King. Prime Rhyme Time Chime. Ailita! Ailita made it. Sakura Cat. Let's see. I don't know why I said I recognize all these names, because everyone's from the goddamn stream. I don't know. I'm like, oh I recognize some of these! No fucking shit, John. Uh Well, some people's names are different from Twitch and such. Alright, let's do it. All right, all right. What are the ones here? Bubblehead bombers scream. Inflict the skull effect to yourself. Ooh, that's that's interesting. Bring in the poison, Princess Tomato. My hero, power up uh, one nearby character and get them to protect you. Mimi, tempo change up. Randomly speeds up the bomb counters. Oh God. Tempo change yep. down. Distort. Oh, hang on. One we'll worry about. All right. Let's the other go. ones later. By the way, what's a Louie? Those are the little rabbit guys. They're they're an extra hit and they usually have special abilities. We'll all be bad at Barman together. Don't worry, Rexinator. The important thing is we're gonna have fun. Like I said, if you're not blowing yourself up in Barman, you're not playing it right. <laughs> yeah, even even someone like me who's played Bomberman for decades still does that, so. Are we doing, doing more than one private match? One... Depends on the time. I'll probably do a second one, yeah. I think only Vanilla Louie's in it? Ah, oh, okay. Well, still. It's still an extra hit. Yeah, it's an extra hit, but you lose the ability to punch and kick. Alright, who's here? Alright, complete anime fan. The loading is long? Yo, because it's loading 64 players. It makes sense. Yeah, it's... Yeah, I, I don't know what the netcode is exactly. It's probably so not optimized, but yeah. Okay, yeah, this is taking a bit. Here we go. Like, one thing's to get moving. Yeah, it's R1 is uh, your emotes, and then L1 is your... Uh... No, L L1 is emotes, R1 is messages. Give me that! I just realized I only have one flame. That's a problem. Oh, I almost did that. Bomberman is one of those series that's like easy to learn, but hard to master. But I've I've always been a fan of the series. I okay, that works. That works for me. Love. I'll take it. Uh, where am I? I'm in sector twelve. I don't know why I'm saying where I am. That'll just cause a bunch of people to show up. I almost ran there. Anyways. I'm... Forget that. I'm going nope, to Sector 8. That. Nope, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm only with Flower Block. <laughs> this is great. Me and him can just start farming for the items and then murder each other. Like that.
Oh, I just realized I'm in max. No, I, I should probably get a glove. Probably get a glove. Would like a power up, please. <laughs> single glove. Oh my god, someone's AFK, and that is all the good stuff right there. Uh oh, Hydro, I hope you didn't get disconnected there. Top 16. Oh, I'm supposed to get knocked out there. I don't know actually have. Damn, almost. Nope, give me that. Oh god, those rubber bombs are so rude. They can be. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Damn it! I almost had you no good. Oh, that that is some good use of mist. Lead me into a bomb, zero. Or zero. It's rude. Ooh, nice mist use. Yeah, Alucard can be really good. How did you walk through that bomb? I just realized I don't have a punching glove still. Oh shit, nice drop, I didn't see that. Last two arenas. Nine players left. Oh, that was a little greedy. Oh, give me that. No! Give me that glove. Thank you. Give me that punch. Nope, that was dumb, John. I won't slip up again. Ugh. All right, that does it. Ooh. Oh, thank you. Oh! Luke, you abandoned me! Last six! <laughs> Super dead. Oh god, you're still alive. <laughs> yep. Sure am. God's sakes, look, stay away from me. <laughs> I know what you're capable of. Ah, fuck. Get that out of here. Damn it. God. Uh oh. That's not a good time for that power up. 
No, it is not. Oh, oh give me that heart. Oh, I didn't get it. Got some of that. That was not John. Sure. <laughs> oh, not... fuck. I'm gone, though. Died. Died. Ran into the same explosion. <laughs> into the same it explosion. looks like it looks like it gave me fourth and gave you third then. Yeah, I got third. Who's left? Game guy and late. Like I'm just using Princess Tomato's power. There's nothing wrong by making a he someone a hero and using them as a human shield. You need to defend your princess. It's Princess Tomato. Why wouldn't you defend her? How is the netcode compared to the original Super Bomb art? Well, it supports more than four players, so better. Oh, this is <laughs> this is a clincher. Ooh, oh, it's still late. They both got hit though. Yeah, Late's got an extra life still. Will team draw win again? It could happen. It did not. Nope. Late takes it. Nicely done. Lineback says, my ping was 200 plus, yet there was, online was really good. No lag. Yeah, this is my first time playing it, so... It seems pretty good so far. Should I clean the room so others can join in? Looks like there's a couple spots there already. It's your call. You're the one in charge of the room. Shockwave, I had zero KOs. I didn't defeat anyone. <laughs> I didn't defeat anyone. Oh, how do you, how do you check <laughs> your stats, or is it too late? It's, it's too late. Damn. It's too late. Well, how do you check that anyways? Hmm? They don't. They don't record stats, John. Uh, usually, they'll. Usually, you find out at the end when you get KO'd. Like in in quick match, they'll usually say like, "Okay, you've knocked out this many enemies. You get this many rank rank up points." Oh, that's what you and mean. Then okay. you get, and then you get the experience. I'm actually glad they kept like the stand. If you have the premium pass, you can still create just standard bomber man. And then they also kept the Grand Prix. You know what? Yeah, some people are... Well, I'll, I'll clean the room. I'll re-clean the room, so I'll make a new room. All right. Is this last game of the night? Ooh, I just realized what time it was. It is getting late. Fuck, maybe it should be. Why not just have a button? Is... <laughs> Why not just have a button? At least you can hold down the button to do that. Yeah. Oh, there's a, that is a quick list that fills up. <laughs> the God of Chickens. Prime rhyme, fine chime. <laughs> When's Bomber Girl? So that, he's asking the right question. When's Bomber Girl? <laughs> I mean, that's one of the few ones that hasn't got ported over here, so it makes sense. Wait, there was actual Bomber Girl game? Yeah, Bomber Girl's a real game. Oh. It's, it's, um, cool. what's the word I'm looking for? It's not, it's a pseudo MOBA. It's a pseudo MOBA slash tower defense game. It's an oh, arcade cool. game okay. as well. All right, let's do it. What are the last two I didn't get to look at? Uh, Robbie, distortion. Characters who come into contact with them become frozen in fear. And Bean Bomber, dive. Dives a little further forward. You know what? Ah, it's so bad, though. You know what? Let's go. I'm Let's so go sad Bomber. that Aqua doesn't mesh with how I want to play Bomberman. Because Aqua was oh. my favorite of the eight, the eight vanilla bombers. Well, if you do turn off the stats, then you can play Aqua just how you normally would. Hmm. So there is always that option. At least for private matches.
But yeah, the stats and everything really does throw a lot of things off. It's like, cool, I want to play as Black Bomber Man. Oh, wait, he doesn't get to use uh, gloves. Oh, I want to play Red Bomber Man. Oh, he can't use the boxing glove. Yeah, little things like that kind of bum me out. That's why I feel, you know, Vanilla Bomber Man has the most potential because he can do everything. He just starts. Yeah. Weak. yeah. And usually, honestly, at 64, you're going to last. Rob the Rabbits from Silent Hill, by the way. Yeah, no, it's the mascot from Silent Hill 3 of the theme park. I gotta remember to customize my my banner on this. This I, I feel like I'm gonna play this a lot. This seems fun. <laughs> this is the most friendly game to learn Bomberman with? No, no. You need a standard Bomberman game. Four players, maybe, or eight. 64, a little hard to learn how to play Bomberman on. Oh, like I said, this, if you do buy the premium pass, or you just need a friend who bought who bought it, they can you could just play standard. Oh, it's the first, oh, so the very first round makes it so that you can't punch over walls to trap kill people. That's actually really clever. Yep, yeah, because... Green Barman gets to instantly start with throw, and guess what he could do, even with a flame of one. Yeah, that would do it. That would do it. Do I actually? No, I only have one bomb. But I will say, that, like the character abilities makes things really interesting. Oh, come on, I can never get fast enough to get those items. Really? Oh, well, at least I got bombs. I know what this last block that perk gives me. Absolutely nothing. No, it's a five block throw, okay. No. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Uh oh. Okay, starting with a movement phase. Oh. Yeah, I'm up in sector three. We're starting with Oh, that is scary. a lot of people that survived that first round. Uh I'm just gonna stay here. Ooh, some people just want those stars. I mean, they're good items. It makes sense. Yeah, Louis are usually in the star rooms. So it's it's always usually worth it. Wow, there's been like no power-ups in this one. Yeah, sometimes you just kind of get dry and you just gotta take it from your enemies. Oh, no. Give me that. Oh, come on, Bill can't use boxing gloves. I forgot. I need a throwing glove. Alright, punch is three, glove is five. Man, again? Okay. Still alive? Yep. Idea for a future sub-night tournament. Unfortunately, they didn't make a spectator mode. Like an actual full-on spectator mode. They didn't make it. Well, well, I would still be in the matches is the point. We, we would be fine. Yeah. We can do it. I just... What the... Ah, oh, damn. Dumb. Damn it, Knight of the Void. Ooh. Ooh some of y'all really like playing with fire. I won't slip up again. Ooh. Uh -oh. Some of y'all are beings of pure chaos. It's respectable. I have nothing to defend myself but to destroy bombs. I need a glove. Oh, ah, damn, no items. How many we got left? 18 left with only four screens left. Ooh. So, so scary. It's gonna get crowded. Let's see what happens here. 
are a bit better than that. Uh oh. Oh, those rubber bombs I hate so much. They rubber just bounce everywhere. bombs are so fucking chaotic. No! Jesus. Damn it, no good. No, you I walked into that. Bombs. Get back. Put me back in, coach. that heart yes oh my god some of you are fucking oh my god i love it this rules oh that's a good use of miss no good nope yes, i'm not gonna make glove. it there. ah fuck oh give me all that stuff before they all show up seven left hey how's it going wins bomber girl Linkable. What are you doing? Uh. Oh, fuck you, Louie! Some piercing bombs. Those are piercing bombs. Oh, Jesus Christ, runs Bomber Girl. What are you doing? Got it! Oh, get out of here. Oh, thank you, thank you, Bill Bomber. Thank you, Bill. Oh, you could just detonate. <gasps> yeah, what Lance oh, can shoot I... them. Remember? Fuck. Yeah. I don't know how to handle freaking rubber bombs. I'm terrible at handling them. It's a little <laughs> hard. Especially when I only have three bombs. Oh boy. Six players. Six players. Oh, Wind Bombers Girl's just gonna kill me. Or she just wants to be right. You! Little! That was. That was pro. No, I didn't notice the spike! Rude. Damn it! I'm not used to bomb rank games where the explosions actually reach from wall to wall. That is something I'm gonna need to get used to, because that's normally not the case. I Blow, bro, you played Act Zero. Okay, that's a little different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so if you, at max flame, it will reach, it won't reach the very, it, like, if you go floor to floor here, it won't reach it. Or wall to wall. It won't reach the entire thing. But it can get very close. I think you literally have only one pixel. Just gotta make sure nobody gets those. Also, it's very hard when you only have three bombs to do anything. Yeah, you're gonna have to hope for a good drop here. But you also have a skill, so... Yeah, I could erase bombs, so at least I have that. Or stun players. Thank you. Fire, fire, fire! Oh, no you don't. Alright. Unfortunately, it takes a long time for those abilities to recharge. Yeah, I wonder why. Probably because they're broken as shit. No! Oh. I walked into that. Well, then... When's Bomber Girl still on their yes, max she is. health? I don't know what to do, honestly. I always flake out at this end. No, the the hardest thing to do is is the end stuff, because usually suicide plays are what happens here. This is where Bomber Girl should be doing a suicide play to take you both out. And he did it. That was a good punch. That was a good punch. Although now, yeah, now it's tricky because now they both have... Uh, now they both have two hits, so a suicide plays. Now it'll work. It's respectable, honestly, that Kyosei uh, here is playing green, because he only gets one flame. Oh. Tempo up bombs, too. Yeah, I think you only get two pulses. Oh, I think the other one has a heart still, right? Bomber girl, yep. yeah, bomber girl's fine. 
Nice. Nice, your bomber one. There you go. Well, since it's so late, we probably shouldn't do another games uh, of like uh, we shouldn't do another cookie game. So maybe we should just stick with this for another round or two. Yeah. Want to remake yeah. the room then and give yeah, other people a shot? Room. Yeah. Hang on, I'm gonna customize my my banner if I can. Yeah, you can. Let's self explode. Explosions are arts. All for the bombs. I challenge you! Bombs o'clock! Oh, that's dumb enough. I might use that. Player search! Let's have fun. These are all unlocks. That's a lot of unlocks. Yeah. Big boss, a true patriot. I gotta, I gotta use bombs o'clock. No, you don't get any experience or uh, ranked points for doing private matches. Cause no, because then people would friends. just grind out, yeah. What system is this on? This is on PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, uh, Stadia, Nintendo Switch, and Steam. And it's cro and it's crossplay. You do have an option to turn off uh, the crossplay as well. If you oh! want to actually close that. How do I unlock these? Hmm? Uh, I want the fucking hip-hop Silent Hill theme. Yes. Give me. I don't know if that's in the store or not. No, it's not in the store, so you can't actually buy that one. So it's got to be in the it's got to be in the passes, the bomber pass. Uh, let me check. Oh, I want all of these. Let's see, that's twinkling. I want all of oh. these. Uh, this Princess Tomato at level eighty-six. These are all good. These are all good. I'm assuming, yeah, they're probably all the same ones. Yep. Wait, is that it? No, that's sort of a warrior. Yeah, so I'm guessing that's in the shop. No, it isn't. Music. Well, Vic Viper and Super Contra are. I actually can't find it. I, I must have missed overlooked it. I'm not seeing it in the starter pass or in the battle pass. Well, only two of them are in the shop, so they gotta be there somewhere. So for, I must have overlooked it. Let me look in the bomber pass. Uh, oh, okay, level six in the starter pass. Level six in the starter pass. So it's it's an it's an easy one. Oh, Silent Hill one's there. Oh, is that not the one? Well, I'm just seeing what ones are there because this goes for a while. Is that the only one? Hmm? No, there. Wow, they're, level they're, thirty-four they're for the fucking pop and music one. Luckily enough, actually isn't so bad, actually. If you can consistently get, like, in the top 16, you're gonna earn, like, 300 experience per level. Well, how much does a level, like, grind, though? Princess Tomato was at well, 86. To, okay, to put it in perspective, right now, I'm only level 14, and it's 880 till for me to level up. Okay, it goes up to 100. And, I, and only three of the songs were in normal level up, so what about Battle Pass? Yeah, so you get the ones at top. You need to buy the the ones for the bottom, the battle pass for the bottom ones. You can get a cardboard box. Purchase gold battle pass. Remember, this is this is the Fortnite business model. Yeah, these are how you get the uh, the coins from leveling up. This this is exactly what Fortnite did. This is exactly what Dauntless adopted. Pretty much almost a lot of Epic Games kind of use this business model. Yeah, Battle Pass is uh, $8 American. Because the conversion rate is 100 battle coins, or bomber coins, to the dollar. Has John ever played Dauntless? No, probably not. Dauntless, no. 
I mean, he, he's like... I, I actually liked Dauntless when it originally came out, honestly. I really did. Like, when I played it was an enclosed beta. But so not, now that not I played all Monster the songs Hunter, are in here. <laughs> yeah, I, that's why I just I noticed. That's weird. Yeah, how do I, some of the ones I wanted aren't even like listed. That's weird. Yeah, eight hundred coins. Ninja uses it. Even Mario Kart Tour uses that business model. Yeah, it. Like, remember the next generation of people playing games are mobile. So they're going to be adopting, you're going to be seeing a lot more business models of that coming into console games and such. Because that's what people are used to. I like this game mode. This game mode is extremely fun. But uh, Yeah, man, no, I, it, I'm so glad we're getting different types of battle royales, honestly. Just simply because sometimes it's just hard to actually contact people and say, hey, let's play a game. But the one thing, like, my personal favorite thing, though, I really wish they would patch for, like, the standard mode and old s and the Grand Prix mode, the Battle 64 UI. I love the fact knowing, like, how much power I have, how many bombs I have. And I'm probably not going to get in this, actually, because I just completely forgot. I'm not getting in this room, I will be surprised. Two spots left, and they're gone. Nope. Alright, never mind. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> room smells like Dan. What? No. Please tell me Dan actually made it in. Dan's in. Dan's in there. Hyper Cole's also in there. I saw you two. Good luck, guys. Aelita's in there, too. Show them no mercy. I'll do my best. Let's go. Oh, I was talking to the chat. <laughs> oh. What is you, this you, fucking fine. double platinum cake outfit? Dude, it's it, it's to celebrate. Don't don't you want to be a cake? Everyone should have some cake. I do like the bomb skins. The bomb skins actually change the color of your explosion and everything. And if you have a custom bomb, you get a different explosion graphic with that too. Neat. I can't even remember the last time I've had cake. Actually, it's been over. It's been over a year. Look, cheesecake it works too. Look, there's cake, there's pie, but there's always cheesecake in the middle. Yeah, don't be surprised if you see me just playing this randomly, just in my spare time. It would make a good normal boots game. It would. I just gotta convince them that to, to, to play it, because I'm pretty sure out of the six of them, I'm the only one that plays Bomberman. Maybe Gerard. Maybe Austin. Actually, maybe Shane, you don't need, about it. You don't need skill to actually win at Bomberman. <laughs> it just helps. It won't happen for TRG simply because I'm not gonna be able to convince Emil and Tim to play Bomberman. They both aren't that big fans of it. Have yourself a good night, Star Falcon Shy. What do Louis do? Louis give you an extra hit. That's, and they also, also, if you do have a Louis, you press A and uh, you can actually give yourself a boost of speed. So you can quickly oh, so move they do around. Oh, it's a dash Louis, okay. Yeah, it's a dash Louis. It's kind of like what Vic Viper does. So like you're, whatever direction you're pointing, you point at A and they just zoom off like a rocket. Actually, yeah, I'm surprised that people, I would have thought that would amount to Tim's Alley too. He, he plays a lot of old games. Bomberman requires a very specific skill set and thought process, and well, Tim loves pattern recognition and stuff like that, and that's mostly what this game is, is stuff like pattern recognition. I just don't think it's quite up his alley. Eh, sometimes you just don't like things, and that's perfectly fine. Oh, I don't have punch, that's what I don't have. You were the first to die, Raven. Well, like I said, if you're not blowing yourself up, you're doing it wrong. Didn't you have a Bomberman event? How did you make that happen? I'm guessing, Blaze, you're talking about Bomberman, uh, the Baz Leagues. No, no, they're talking about when we actually did a Bomberman tournament for uh, TRG. It's one of the tournaments we did. Uh, oh. 
I convinced them because Bomberman is good. And then they all realized no one had played Bomberman in the group except for myself and Brutal Moose. <laughs> so, so it was really just who was going to win between me and Brutal Moose. Yeah, I was fucked because I got stunned on that one. Yeah, you were doomed. One thing I do like, actually, on your respawn, you can't just be, um... Just like if a person sniped. does the dirt... Yeah, you can't be immediately sniped. You do have invulnerability frames, and if you get surrounded by bombs while you're in that phase, you get invincibility frames. So you can just kind of walk out of there. Which is good, because since it marks off where you're... spawning but in. But... You can have some bad luck if you walk away a little, uh... Too soon, <laughs> invulnerability goes away and you get hit by the blast. Oh my god, stop! Stop destroying! Fortieth, nice job, Frozen Hunts. Taking no one else in TRG knows worms. Nope! Trust me, I would also love to have that. Sometimes with TRG, I gotta uh, you gotta pick and choose your battles. Oh, thank God! All right, I can relax a little bit now. <laughs> you were down to one heart for quite a while there. I sure was. Ooh, nice Let's throw. See here. Who's on? Oh, you know Belmont can be very rude. Just being able... he only lays one bomb down, but he can force a player into the flames. Thirty first, good job, Dan. Oh, I don't have punch. Did you play it with <laughs> every fucking time. I forget. That, that that's that's me half of the time, John. Don't worry. I, I play Red Barman. He can he only can throw. He can't punch. I'm, ah, fuck! No, no, no! Put me back in! Put me back in! No, fuck! Oh. Regia got 24th, nice, and Hypercole got 29th. Disco Inferno, 33rd place. Begrudgingly Waluigi, 32nd place. Nice, guys. I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this. No, 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 no! Oh, you got the punch. At least you didn't lose your punch. No. No! Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, I oh, should have back that. and got the other one. Oh. It's all the greed. Dude, this is the most useful spike bombs have ever been in Bomberman. Yeah, they're they're very deadly. I'm, I'm starting to come around and like, despite the chaos of, I have much as I hate the rubber bombs, I half the time I'm killing myself with the penetration bombs. Yeah, those, those abilities, those power-ups were so useless, like, after just a couple couple seconds, like a minute into a match. Now that the board refills itself, they're ridiculously useful. Aqua is so powerful because she starts with Spike Bomb. Aqua starts with Spike Bomb? Ooh. Yeah. I didn't realize that. I just saw green. It's like, one, one, zero speed. And then literally he has glove and rubber bomb. <laughs> it's like, oh god. How are you people so good? <laughs> With oh, three. Oh, they're at eight. There's five in Not one late. screen and three in the other. I love that. I also love that. You can have like seven or eight people in a match. How do you switch areas? You actually just simply walk to the other zone. Uh, so at the sides, you can actually walk uh, left, up, right, and you know down. And you can actually transition to another arena. But over time, as you have more phases pass, uh, you get less... More rooms close, and, you know, you only have options to two, a couple left. Is there fusion bombs? Uh, no. Spike bombs and rubber bombs only. Are they called rubber bombs, John? I've been calling them that. Uh, water, I always call them water bombs, because they were like... They're supposed to be like water bomb... Water balloons, but I think rubber bombs yeah, also that, works. Rubber... Yeah, I probably should just call them water bombs. <laughs> Autistic game guy, you got a free domination while playing super safe in the first half. Yeah, that can also getting domination. If you get an area domination, bonus items spawn on the ground. How do you I, kick bombs with a power up? Walk just into walk them. into them. 
But if there's, uh, if there's something in front of them, they won't move. It has to be, like, nothing in front of it. Oh, Lazy's dead. And then you can press triangle or Y if you're using an Xbox controller to stop the bomb. Dude, the, They've like... Also been called just the oh, explosion ahead, range on some... It's so weird getting used to seeing them reach, like, wall to wall. It's crazy. Yeah, if you have eight flame, if you... Pretty much, if you lay a bomb in the, uh, you know, at the edge, it will reach all the way up, but not to the last square. So if you lay a bomb in the middle, it's it's gonna hit wall to wall. Oh, final four. Chocolate Rex, Fox Lex, Beto, and Jay Hunt. Jay Hunt is playing a very risky game. He's the aggressive one, though, that gives him the best chance, though. Oh, and there's the knock. No, that's first hit. Yep. Oh. Oh. And with that, man. down to three. Rex is the only one. The remote bombs exist. No. That would be broken oh, as fuck. Beto. Yep, Beto's dead on that one. Even oh, playing field, yeah, they both have two hits. If you get hit by the wall as it's collapsing, it's an instant KO, just to let you know. It's not just like one hit, it's KO. It's KO, KO. Ooh. So you gotta be very careful on that. You gotta have two hearts. I've had that happen to me. Um, Jay Hunt takes it. Oh! Good job, Jay Hunt. Is bomb infinite thing? No. No, you no, don't. no. That's, no that is literally only in uh, Baz, Bomb Red X Zero. I, you know, I'll be honest, if Konami could patch a few things, I want the UI to be in standard mode, In from 64's UI to be in standard mode. I want Barman X Zero rules, and I wouldn't mind having, like, AI. If you have the private patch, you could just have AI so you could just play against computers. Not even Power Barman has infinite bombs. Oh, and a spectator mode. I want a spectator mode. Damn it, I want to play another match, but it's gonna. We're, we should probably start wrapping up now based on the time. Do you want me to check how many uh, things are in the uh, uh, Boru? I, I can load up the Boru. I already have the tab open. Uh. Are we all. Is uh, that game? We got a page and a half. No, it, there's only keyboard settings. No, you can, got, so there's only keyboard changing for the PC version. We got a page and a, like a one or two extra. Now for the real question, is this more fun than Pac-Man 99? Oh, hell yeah. It's not, it's not, I just randomly lost because a, a ghost happened to spawn, or a, a red Pac-Man happened to spawn right in front of me and I couldn't dodge it. This is skill, but hectic skill. <sighs> we don't God, three and done it here, run it back. I need, I need One to more stop. game. I need, I need, I need to stop. I know me, I need to stop. <laughs> I feel I feel like if I do one more, I want to do a quick match so I can try to get some levels up and unlock some stuff. That's the other thing. It's your call. It's your stream, man. Just remember that at the end of the day. The problem is it takes like 20 minutes to go through a match. If Well, if you go to the end. My personal rate I've noticed is matches usually to their end is about 13 minutes. So you're looking at 15 minutes. And I'm also including the like the waiting time. Like, if you're doing quick match, at least. Well, let's be honest. Quick match is pretty much saying I am okay with playing with anyone. That's the jargon now. Well, I also want oh, yeah. levels uh, and that's stuff. That's probably another thing. A button to basically close the game with my controller, because you have to hit the escape button to leave. Oh, you're right. What the fuck's up with that? <laughs> yeah, that, that's a weird thing. I guess, to be fair, you don't... There's no quit game option in the other versions, so. They still right. should be. Don't be surprised if that game comes up again in the future. <laughs> I'll just state that now. Don't be surprised if, like, Wednesday we're playing that again. That was fucking fun. Hell yeah. You're welcome, John. Thank you for picking it, Tamar. Look, it was either that or literally Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde for the NES. Are you okay, John? 
Yeah, I'm I fine. lost him. No, I'm here. <laughs> I I was on Twitter and got confused for a second. Oh wow, we did only play three games tonight, huh? Hmm? Yep. Well, then again, we we had the promo for two hours and we played it like more like two and a half, and then we played Bomberman R for over an hour. Yeah, almost an hour and ten minutes. I always thought we could night, uh, Great Crade. Alright, so here is the game plan for the week, then, before people bugger off for the night. Tomorrow is another stream. It's gonna be over on twitch.tv slash normalboots. We will be playing... Uh... Minecraft. So I can yell at Amber Architecture. Then. Architecture with Proton John. We're gonna we're gonna test out uh, we're gonna use OBS Ninja to see how dynamic uh, Minecraft content works on the stream. So tune in for that. Uh, Sunday will also be a Twitch highlight reel. It will be January 2020, so we're into 2020 highlight reels now. Currently up till July 2020 is done, so we're we're starting to run low on those. B -b 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 Monday is game clearing. We will continue Bomberman Generation. We will be playing through that because the game I am waiting for for my choice for game clearing is still not in. Let me see where it currently is. It's still in the mail. Where in the world is my goddamn game? Where's my goddamn electric car, Bruce? <laughs> God, well, that Harley it has arrived at the Canada facility. Thanks, tracking. That helps. Oh, thank it goodness. Is somewhere only one in, it is somewhere in Canada. At least it's not in the United States anymore. I guess. It's cleared customs, apparently. It has arrived at the Canada facility. Which is actually kind of good, because it's a long weekend in the States this weekend, but it is not a long weekend here. That was our last weekend. So, maybe I will get it this week. But it does suck that when it's in Canada, they can't track it, so they're just like, It's in vague Canada location. Don't Meanwhile, in your mail takes so long if you have one facility. Dude, it sucks, man. <laughs> Meanwhile, in, in the US, it literally gives me the fucking, like, uh... Oh shit! What do you guys have instead of post zip code? It ha gives you the fucking yeah, zip code for the uh, for everywhere else it goes. Oh well, uh, that probably means well that should mean that we'll have it for when uh, we get to it. Hopefully, we beat Bomberman on the seventh, so we can start it. I would like to start it then, but I don't know. That Bomberman game looked a little a little meaty, a little chunky. We might not be able to get through it right away. Yeah, I wouldn't. If, if I think you probably might want to start ex uh, skipping things if you want to try and actually beat it quickly. Yeah, maybe. Any updates on the hoodies? Okay, so the hoodies still have another. I think it was three weeks. When did I give you the original update for when why they got delayed? I think it's still another three right. weeks before we start hearing about the hoodies getting ready for shipping. However, if you ordered a TRG Coliseum shirt, you may have already gotten notifications that yours is shipping out now. Uh, Ooh. They came in, I believe, Friday. And I got a bunch of notifications that some of them are being shipped out this weekend. So do not be surprised if you ordered a Coliseum shirt and get an email soon saying yours is in the mail. Canada does have postal codes, but I don't know what they're specifically called. They're called postal codes. There are postal codes up here and uh, in, uh, in the States through zip codes, so. Yeah, some people saying they got emails for the shirts. Excellent. Excellent. All right, and with that, let us quickly read donos and then oh, eggs too. What am I doing? I'm skipping skipping things. Hang on. Did I cl I didn't clean up our I didn't clean up the uh, eggs. Oops, hang on. Oh. 
you're all talented. I'm just going to say that right now. There are some interesting eggs in the carton right now, based on the names I'm seeing. Uh, actually, actually, back on. Junior Man for 30, Yum Morgan for 89, Flargo for 74, Purple Link 33 for 49, Hara 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 Ko for 33, R590 for 85, DJ PBJ for 31, Commander Proton for 54. Oh my god, no, Mega Nerd, please, why? Mega Nerd says, now to have this stream end on a highbrow note again, so here it is for you. If at the quantum level, matter and energy are the same, which is true, does this mean we're all just energy in empty space? I refuse. I refuse. Don't as have that be, like As being made of energy and empty space, I refuse. Uh, game fan with John and the Chum Bucket. Oops, and I didn't have the zoom in. Chum Bucket? You know, normal stuff. This isn't the Chum Bucket. Still, with literally rocked a bit too hard there. This party's getting crazy. Let's rock. Oh, no, uh, no. John. <laughs> Jiggy's trying to sneak around. <laughs> Just tell me thick, 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 thick. Congratulations, Jiggy. <laughs> Jesus, some of you guys work really fucking fast. <laughs> Gokai with uh, Fallbot calls in. Hello, you're on Donator Talk Radio. This is Lord Donator. Who am I speaking to today? Hi, I'm Flumba. <laughs> Welcome to Donator Talk Radio. Look what I can do. Oh, no. Right. No, no, no. Right. No, no, no. Here we go again. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Okay, who's the wise guy? This is... This is outrageous. I can't... I, I can't keep doing this. That's not... That's not how I wanted this to go. I... Uh, what? Oh, gasping donator. Still with Jiggy experiences an existential crisis. What? Thinking of- Wait, what's thinking? What? Thinking of- Yeah, what's thinking? You'll never know, Jiggy. Puppet Master with how not to use John's bathroom door. Are you supposed to slide those doors open? <laughs> All right, How do you people make these? It's too damn good. You guys are too goddamn fast to use our voices and make videos. And damn also video editing. That's pretty fucking good. Uh, game oh, no, we looped. Okay. Oh, man, I read the title preview and thought you were playing one of the SNES Bomberman games. No, sorry. Sorry, I read Aspen. We just finished playing the new online one. And we're actually wrapping up for the night. Is that a door you actually have in your home? Yeah, no, that's that's our uh, the that's our master bedroom's bathroom door. You just don't walk through it like Homer. Yeah. Since I changed into the costume up there, it made sense to film it up there. So. All right. Let's go to Art Block. Let me get everything queued up here. How far in are we on Art Block? All right, cool. Art Block starts as it always starts with Christmas. From Boy Wentz, it's Christmas in early May. Uh, it's time to bust up some insects. Posed loosely based on Alice's hobby horse combo from, from Madness Returns. Nicely done, Boy Wentz. Hell yeah. I'm impressed those gifts actually stay in there, though, when it's upside down. Nice and done. Merry Christmas, everybody. I still can't get over the fact that the bathroom has a sliding door. Eh, uh, why not? Sliding doors are cool. Look, when you have your own house, you can design it however you want. Next up. Oh, I saw this. This is cute. In Rosa's minigame collection, you tap to make, to make things bigger before time runs out. I'm clapping for you, Master. <laughs> on Twitter, I posted TRG in this style, but I made Rosa first as a test. Not gonna post a TRG one because I'm lazy, but if you want to see it, here it is. I'll show it. I will yeah, show that, it. that is some on-point Rhythm Heaven stuff there. Yeah, it's a WarioWare and Rhythm Heaven, but I think it's more so Rhythm Heaven, so yeah. There's a meal, Tim and myself. Looks good, Ben. Good job mimicking the style. I like them all. 
Have a good night, Lone Sl and Slash. <laughs> so that's the mouse pad. No, the mouse pad design's already been done. We just need... I'm not... So here's the thing. I'm not putting up new merch in the store until people have the hoodies. That is my personal stance. I feel like it'd be weird putting up more merch. Especially considering people are also still waiting on the uh, Coliseum shirts. Once those are out, I will feel better about putting stuff up. Which reminds me, I could show you guys the pin set I'm working on. I'm getting done. Maybe you will maybe oh, you'll like you're... to see that. You're in such a good mood, you're just spoiling everyone now. This is what I was laughing about. Alright. Here we go, we got Icy going down, Tina Armstrong Memorial Water Slide. Icy flying through the air! And then <laughs> breaking through the glass. <laughs> Well, the past few weeks have been a bit of a challenge, so why not go on a vacation for a bit of a stress reliever? I tried to go for a speed record on all six of the water slides, but I didn't exactly count for trajectory. Don't worry, everyone's fine. I've been through worse. Hmm, we're supposed to be in space, you say? Look, I had this idea and worked on this for six days. I can break cannon. Still, it's fine. It's fine. Look, you could turn this into like a to-be-continued meme on YouTube. Very nice, I see. I'm glad that... I'm glad that everyone's okay. I'm glad Isabel is fine. Is okay too. Isabel and Joanna are just like, oh god, why? Look, the Tina Armstrong Memorial Slide is a ride for your life. It's true. Next up, from Arsene, the full body screenshot of Proton Grand Star. Enjoy it and have a good stream. Sweet. Thank you, Arsene. Next up, Andy. It's been a while. How you doing, buddy? Now that is a swimsuit. It's been so long since I posted a new Copic piece here. A few people here have drawn for two in a swimsuit, so I had to do it with the weather warming up. Hopefully I can post more often, as I want to redo the letter H from the video game alphabet after realizing I have nothing against Hamtaro, so killing him off was kind of mean. <laughs> it's okay, Andy. Also, Pertune looks very nice in this. Well done. Next up, it is Egg from Ultra Saiyan, Brian. Hi, John and Chat. It's been a while, hasn't it? I hope you're all having a good night tonight. It's been a while since I did art here, so here's a classic symbol for the stream. The Wesker Egg. I hope you enjoy the art, and never forget you guys are all awesome and kind people. Have a good stream, everyone. This is off-topic for art, but I'm curious to know if you're excited for Super Mario or Mario Golf Super Rush. Fuck yeah, that will also be a game I will stream day one. I'm excited for that. That is... Is that June or July? Because I keep fucking forgetting. I'm hoping I... it's June. But I'm betting it's July. I, I kind of given up buying a lot of games, so I'm just June, like, nope, June. I'm not even gonna look. June 25th, so basically July. Okay. Cool. All right, so we got although a little I do less than hope, a Although I do hope they have the me support that is equivalent to what Miitopia has. No, no other game is going to do their Mii's that detailed. It's oh, It was too powerful. Should. They might do it on the next system. I hope they do, but... Because, God damn it, that Miitopia system is pretty good. <laughs> I'm thankful that I'm part of this awesome community. Y'all rock. From Zero Two from Kirby. Uh... Miss John, thanks for all the good times. I try not to work too hard. From Rara Oaks. Miss John, why is there a Japanese dude in white karate gi suplexing the other Sir boss in the Gessel shaft? <laughs> oh no, he's coming for me! <laughs> Chat wanted to be super wholesome until a certain someone found out you weren't playing enough Sega Saturn. Look, for Sega to Santro, I'll play Sega Saturn. I'll do it for him. You must play Sega Saturn. While, while you sort that out, I'll be off uh, freeing up more disk space for EDF. Thanks for the codes, John. And if you want to submit your own uh, messages for the Sir bots, here's a link down here for the Google form. Thank you, game guy, for doing oh, this. Oh, cool! Actually, a lot of people post messages as a Sir bot. And they're cute. The Sir bot, uh, chat Sir bot's a good Sir bot. Next up, I saw this one on Twitch earlier from TV. Uh, with John playing Poke Park 2, I thought back to when the starters of Sword and Shield were revealed, and I drew John and Bagel as Scorbunny and Grookey, respectively. So here's Scorbunny John back again, showing off an impressive blue blaze kick for the crowd. Ah, the blue blaze. Is that, the sh is that a shiny score bunny? Is that blue? Actually, what color is shiny score bunny? I don't remember. I don't know my Pokemons. Shinies, I definitely don't know. Shiny score bunny is yellow. Okay. Oh, okay. Orange and yellow, I'm seeing from chat. Okay. Thank you, DB. Next up from Begrudgingly Waluigi. A Stargate, a regular ass door, Super Mario 64. Sounds like a poem to me. It's almost a haiku. Not quite. 
Yeah, A Stargate, uh, so three, <laughs> yeah, A regular ass yeah. door, Super Mario 64. Wow, nope, not it even close. Be... It's like three, yeah. six, eight, not even close. Ow. Damn it. Thank you, Waluigi. Next up. It's close in that it also has syllables. <laughs> yes, pretty much. From Zen, so from Zen NX, uh, do this back in 2017 due to reading slash finding a fanfic of you traveling in the Unova region. I thought I'd upload that here since you're playing Poke Park 2 and you loving Oshawa is everything to me right now. Asha! Uh, I was really down today due to family issues involving my little brother's safety, uh, my little brother's safety, and my own mental health really taking a toll and due to getting a horribly stupid argument oh, with my mom. So yeah, I'm sorry, Zen. This stream has really helped me, so thank you, John. Well, like I said, this was a this was a low game choice stream. What the hell just happened? I think I broke something. Hang on. Uh oh. This was, this was a low game choice stream for Fortune Cookies with the sponsored segment, but hopefully y'all had some fun because I feel like the three games we played were really fun. I did not expect Poke Park Two to be as fun as it was. Yeah, that actually, honestly, that was given to a kid for a game. Yeah, that was a damn good one. You got lucky. Yeah, those are expensive-ish now. We're getting expensive, so this art is very oh, nice. And I, I don't even remember actually seeing those when I worked at the game store. Actually, no, I did. I, I worked at the GameCube generation, not the Wii generation. Thank you for the art. Asha, asha. Uh, next up is the boob from Blonde Lombax. There was a lunar eclipse earlier this week, and one brainstorm led to another. So now introducing Blood Moon Rosa John. Whether it's Rosa herself Ooh. or a different altogether is anyone's guess. It's just the moment when Rosa gets to go crazy. She finally snaps. All the bigger finally got to her. Alternatively, it's time. That's, alternatively, that's no moon. It's time to harvest. <laughs> harvest the Lumas. Thank you, Lombax. No. No, not the Lumas. Leave the Lumas alone. Next up, Pokemon time from Saicha. Been a while since I drew, well, anything, so decided to do some practice. I'm 100% okay with Pokemon showing up, so decided to draw John as one of my favorites. Zor Zora. Is it? How do you say that? Is it Zora? It's like Zorua? Zora, but Zorua? I, I, I would assume it'd be Zorua. Yeah. I mean, you Zorua. just break it down in Japanese. Yeah, you got it, apparently. Zorua. Okay, cool. Zora. Cool. Thank you, Saj. Because it's so close to Zora that I keep I keep thinking I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> God damn it, fuzzy guy. Zora, Jamaica. Ooh, I wanna take you to Bermuda. Bahama. Come on, pretty mama. Pretty I love how low that Bahama is in that song. Let's Bahama. go down to Kokomo. Bahama. We'll take it fast, and then we'll take it slow. That's where we wanna go. Way down in Coco. From Wolf Boy. While at the island, Guy and I decided to go on the slide together, and Sharky came along too. We were unaware that Icy fell off the slide only moments before we got on. Fortunately for the three of us, that won't happen to us all, as Guy and I can summon wings and fly before anything were to happen to us or Sharky. Someone might get hit by our tube, though. More than likely, they'll get hit by the tube. Thanks, Wolf Boy. Glad you and Guy are having fun. See, we're already celebrating. We're out, we're out on the beach, uh, just having fun. Here it is. It's begun. From Seesaw, I heard you said that you like the Revolver Oshawott meme, so I knew I had to throw this together and put it here. You're welcome. Thank you, Seesaw. Revolver Asha what? Next. Ah, uh, from Ice Finch. Made a new mech suit for Tenmar. In other news, got my second Moderna shot on Friday and had, has done a number on me, but glad to have it. First, glad you got your vac uh, vaccination. Second, Damn! I saw this and I went, oh my goodness. Now that is a mech suit. <laughs> I'd be proud wearing that mech suit. Made a slightly updated version with some basic shading that's on Twitter in reply to initial post. Well, there you go. You can check that one out too, Tenmar. Give that a bump. I'll make like sure to give that a retweet too, because I apparently did not. I think I retweeted the first version. I switch. I need your Twitter account here. <laughs> you gotta post that in the comments. 
Yeah, you can pop that up in your source or in the comments. That works either way. Next up. You will give me an egg. Because I'm fucking ripped. From Mika. I was inspired to draw by the top left gift in tonight's intermission wall to draw a muscular Wesker egg. The fucking gun show is to... here. I've been trying to remember the, the actual name of that anime, but I watched it. That was such a good it's, anime. Uh, so, uh, it's the uh, dumb... Season. It's Dumbbell. Something something Dumbbell. But it's got like a long name, like... Do you... How heavy are your dumbbells, or do you lift dumbbells, or something like that? It's got a weird name like that. How heavy are the dumbbells you lift? That's what it is. Dumbbell non kilo moteru. It That's is funny. actually extremely entertaining. And also educational. Thank you, Mika. Next up, Sleepy Pikachu. Sleepy Pika from Aelita. Thank you for the sleepy. Pikachu. <laughs> Pika. What do we got going on here from Rocketoros? Everything is happening here, apparently. Angry Yang dragon noises. I'm sorry, I heard Zeke Rom Holcomon and was greeted to an angry restaurant. <laughs> Careful what you wish for. Two fun facts for the price of one. A, ever since Gen 5, Pokemon added measures to make sure no one gave their Pokemon dirty nicknames. Yeah, I saw this in chat a bunch. Uh, but this has some adverse effects, like some Pokemon not being tradable without giving them a different nickname. English versions especially. Examples include... Um... Kafagrigus, Konkeldur in Germany. Ah, uh, okay, so that's like I couldn't figure out why. Nose Pass and Probo Pass. Oh, because ass. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, B. The story of Resident Evil 8 was written by Anthony Johnson and 7 by Richard Piercy. Names you wouldn't recognize until you played the other games they've written for Dead Space and Fear, respectively. Oh, I didn't like Fear. From what I've seen, but I like Dead Space. You might have actually f f sold me a bit more on Resident Evil 8. Okay. Fair enough. I'm sorry, I zoned out there for a second. What? The writer for Resident Evil 7 was the writer for Fear, the game series, and the writer for Resident Evil 8 was the was one of the writers for Dead Space. All right. Dead Space one. one I, and two, I but assume one. I assume we're not taking three into the account here. Yeah. All of a sudden, everything in the games are making sense. Exactly. That I was gonna say, if the writer for Dead Space did seven, that would explain why Ethan says fuck all the goddamn time. I would also accept the movies as well. Those are those, those Dead Space movies, man. Those, ugh, those are, those gave me nightmares. That also explains why the fucking kid in seven's a goddamn brat. Anyways, thank you, Taurus, for those. Next up, Family Jewels, Toxic X Eternity, Insane in the Rain Music, and Sab Irene from Super Shulk. Took way longer than I wanted to get back to these, but here is the third set of TRG logos with color. I'm glad to be back to posting art for the stream. Thank you, Shulk. Well done. Welcome guys. back. The writer for Dead Space is also in Pragmata as well. Interesting. Next Go to up. sleep, Westerford, and have yourself a good night. Also from Super Shulk, yet another TRG logo set finished. Just one more set and I'll be done. Really like how this set turned out. Nicely done. We got Yoshiller, we got Marilyn, we got Jiggy, and Motion Dan. As far as I got Yoshiller there, because I don't he hasn't really been in any segments. He was supposed to be in one last year, but had to get replaced last minute from what I remember. Aw, well. There's always the future. Yeah. Yoshiller's a cool dude. From Silver Blaze. Music select on top of the silo. Odyssey featuring Jessa. Alright, let's do this. Rank 62 out of 64. Damn. So, yeah, I suck at Bomberman. <laughs> Wanted to draw something today, but I couldn't think of anything, so I decided to recreate my embarrassing loss against John that happened on stream during the first private match. I think I'm going to need more practice at this game before I can fight anyone, really. It's okay. I've played Bomberman for years. So, it's, it's one of those easy-to-learn, hard-to-master games. And it's just important to have fun. Don't worry about what your rank is and such, especially when you're playing with friends. Yeah. In other news, this picture does, uh, does make a small shout out to my recent obsession, Eurobeat Artist Odyssey. She recently came out as trans and finally putting a face to a name in the artist, to the artist who made my favorite Eurobeat song, The Top, which is under her alias Ken Blast. Got me to listen to more of her music and I'm hooked. The song mentioned in particular being one of my new favorite songs. I do have a couple ideas for all John relating art relating to some of her songs. 
Uh, but we'll have to see. I just want to show support for my new favorite artist. Cool. Thank you, Silver. What Bomberman game would you recommend for getting into the series? The... You know what? R is not that bad for learning Bomberman. Honestly. Not R online. Regular R. Um, or any of the Super games on the Super Nintendo. They'll get. They'll learn you the basic skill set. You'll get used to the items. Yeah, but same not, thing. There's not really any game that does graphics. a tutorial, though. Is the only downside. Honestly, like most Bomberman games are extremely simple. That you'll really just by the act of playing and practicing, you kind of just learn it. From Bad Chatch Fun. What a cute game! Please enjoy this Oshawott photobomb fan art. Asha. I like it. Thank you, Chatch Fun. Refresh check, and we've got... Wow. Wow, that middle one I'm curious about, but we'll get to it when we get to it. From Super Shulk. The final set of TRG logos with color. I'm free, but seriously, this was very fun. I'm glad I was able to do something for the entirety of TRG. Attacking Toucans, Donna Bell, Super MC Gamer, and Adrusaurus. Nice done, Shulk. Apparently, Attacking Toucans has come down with Tetris. I mean, this this is his logo. It, it is his face with, like, cracks and Tetris blocks falling off. It's cool. Huh. Is it me or is John's mic a bit low quality? Uh-oh. Is the cord screwing up again? Yeah, at least you're sounding fine on Discord. I don't know on stream, though. Weird. Next up. Ooh. I think this relates to that other picture. Ooh. JD, in the words of my Redeemer, it is finished. This took me twice as long than last time, but I was able to extend my Johniverse card game to a full 52-card deck. And even though you can't see it yet, I also went ahead and created a poker version with two Joker cards and a more personalized style. Making a poker variant seemed easy enough until I realized that poker cards have slightly different dimensions, which made me reassemble every card graphic manually. Uh-oh. Now we'll have to wait for Ooh. next room, sadly. Oh, sorry, JD. But yo, these came out Still. really good. Hell yeah. Amazing. I have a feeling when I jump over to that piece, it, it's going to be all these, but I, at least I think that's what I saw there. I'm sorry, the, the one that grabbed my attention, I'm, I'll admit it. The bee of clubs. I don't know why it's a bee. <laughs> and right next to it, it's a 10. It had to do with, um... Shit, the original card game. I completely, I'm blanking on what they called it. But I think that's why it wasn't just... Queen, Jack, Queen, King. I'm like, surprised at some of the additions I saw here, but these are cool. Good choices. Hell yeah. Let me see if my theory was correct. Indeed it was. Here's all the alts that were used. And all the art for them all. Nice. That was a good collage there. Nicely done on all of these excellent choices here. And just like last time, I combined all my Alt John drawings into one big collage. To keep it short and not crowded, I will only reference the newcomer Alts and their creators in the comments below. As for you, John, I just wanted you to know that you did this. You created this amazing community of artists and enabled us to be this stupid. If this is not something to be proud of, I don't know what is. Hope you like it. I do, dude. I appreciate this so much. It's fucking kicks ass. Thank you keep so much. Keep on creating. Keep on publishing. Post right. that work. That's still a lot of... Alright, so here's, here's a list of who we got here. Uh, Oyster John, Zelda John, Ham John, Dealer J, Celery, Buncho, Paper Rosa John, Narian John, Bomber John, Baz Bomber Rosa, Valkyrie John, Cosma John, Cyberpunk Rosa, Diton, Proton Penguin, 2B John, Futon John, Proton Prawn, Vac John, Limbless John, Pro... Proton John <laughs> by himself and all and Alt John Kit. Hell yeah. This is great. Thank you so much, JD. I really can't wait to get the that deck of cards. That is gonna be awesome. I'm so excited. No, no, no. It's not that celery's new, it's just that celery there are the new ones that were added to the deck. So uh, JD, how long ago did you send me the original picture of that deck? It's probably a while back. Yeah, so the original deck of cards were back from uh, February. It was for a game called Scat. 
And this is a this is not a traditional 52 card deck. It was how many cards? 20. So I guess 32. So this is 20 extra cards. And this was the original picture of all the alts that made it in there. So all the ones that were mentioned in this other picture here, those are all the ones that got added to the rest of the deck. So there you go. Well done on this, JD. Like I said, I'm super excited for this. It's gonna rule. Next up, from Rhyme. Oh, I love these. Kangaroos with wacky colors, they're amazing. Anyways, I had fun with Bomberman. This is my first Bomberman, so everything is very new. I'll probably still be playing Cake a la carte because I need an ability to cover me as an emergency eject button. <laughs> a la carte's good. A la carte's very helpful. You'll learn to actually learn a lot of the uh, abilities are actually a lot better than what you think. Yeah, I need to mess around and figure out who I feel comfortable with, like what power balance I like. Because at least, at least vanilla Bomberman is Bomberman. Like you, you get the ability, you get the maximum flame, you get a max amount of bombs. You know what you work with. I just need to find some ability that works and that I can still have either punch or kick to get it out of uh, tough situations. Yeah, vanilla Bomberman's always going to be a solid pick. I still see most people actually just play as vanilla Bomberman just because you get the big, you get everything at eight. Yeah. So you're guys, super I, fast. I did you're... skip one, guys. I'm aware. Sorry, I'll go back. I skipped this one. From only a chatter. <laughs> I'm trying to remember Revolver Ocelot's voice. Do you see this, Ash? We are victorious. Behold, water guns of the Patriots. Asha! Asha! <laughs> Brother! Let us have a Pokemon battle to settle the differences. Who has the superior Pokemon genes? Wait a minute, does this mean Revolver Ocelot, when he actually summons his Pokemon, has a revolver that shoots out Pokeballs? You're goddamn right he does. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it fits. It's a, it's a giant a comical gun. <laughs> it's a giant comical gun. I fucking love this chatter. Hell yeah. I love that Oshawott also has his own gun. Oh, man. Last picture I got here. Uh, from 0018. I finished the drawing. It's a little more polished and I'm happy with how it turned out. It's a good job. Well done on this. Hope you enjoy it. And also, I finally caught your stream live for the first time. Although, at the tail end. Yeah, sorry. I, I'm a late streamer. I'm a late boy. Also, I'm so grateful that you were so encouraging to showing drawings. I haven't had any motivation to draw for months. And this drawing has provided some motivation to continue honing my skills. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad that my stupid prompts and... And everyone just kind of goofing off is, is leads to people creating so much cool shit. Like, an entire deck of cards out of our alts. <laughs> I think this is cool. It, now the next step is clearly to make a video game. And that's what we gotta do next. Alright, folks. That's gonna do it for the evening, because that's it for art. I did promise to show you one thing, though. So give me a second to cue that up. Spoiling them, John. This is all just because you actually had fun tonight, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I did. I played all three games were extremely fun. They were great. Uh, where is it? I'm not where gonna is say it? it. I'm not gonna say it. Hashtag ding dong. I'm not using hashtag. Oh well, that's maybe. Maybe. The water, well, it's the spirit water gun of Texas. <laughs> God, that's a stupid thing. That's so, so funny. I love it. I almost want to, I want to We Oshawa. crazy is pretty good too. That's another good one. Asha is also good. Let, let's be honest. You, you, you never, you can't go wrong with EDF either. <laughs> All right. So here is a spoiler for merch that's coming up in the future. I did say I wanted to do a TRG pin set. So uh, one of the things I, ah, oh, God damn it. Hang on. Oh, I'm the sinuses. Kavadi doesn't know if it wants to sneeze or not. Yep, I'm sure is. Always happens. It's frustrating. Uh, <laughs> oh, sure, raid message. That's OSHA sure approved. One of the one of the three things I want to put up on the store next. I want to do a TRG pin set. I want to do the booby mouse pads and the non booby mouse pad. 
And, uh... Crap, what was the third thing I said I was putting up? Well, you mentioned three things. Oh, it was, an, it was, it was a it was a book. It was a book. We were going to do, like, a, a sketchbook that was the lore book. Which reminds me, I oh. need to message Jasper again, because they sent me a bunch of designs, and then I forgot to respond like an idiot, because I got busy with normal dude stuff. But, uh... I wanted to do a pin set that, if it went over well enough, it would be it would be the core TRG members, so me, Emil, Tim, a player four representation, the logo, and if people like that enough, I was gonna start seeing if I could do Coliseum members, so you could get like a little collect book Coliseum group. Ooh. And uh, Gerard got me in in contact with a dude called Drew Wise, who you guys may know for having done the Coliseum shirt that a bunch of you bought. And he is a pixel artist. And Ooh. he gave me this uh, this design to work with for collectible TRG member pins. Now, we're going to change the colors a bit because stupid me didn't tell Drew that we all have our own colors to go with. So Emil's shirt's going to turn to red. Tim's hoodie's probably gonna turn to green, and I got blue on mine, so I'm probably fine. But this is uh, this is gonna be the next little collectible pin set we start putting out. I we're gonna do this. Uh, if those go over well, I'm gonna see about doing other Coliseum members, so we can have a little collectible Coliseum set. Uh, I also I also want to have uh, Johniverse pins at some point and do some of the more popular alts. But we'll see about that. Because, uh, we I need player do... four in a variety of colors. I need to look up what Robo Four references. Oh, it's because player four we have like always had a different person standing in, but originally we used to represent them with like a like a CRT with a number four on it. And then uh, I figured since we also played against the AI a bunch, it would make sense to be a robot. And uh, I really like Kanti from FLCL, so I had I had uh, Drew do a robot for four. Ah, uh, good old pretty pretty. Yep. So yeah, that's that's one of the things coming to the uh, the store eventually, but not until you guys get your Rosa John hoodies, because I feel like that should be there first. Well, folks, what's our raid message? I just, you guys have been throwing out some good ones there. Hashtag OSHA, Revolver Oshawott. It's always EDF, Spirit of Texas, OSHA, Ding Dong, The Canada, Square Egg Squad. Did I miss it? Oh, shoot. Sorry, Spartan. I didn't even notice you were snuck in there. Um, so I got the th translucent Spartan says, so I got to thinking, wouldn't the PS1 sprites of Final Fantasy VII fit really well with the new EDF? I love that as a crossover. I can already hear the voice lines of Barrett t talking about saving the planet from the invaders. That would be fun. I can see that being pretty fun. But I don't know if that's gonna if they would do something like that. I think the the seven sprites are not blocky enough if that makes sense. But they could probably transfer translate pretty well. Uh, I'm also miss goat. Is this goat eleven eleven or is it goat? Oh no. I see what it is. That's clever. That's actually clever. Goat CC. Goat CC is a su new sub as well. I'll give you I'll give you the classic egg sound. You will give me an egg. All right. What's our raid message, folks? The power of Christmas. I think, I think it's going to be Asha. Asha. I keep making this sound because of Late Night Retro. And Late Night Retro makes this sound because of some some wrestler. Oh fuck, is it Ultimate Warrior? I forget exactly what wrestler it was, but I just fucking love that sound. Well, here's who? a better question. Who are we rating? Yeah, that's a good question. Who's lying? And that why window? are we rating? Oh, shit. Oh, there we go. Let's raid someone we rarely get a chance to raid. And looks like he is still going to be going for a bit. Ooh. You can raid with Osha or Asha. You can replace that first O with an A, but it's still from the first half of Oshawott. Asha. Asha. Alright, our buddy Jeff, Space Hamster. 
He was currently doing a community games night. Mario Kart, Jackbox, and Fall Mans, Fall Guys. Hey, guess what we should probably do soon too, huh? <laughs> we were supposed to do one like a month or two ago and then things went to shit. Oops. Eh, it happens. Also, it sounds like Austin's there. Because they were like yeah. the most skill ones, I guess. I don't know. I oh, right. They, oh, it's been so long since I played Fall Guys. Yeah, I've never Fall seen Guys has, nice. Yeah, Fall Guys has new games well, and no, season three. Season three lobbies. Winter. Oh, really? I gotta play this yeah. one more time. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Dude, holy shit! I got a direct deposit of thirty-five cents to my account. Oh God, this is just Hexagon two point oh. Yeah. You won't. I'm donating 35 cents to the street. Dude, he almost pushed me up. Oh, oh don't fall this way. Oh, that's gravity low gravity. Too, gravity. Oh. Yo, you oh god, it is yeah. very much a condensed version Again? of <laughs> Hexagon. It looks like Proton Jump's raid. Wait, no, 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 no. That's Proton No. I don't see no the way. raid uh, yeah, no. alert. Fall on this line. Oh no, he's already out. Never mind. Yeah, I think it might be a pre raid. Oh yeah. Jeff wants to leave. Jeff's like, I want to leave. Why am I here? right now. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. All right. He's not done streaming, Jeff. John's not done. Yeah, but he likes does, to, like, let does him see this what, mean uh, the person that we have to keep going? going? Yeah. Oh, you God. can never yes. leave, Jeff. You're uh, you're here forever for our amusement. Dude, you yeah. must continue. Yeah, I'm, I am definitely, I am yeah, definitely Jeff, playing right now. All right. right. I'm going to give you all some love. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out tonight. I hope you all had fun. Thanks for being cool with me doing sponsor stuff, especially when it's stuff I actually am super into. I really appreciate you guys supporting me with that. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow on twitch.tv slash normalboots for some Minecrafts. Or on YouTube for a highlight reel. Or Monday for game clearing. And I won't see you Tuesday because I'm fucking sleeping. Let me sleep. Stop waking me up. Bye, everybody. Good night. Oh, shit. I didn't rewind the video. Oh, fuck. Hang on. <laughs> no! What? Why? It's over. We're disappointed. I, I am disappointed. Why did you play correctly? What? 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 God damn it. Son of a bitch, I forgot about disc only again! God damn it, you are seeing me Tuesday. I'll see you then.